Welcome back to Paradise, one and all, as the World Series of Poker Paradise Inaugural Edition rolls on. 2023 winding down, but the main event winding up. One of four day ones from Paradise Island here in the Bahamas at the Atlantis Resort underway. As you see the $5,300 buy-in with a field that combines on day two and a final table that comes your way on day four. We're gonna be playing down to the money on each and every one of our day ones. Hello everyone, Alina Jat alongside Brent Hanks and nine hopefuls, which include a man who scaled the summit. More on him later in C2 to the direct left of someone whose victories come off the felt and on the pitch man city's all-time leading goal scorer the argentine sergio aguero who is seated beside 2013 world series of poker main event champion ryan reese a decade ago he tasted glory might he be looking for another course here today as we play down to the money 15 percent of the field will be paid there is a look at the chip counts as we pick up coverage of this day one. No cause for concern as yet for anyone. 35,800, the leanest of stacks, 95,000 and change up at the top as we get things underway, Brent. And with all of that said, just feast your eyes on the collision that's in progress here as Ace Queen has opened to 1,200 with the blinds at 300, 500, and a 500 big blind ante just north of the min. Reese flatted, ace five suited. And now it is Andre Lucci from Brazil, three betting to 4,800. That does make matters a bit more simple for Adrian Troya's sixes as he finds the bin. And back over to Ivan Ost. The party starter. Seemingly a wonderful spot here for Lucci. As we can see, two of these aces already used up. Reese got the memo. He's out of the way. We're heads up, Ali. By the way, note that little trinket there in front of Mr. Ost. Might that be it? A Sergio Aguero figurine, perhaps? No idea. Jack Six Deuce board, though, as he hung in there for the extra 3,600 requested. Always in bad shape. Mercifully, not connecting with a queen. Only one available, of course, but here he is. Facing the follow through and able to check fold. That looks like a. What do we a trophy have of some sort being hoisted Maybe there. Maybe Aguero holding up some sort of championship. I don't want to make any assumptions, by yeah. the way, that it is Aguero. Unable to kind of make out the jersey there. But it is Lucci, a retired a recreational poker player who hails from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Taking that one down. A number of Brazilian players, by the way, have made their way to the Bahamas for this event, courtesy of numerous satellites online being run out in what is a burgeoning poker market. Big fan of Cooter there. What a look. Sharp green glasses. ZZ Top-like beard out of Philly. Yeah, we're not going to be shy on personality out of that chair, my guess. By the way, Lucci's resume, as he took down that first punt, includes a Brazilian Series of Poker Sao Paulo main event win back in 2014. So some talent in that corner of the felt alongside Reese. Uh, Lucci also just trying to get his first official World Series of Poker cash. He's got a few of the circuit results. You want to wait? Thank you. Adrian Troya. With the takedown, 222,000 in career tournament earnings, 28 total caches. He, too, hailing from Brazil, a professional.
strangely enough on his bio, I have him listed as number seven on Panama's all-time money list. So unclear which flag he's flying. Maybe some dual national status? That means he has two passports, perhaps, Brent, whereas you have zero. Lacking? It's an expired passport, Ali. It's not that I don't have one. It just needs to be updated. They tend to be less useful once the born-on date lapses. Well, what is useful is a couple of nines for Aguero. He's going to shoot it up to 1,500. Sure. And Aguero, of course, not the only footballer who's taken to poker. As we've seen water. on multiple occasions, I need Brazil's water. Neymar. Yeah. 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 And also a big fan. Yeah. There he is, Cooter. This is the one I wanted you to get eyes on, Ali. Look at the. I love this guy. Table. By the way, there may be no undershirt beneath the hoodie, no. which. Yeah. It's not the Cooter way. That's, uh, the way you're saying it is slightly uncomfortable, just for the record. Two spades, Cooter, with the nut flush draw. And in spite of the presence of the overcard, Aguero will pose the question. 3,800 in the middle, and he fires. I think he's going 1,900. No, a little uptick to 2,500. Sizable. Yeah. Cooter loves the action. Uh... Sure. Three on the turn. And David checks once more, taking the passive line here. Aguero, of course, could play puck control with the check back. Is a bit concerned, perhaps, at the willingness of the opposition uh -huh. to proceed. And now a double-paired board where the spade comes in. You have to imagine the nut flush feels pretty cozy in spite of of the two pair on board, which doesn't rate to be interacting with Aguero in any fashion. And the green shades activate. Barreling 5,800 into 8,800. Let's see whether or not nines get curious. This would seem like a poor spot here given big blind range for Cooter Brent. Yeah, very tough. Can easily have a five, a flush, even a jack. I don't know what we're beating if we've got the two nines. Maybe a hand like ace, deuce, ace, four. That's about it, Ali. Yeah, and Sergio knows when it's time to concede. As he will <coughs> lay it down. David Cooter, just 42,000 and change in career tournament earnings. Lives in Neefs. Pennsylvania, a former poker dealer yeah. at the Wind Creek Casino who quit to pursue professional poker. I got to tell you, over the years, as you see the chip denominations in play, four of them at present, all the dealers that I've known that quit to play, they were back dealing not long afterwards. Not for Cooter. Out there firing, he says the key to his success has been the volume that he's put into the game. Sometimes it's precisely that volume that sends you right back in search of a bankroll. I mean, you got to be posting some W's. But Gruben's sticking with it. When you're a de dealer, Ali, you, you see things, you know. You've What's got it? an edge. You know what to expect out there, I felt. I'll tell you what Cooter's seen. Glory on two separate occasions on the World Series of Poker Circuit. Two-time yeah. ring winner. He is. He was named the first ever World Series of Poker Pennsylvania Player of the Year. Okay. Cashed 46 times in WSOPPA events. Believe he plays under the handle Dr. Cool. Cool with a K. Oh, I like it. Yeah. That adds up, by the way. You're not going to spell it correctly. That's, you know. Anyhow, three bets here from Ivan Ost, Ace King. Understandably responsible for this. Oh, and apparently, given we're playing deep stacked, Carlos Ribeiro would like to proceed. By the way, it is a t-shirt, flesh-colored for a second. You know, I thought maybe. 
astute observation as always, Ali. Nobody home for Ribeiro, who came here to gamble. By the way, including thumbnail, as somehow he missed picture day. It's fine. Did Ribeiro. When I see that silhouette, I'm always like, you know, 60 minutes whistleblower interview kind of thing, you know, silhouetted against, you know, big tobacco. Yeah, yeah. So it just... Thoughts such as this enter my mind, although no thoughts beyond a fold will enter Carlos's mind. Lays it down. Ost able to pick that one up. There's a shot of that trophy. I didn't make out the okay, name now, on the back. He's a big fan of Tottenham Hotspur of the Premier League. Right. Aguero, of course, playing for Man City. Manchester City, that is. So could this be seen as a salvo? Across the bow. Oh, are you thinking that maybe a confrontation of I'm sorts? Just saying, a little Green Street hooligans we, type in. You know what I mean? We're bringing the, the Tottenham Hotspur figurine, I presume, here to, you know, an affair helmed by a Man City man. I'm just, you, you know, know okay. another famous athlete in the mix, Tony Parker. Ever heard of him? Come on, the Frenchman from the Spurs? He's out in the field, okay. played for the Spurs. Ivan Ost saw that Tony Parker was going to be here. Ivan's a huge Spurs fan, and of course the NBA, and an honor to meet and play with Tony Parker. So that's perhaps why Ivan has joined us here. Well, you know what I just realized, Brent, yeah. as you pointed out his affinity for basketball, is that the Spurs that are being referenced on the same bio sheet that you just read are indeed the San Antonio Spurs and not Tottenham Hotspur, which is often referred to as Spurs. Top pair, bottom pair, confrontation here. So I think I need to rescind and retract all of the storyline that I set forth earlier about possible yeah, you're just needles totally but that's not a basketball player figurine there no. that's clearly a footballer Indeed. soccer player of course yeah no nope, aguero i just thought you were talking about hot toddies know. there for a moment hot, i didn't know it was by something the way, else yeah. hot toddy winter time things get cold opera ski nice oh, little cocktail really is you know i don't drink i know i got handed a hot toddy once upon a time i was like this is delightful what do we have here do you have a little suckle I don't know if that's the verb I would go with. It wasn't served in a teat, <coughs> Brent, but rather just a, a a glass, standard sort of receptacle. No problem. So suckling was really not an option. No, yeah. But thank no. you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Bit early. <laughs> Getting started. Yes, bro. Here. Well, I've had a couple hot and toddies already, Ali. A lot of suckling coming my way. Does you pay you extra when you say you that, <laughs> is there a litter of some sort that you're responsible for? What do you mean coming your way? Anyhow, I digress. Brent, keeping it weird, as always. That's a huge table. <laughs> Paused upon the 9-6 suited of Mr. Ritter. Not a lot of table talk amongst the group, Ali. I'm afraid it's going to be you and I going back and forth quite often. You think you're afraid? <laughs> Big slick. Takes us upstairs from the button. Always a bit suspect. The late position opens, and for Reese, trouble on the horizon. Coming in the form of a king-queen offsuit. Don't think he's going to be blasting off. 3x sizing. Out of Ost as well. Cause for concern for Ryan Reese does make the call, of course. Two overs in a gutter on the paired two spade board. Behind and checking. Let's see if Ost proceeds in aggressive fashion. No. We'll check back. And now both players picking up a spade draw. Ost has the shovel that matters most. The king carrot, the ace of spades. Okay. 
Seventeen hundred. Almost making the call. A very innocent looking four of clubs rolls off on this river. And look at Ryan Reese. Still getting after it. Has to suspect that King Queen is no good. Yeah. A good I chunk love of this. the time. He thinks he could be up against the hand, just like what we're seeing. Ace King, maybe Ace Queen with the spade that would have come along for the ride on the turn. Trying to tell a believable story. And it's hard, I think, for Os now to figure out what can Reese be bluffing with. Right. Very tricky spot. You're blocking a hand such as King Queen. Must be concerned about Queen Jack. Maybe trips, any pair, betting for value. Beautiful stuff by the former main event champion, Ryan Reese. Managing to get through an ace king as the turn and river barrels earn him more chips. The man from East Lansing, Michigan. That's Michigan State country. Ten years removed from his main event victory. Married with three daughters, by the way. That's a... That's a tough parlay on either side of the gender spectrum, by the way. My sister has three boys. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, is it weird that the first thing I think to myself is like roulette when they have the little video monitor and it's like red, 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 and you're thinking, well, surely black is on the way. I feel like that's what parents kind of do. You know, they go, they reload for the fourth, and all of a sudden another daughter comes out. I, I totally get I have three boys as well. What's we, going we never, on? Well, you know, it's just, it's really just about, right. there's some details that I won't go into as to what leads to I, that. I know how and children uh, are made. Well, no, right. yeah, but Thank it's you. more about if you want, you know, certain things you do. What? To create the I Listen, the I don't know yeah, what so sort of weird yeah. expectant parent blog you're on. Uh, tricks of the trade, Ali. Tricks are for kids. And apparently... For Aust, this open feels like it could be a trick from Ritter. It's a little finger wag with the ace-10. Suited connector would have been a nice one to come along with if Ost had flatted, mm. but instead, walking papers issued. Lucci out of there, suited one gapper as well. Back over to the box cars. Ritter <laughs> looking up at King 8 Deuce. The sixes are still good. Little does he know it as two over stare him in the face. Ritter, a semi professional chess player the past few decades. Strong rankings in the early 2000s, Ali. You know, the mind of a chess player is one that grafts well onto poker. In particular, when it comes to future games, seeing he's got, ahead. He's got a history in making deep runs back in 2015 in the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure, the main. He got ninth place for 111,000. He may have reprinted his player card because obviously that took place right here at Atlantis. Oh. Un, you know, man that's familiar with his surroundings and familiar with. The seabed frequencies that may not be in front of two sixes here. He does peel. The seven doesn't rate to be an issue. But now ace ten is a bit of drift. This is tough. Just buckle up, take the ride. Let's see if Ost has it. Two barrels in him. Must be concerned. Or does he? He looks... Yeah. He's not afraid of much. Here we go. Incoming. 12-7 in the middle, and concerns are conquered and really volleyed back over to Ritter. <coughs> As the sixes <coughs> look like they are going to finally respect the line. Can't be blamed. And Nice follow-through there. 
from Ost as he manages to get through. Well, you said barrels in that last hand there. Brent, you hail from Buffalo, not far from Niagara Falls. You ever see anybody go over the falls in a barrel? I know that was a thing, like a stunt for a while. I, I never have witnessed it personally. I've read the stories, I've seen the articles. I don't believe it's a common occurrence anymore. A lot of tragedies endured with the, uh, the barreling over the Niagara Falls. Now listen, I've had my share of fraternity infused, you know, shenanigans of questionable, just, but the over the falls right. in a, whose idea was that? I have no idea. Have you have you been to Niagara Falls? Have yeah. you seen them? In, I mean, By the way, I spent all of 20 seconds going, okay, falls. I'm out of here. Same thing happened to me at the Great Wall of China. I've talked about it on streams before. Okay, now what? <coughs> you know? Wow, no appreciation for... I mean, somebody. nature's huge toilet bowl. I, I mean, <coughs> you know, okay, cool, flush, well, nice, continuous. It's quite a sight to see, Ali, you know? Yeah, okay. By the way, funnel some of that out here to Vegas. Yeah, we could use it. Jack 9 6, middle pair for Troya. Blind versus blind confrontation. Cutter for Lucci. Knuckles over. The Maid of the Mist? No, not impressed. You don't want to go on. Is a that that boat yeah. that kind of takes you Bottom to the, of the edge? Falls. Listen. Lucci, by the way. Gonna peel. Yeah. <coughs> now. The straight draw becomes two ways, but the upper portion is shared by Troya, who holds an eight of his own. And the lion's share of the equity here. Second check in front of him. Not a great card to be barreling on, I would imagine. And Troya would agree as he checks back. Both players now make the ten, uh, sorry, the queen high straight, courtesy of the ten. Can't imagine Troy is considering folding. Certainly, we are worried about a king being present, but well, at least sometimes you just got to pay him the money. Is raise in question? I mean, Troya. this would seem needlessly reckless. As we watch Troy ponder the decision. Want to welcome everybody on the GG Poker YouTube channel. Ali and I have the chat open. We are here with you. I, look, I'm going to welcome most of you. Maybe there's a few people that are unwelcome. I don't have anyone in mind, but, you know, it's early. And a most unwelcome sign for Lucci as Troya does decide to raise, gets called instantly. Wow. By the way, the raise is impressive enough on its own, but then Lucci hanging tough. Yeah. Good luck bluffing this guy. With the eight, as they do visit the carving station in a bit more violent fashion than we would have imagined. Elbows thrown there. As that was an unexpected means by which to arrive at the chop. Well, here he is. Talked about his time at Manchester City. All-time leading goal scorer for the club. Striker, the position that he played. Five-time Premier League champion. And Golden Boot winner as well. You think it's customary to drink out of said boot when I you win it? I, I think it's a requirement. I don't know about that. You know, soccer is slightly more sophisticated. Affair. What is the P is this a Puma hat? I believe it is a Puma hat. I was all of a sudden it's thinking maybe he's a Buckos fan. <laughs> you mean the Pittsburgh Pirates? Yeah. Yeah, it did have that same typeface, didn't it? Something tells me he didn't have to pay for the hat, Brent. No, we gotta deal with Puma. We're Aguero. <laughs> we gotta deal with a table full of talent. That's what we gotta deal with. Not First involvement now from Wojciech Frankowski. 
53,000 plus in career tournament earn for the Polish national. Professional yeah. poker player by trade. And the two biggest stacks inevitably now will collide at this table. Ryan Reese three betting the two queens. Frankowski, by the way, also dabbles in chess. As Reese dabbles in the three bet to 3,600, the suited ace crumbles. Offsuit does the same. Slightly biased as Frankowski is from Poland. I happen to be 50% <coughs> Polish, Ali. You're not even 50% human, Brent. I love a good pierogi. I'll give you that. I'll allow that. Well, the hard 10. Taking a hard look over at Reese and deciding for the extra 2,400. Oh, a little Kishka. I'm not sure what that means. 10,006, a four bet with the two fives. I, I really didn't expect this, and I'm sure Reese didn't either. And now Queens, yes, there are a lot of hand, but these four bets, Brent, tend to be hitched to some pretty narrow ranges. Not kidding. Perhaps Ryan Reese being on the button. You know, we don't expect this. Yeah. We don't expect this from Jackson below. It's kind of the ace king, king's aces sort of stuff that tends to behave in this manner. Can four bat light, of course, including, you know, ace wheel suited. Sure, that's a part of the process occasionally. King 9 4 board, one over to the Queens. Might it be something that Frankowski can represent as we mentioned the Ace Kings will behave this way from time to time? He's breathed life into this one. 22 5, and he is reaching out and touching. I'm not at all bashful. 17, no, 11. And a hook. And this is where the chess mind begins to activate because yes, we have two queens, but we're up against a man who is four bet pre, is barreling on a king high board. If we call this 11-5, up goes the pot to 45 and change. This is a miserable spot yeah, for Reese. It really is. Wow. <clears throat> and he does lay it down, Brent, and you can really understand why it is that he felt the way that he did about that spot. And you see a small, wry smile <laughs> develop there. That's Frankowski flexing there on the former World Series of Poker main event champion. Oh, man, it takes some serious skill boss out of four, bet the two fives, and barrel it off into Ryan Reese, main event champion back in 2013 only. Some serious kielbasa, Brent? Is that uh, Polish sausage? Yep. That's exactly right. Okay. <laughs> Let that simmer. <laughs> I think kielbasa and pierogi kind of is the extent of your Polish culture knowledge. Kishka. Oh, right. Yeah, duck soup. That's a different name to it, but we always called it duck soup as kids. Absolutely disgusting and vile, by the way. Not my thing. Duck made of, soup. Made of blood. Fantastic. Ace 10. Aguero, opening. I, you know, we're going to be talking about duck. Don't want to get premature here. King 10 for Ribeiro, perhaps a candidate. No. 8-6 off for Uwe Ritter. Also, uh, as a man of many mallards, uh, I, I, I just can't really indulge in the duck soup. It's... it's 
It's not right. Yeah, but listen, it's not the worst iteration of duck-based cuisine. Mm. That title and honor, of course. And apologies in advance to those who might be hailing from this part of the world and maybe find it to be a delicacy, but for the record, you're simply wrong about that opinion. Balut, which comes from the Philippines. Not familiar. It is duck fetus in egg, what? in shell. What? Exactly. Ew. Oh. 88,000, one cash. That is the still young resume on Sergio Aguero. Young like Balut, by the way, <laughs> kind of unhatched. I mean, really vile, by the way. I used That's to play one of the worst nasty food descriptions and and where did where is it's a real film? thing the philippines? the philippines they do it i'm just saying huh. did you watch that on one of those late night specials what do you mean late night but no i Travel used to play to in a poker room oh. that was in south san francisco colma to be exact lucky chances a heavy Filipino diaspora. Speaking of the ducks. And I'm oh. saying that was on the menu. A dude ordered it next. I'm trying to play 2040 Limit. I'm over here watching. Grotesque. Right 10 8 the poker room, huh? The mallards? Yeah, the, man. the little baby eggs? You know, why can't you just order a cheeseburger like the rest of us? What, I mean, okay, look, I'm not a xenophobe. You know I'm well-traveled. Fairly diverse palate. But I have my limits. <coughs> Surely someone in the chat at this point is piping up going, it's delicious, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, Jeff Platt's in the chat saying okay. ducks on the pond, so at least we have Jeff's attention. Hello, Jeffrey. Now, Platt's out here yeah. in the Bahamas, yeah. on site. Troya out here as well. Look at this little suited one gapper that's decided to speak up. Three scoops. And Ost on the duck hunt. Theme emerging. But his deuces. Was well, still the best hand, Ali. All right, you know, let's let's. I, I was going to say they remain unhatched. Yeah. Huey and Dewey. No, Louis. Louis. Yeah, MIA. Improvement also MIA by the way for Troya. And, you know, when we three-bet the openers and then the king-jack board comes off, we do feel like there is a lot of interactivity in terms of the Broadway combos that would hang in. Yeah, an ideal texture Four for Troya to want to continue. Always relieved when we get the muck, though, in that spot. As he doesn't need to pursue backdoor equity. <coughs> nice little pickup there for Adrian. One of the lesser-known entities to Brent and I here in the booth. Limited information av available, by the way, on his bio. Preferring to remain mysterious. <coughs> Yasfer Yaibi, which I guarantee I'm not saying correctly in the chat, said Filipino here, and Balut is gross. Okay, there you go. You hear yeah. it from the man himself. He has all reason in the world to come to the defense of the cuisine, and yet he too must agree. Really? I mean, I swear to God, it's the kind of thing that back in the day, Rogan was dishing up on Fear Factor. It was like a challenge, I you know what I mean? Ace three, by the way, as Ost. V pipping. Most has been very active early. Cool. And along comes Cooter. Check. Snowman. Dark check, by the way. Helmuthian in nature. King four, sorry, queen four three. Bottom pair. Backdoor nut flush for Ost. Kind of texture that could keep Cooter. Involved. Yeah, Cooter is sticky. <laughs> Ace is up. 
on the turn now for Ost. I mean, really, we're going to milk this one. Just, you know, if you know, you know why it's funny. If you don't, then you're obviously a more well-mannered person than Brent and I. That's a Ryan Lang vibe going, doesn't it? Yes. Coda? Yes, I see it. It's a man that's grabbed a guitar at some point. Oh, yeah. Right. Air or otherwise. Plays a lot of rock band. Oh, I feel like he could get down. This is a dude that, honestly, like, if you had to pick someone at this table to have possibly thrown a television out the window of a hotel, <laughs> he's the one. <laughs> I'm just saying. As the aces up, do fire. The eights lay it down. There is a glimpse at all others who have decided day 1A is for them as the World Series of Poker continues to spread its wings. It's been played in Vegas since 1970, London 07, South Africa Stop 2010, Melbourne in 2013. And here we are at the first of what I have to imagine, Brent, is going to be a multitude of visits to the tropics. I don't know, actually, this isn't the tropics. This is the Caribbean. I think the what, tropics what's is the somewhere difference else. between the tropics and the Caribbean, I Ali? Think, I think the tropics is out in the Pacific. What? I, mean, I don't know, what's really. In the you know, there's a tropic of Capricorn, tropic of Cancer. You know, I don't. You know, I don't. Nines, Rays. Host, customer. <laughs> Isn't only Hawaii out Nine. in the Pacific? Is no, the man. There's Tahiti, there's Fiji, there's Fiji. all sorts. Are you kidding? I just thought that was a water. Why don't you renew your passport, then come back to this conversation. Okay. Queen 8-3, one over to the nines, two overs to what was pocket fours. Check mark. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan Reese closing in on sixteen and a half million dollars in career live tournament earnings. About half of that was won back in two thousand thirteen when he took down the main event. And you can see he did graduate from Michigan State University, a die hard Sparty fan. Is he really? He is. I've been out there for a game, by the way. I watched Sparty take on Notre Dame. There was a thunderstorm warning. All the students were told that they needed to exit the stadium for a game delay. How many of them do you suppose complied with that directive? Less than 1%? Yeah. Yeah. They weren't going anywhere. They were like, if this is my time, may lightning strike me. Well, he almost did the unthinkable, by the way. Back in 2018, he finished fourth in the World Series of Poker Europe main event. Eventual winner was Jack Sinclair there. Can you imagine if Reese would have taken down? I mean, he damn near did it. Multiple mains? Oh, okay. We had Damien Salas yesterday, 25K, the GG Millions high roller, final tabled, but not able to reach the summit again. He, too, with similar credentials, as we see Ribeiro flopping top pair here against the 10-4 suited, which Aguero defended, <coughs> and now checks follow through barrel. Should see the end of this one. And not even Aguero wants to dribble oh, through money. this board. Thank you. 
Sofia. <clears throat> Ribeiro, by the way, a bit of a mystery to us. We don't have a you lot know? on Ribeiro at all. Founder of CL Poker? That's about it. A couple of results. He's got 120, call it 125K in tournament earnings. Made a run in the Barcelona main event, 40th place, 2022. And a couple folks now in the chat saying, holy crap, is that Aguero? It is the one and only all-time leading goal scorer you at know, Manchester City. To be fair, I believe the term invoked was holy chit with a c so as to get by the you know filters night bot sharp actually i like that that's a seasoned commenter there we gotta Phoenix. do that on air some chat room no i don't think we should ritter picking a fight at the wrong time here as his ace jack is dominated and he takes us up to 3200 Things looking like they're going to come back over to Troya. Another 18 is certainly not going to put the ace-queen into the bin. Soccer cards in the chat says that Sergio is Messi's best friend. Cannot be confirmed nor denied. We'll have to take soccer cards' word for it in the YouTube chat. Now, we don't have to take people's word for it, Brent. You know, sometimes you can mess around and get trolled out here. So, just beware. <coughs> As Troya, wary of the three bet flats. And it comes monotone, nine high. Spadeless kit in both camps. Check. Troya, checking. with the check back. Board keeping it low on the turn. events unfold check check again on the turn Ali I'm gonna once again dig back into the chat and what numerous people are claiming yeah I I'm pretty sure at this point it's it sounds true Aguero is also the godfather of Messi's children yeah and also his brood having been the product of his marriage to Diego Maradona who is you know, a legend in Argentina. I mean, we're talking His about football daughter. royalty here. Only. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here. Here. I lived in Buenos Aires for a while. Yeah, Brent Aguero, you know, obviously Messi is God. Yeah. You, know, you but, lived there? But yeah. The other side was yeah. Better. What were you doing? Yeah. The other Just side, for yeah. a living. Yeah. Trying to, you know, figure yeah. life out. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't last long. Yeah. You know what I mean? How long yeah. did you live there? I got my answers. I came back. A couple better? of months. This one, this one shop Looking yeah. for God? They're both good. No. So I was good. Just <laughs> emotional <laughs> repairs. <laughs> I found it. And found some other things while I was down there, too. Oh. Just, you know. You've I, piqued I, my interest. I might have a couple running around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Troya, by the way, not kidding at all. Firing 3,500 here happens to have the best hand. No three spades, four to a straight on board. Not sure how much of the board. Gosh, is there a world Ritter? in which this can get called where he feels as though he's bluffing? Ritter may assign a hand like King Queen for Troya. He does get called. Oh, this wow. is wild. Oh, this. This is where you feel real icky. And Troya's reaction there, he never expects the ace-queen to be good. 
once it gets called, so. You know, if I'm sitting at the table and I see the ace queen get tabled there and the man who makes the call on the end unable to beat it, now I've got my sights on Ritter a little bit. Three bet pre, couldn't beat the ace queen and made the call on the end. <coughs> so what exactly are we working with is the question well, on my I mind. just updated my passport. I am leaving for the Bahamas, Ali. I think I can make it. Now, some people may be wondering, what on earth are you talking about, Brent? Surely you're in the Bahamas. But for those unaware, Brent and I actually bringing you this coverage from Las Vegas remotely. The feed being beamed over to us. And by the way, what's up with that, by the way? You know, I had to go to Rosdodolf. Yeah, why aren't we there? And cover the World Series of Poker Europe in freezing cold temperatures. The middle of the forest, Frankowski, by the way, taking us into the trees with the suited one gapper, but then I don't get the the ticket to the Bahamas. I mean, I would have surely and preferred to have been GG here. Poker ambassador, I'm just Ali. saying, maybe it's time to place a you're call to the higher the ups. Team. Higher up is Reese yeah. with pocket eights. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm like, I would like to work remote. Anytime the temperature is below a certain amount, once the sun oh. shines down and there's ocean and, and beach, uh, send me there. Just if the guys are listening, you know, preferences being expressed. All these guys in the same neighborhood, one that does not make an appearance on the Ace King 4 board as Lucci closed the action for a prize from the big blind. Reese. Leads things off with a check. Lucci does the same. And the 8-6 looking to rep. And does so. Always a relief, by the way, when you get the two quick folds after c-betting that. I mean, my friend from Poland here is an absolute maniac, Frankowski. He's yet to have the best hand and continues to drag pots. Now up over 100,000 here on day 1A. Surging. He's going to be dangerous when he's actually got the goods. Yeah, you know, it's those active players, especially if they've shown down anything questionable at some point that can end up Really stinging you. Here comes the cooter. Thank you for that, Brent. behalf of all those who sort of cringe but also chuckle at the same time each time you say it. I mean, he, he raised. What do you want? Maybe, yeah, you know, we could just say David raised. That also is an option. Well, how would anyone know who David is? There's not a David on the board. Yeah, no, I get it, but anyhow. I read the names. Bottom pair here for Troya. As he defended on the leaner side of the deck, but suited combos to tend to like to do this in deep stacked poker. Follow through from the Broadway gutty. Probably enough to want to consider heading to future streets, bottom pair, backdoor clubs. May feel as though our five and deuce are clean outs if we are behind at the moment. Well, Bet and call of 1K. Now the club draw comes to fruition. Double gutter as well, courtesy of that eight of clubs for the preflop aggressor. Check. Check. Let's 
go check, check. Ace on the river. Well, if we're not going to hit a nine or a king, this certainly is the next best thing. As Troya fails to improve. Has he acted yet? I don't believe so, Molly. There it is. He does knuckle. That card certainly favors the <coughs> flop aggressor that is Cooter. He's reaching. Yeah. This feels nice. Sure it does. I don't think we beat anything. Out of here. Yeah. Well, Randy Marker in the YouTube chat is apparently a fan. Brent, what is he uh what has he shared with us in the in the chat? Uh, just loving this table. I don't think that's what he wrote, Brent. Well, you know, I, of course, am illiterate. No, no, I think you're not. <laughs> don't go on, then. Uh, what, Frankowski uh, is Polish indeed. No, yes, Ali. no, no. From Harvin, don't, uh, don't, the don't get shy on me now, oh, Brent. Oh, it looks like it's been removed. I don't know what no, happened there. No, it's still there. <laughs> I just... I don't, I don't see it. Uh, no, okay. Well, we found his boundary, Randy. Appreciate the contributions in the chat. By the way, certainly love to hear from you guys in the chat. Pleased to have the 4,000 plus of you out there Maybe joining us. we could get a little help from them, Ali. How about we click that thumbs up button, the like yeah. button. Maybe subscribe. Yeah, what's going on with this? haven't already, but let's get right. the likes up for crying out loud. Yeah, that subscribe, by the way, pretty key. Make sure that you don't miss any of what the good folks over at GG Poker are bringing you, which goes beyond the borders of simply live tournament coverage as we see Aguero with the Queen-9 has stepped into 10s and 8s, neither of whom are 3-betting. That which I'm referring to, by the way, to put a button on it, Game of Gold, Season 1, Season Finale, was released just yesterday. No spoilers still. I know some of you maybe haven't watched it yet. Two-hour special. Twelfth and final episode. Certainly encourage you to go out and watch what really has had the entire poker world buzzing. It was a an honor and a privilege to be a part of that first season, one in which we're already interviewing potential contestants for season two. As Sergio testing the potential of Queen Nine here, which has outflopped both the tens and the eights in a four-way affair. Ribeiro. Close the action from the big, has second pair. Let's see how Reese and Lucci feel about things. Now Ryan, first to come in with the call, I think makes the release a bit easier for Lucci. TBD. Maybe we peel one time with the eights, Ali? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, we feel as though if we hit it, we can win a massive pot. And obviously the price gets nicer and nicer for the four five. Oh, are we going upstairs? What on earth? <laughs> Look at the demon that has possessed this big blind. Check raising an entire field that includes the pre-flop raiser to 13,000. I don't know. Maybe he thinks he has pocket fours. This reads so incredibly strong. It certainly it looks like pocket fours. Maybe believes he has three, four. I think he knows he's bluffing. He's attacking what he thinks may be a vulnerable queen or worse. I got I to gotta tell you, Brent, though, that there is something 
slightly difficult. We know sometimes hands like a set will play fast on balance. However, it's such a dry board. One would think he would be better served to call, hope that Sergio would fire again and trap the other two guys in for a much bigger check raise right. on the turn. Nevertheless, it gets through as the worst hand of four conquers Sergio laying it down. Somewhat understandably, that red super strong. Oof, what a play by Ribeiro. Sergio will not be happy when he sees the replay of that hand. Welcome to the islands. This just one of 700 of them, 30 that are inhabited, a full-time population of just about 400,000 called the Bahamas home, which is home to not just the inhabitants on two legs, but some on multiple fins. Shark diving capital of the world, largest underwater cave network. And I believe there's a place maybe in, in the Exumas, the Blue Hole. This is where all the, the free divers in the world go to kind of Explore practice the caves? what they do. By the way, that free diving thing is completely insane. There's a, a Netflix documentary called The Deepest Breath, I believe. Or longest breath. Just free diving, so no oxygen. You just go down as deep as you, you just can. Just go down, <gasps> and then you know, six minutes later, you come up six and hope minutes. that you're not brain dead. That sounds horrible. I mean, you think Ribeiro's got gamble? People do that for a living. I don't know how, how do much of a living free dive? you can make. No one said that this is something you're going to print money doing. By the way, Ace King tends to print. In the big. Excuse me, Ritter. Ribeiro getting frisky blind on blind. Should be the end of it, I would imagine, Ali. Yep. As the three bet does draw this hand to a close. End of the hand, but the beginning of our check-ins with Jeff Platt, who's in the field with a couple of champs. All right, we didn't plan this, but two of our Game of Gold stars sitting right next to each other. That would be David Williams and Josh Ari. If you gentlemen could stand up for me, please, just for a quick sec. David, I'll start with you. You have to reveal this hand history basically right when you sit down. What happens? Yeah, um, I sit down, say hello to Josh, you know, a little banter. And I'm um, in the small blind. I've been to the table a minute. Two aces. I'm like, oh, yeah, look at this. A uh, guy across from the table opens the 1200, buttons flat calls. I make it uh, 51. And then all of a sudden, my buddy Josh in the big blind starts thinking for a while. And I'm like, oh, baby, this is sweet. Although I know Josh, like, he's, he's not going to make a move there to my cold three bet without it. He, uh, he makes it 11,000. The other guys get out of the way. So now I got a choice here, you know, like, I know he's got a real hand. I know I have an image that precedes me. You know, I blasted it off with <laughs> ace four against, against him. Against yeah. him. So I'm like, what, what do I do here? Do I flat call? Do I raise little? Do I just jam? I'm like, you know, what? I'm just going to jam here because I, I know his hand is real. You know, it's queens kings maybe the other aces maybe ace king suited hard for him to get away from a real hand here if i of all people David, this is an interview of both is, of us yeah. <laughs> come on if I raise it small he's gonna figure that out and i was like fuck it i'm just gonna i'm just gonna blast it in here and he just immediately shows queens and mucks him he's like yeah. and was game of gold heads up running through your mind when he does jam like okay he can go a little crazy I, I, I mean i know david and we have a long history so yes i know he can go crazy but uh he knows that I know that, <laughs> and it's, but yeah, I don't lay down queens much, but that uh, was, yes, yes, play your thank hand. You. <laughs> that was about as easy of a queens lay down as uh, I can have. You guys are awesome. Appreciate the time. Yeah. Thanks so much. Good interview. <laughs> good, inter good interview, David. <laughs> good friends and old school veterans of the game, Josh Arye and David Williams, who have kind of enjoyed... A, a resurgence of popularity. Now, granted, they've been out there doing their thing, posting results, but with all of the eyeballs that are on Game of Gold, I would imagine a lot of photo ops, a lot of people coming over to kind of express their support, yeah. perhaps for what they observed. And we strongly encourage those of you who somehow have managed to not 
soak up that first season of Game of Gold to get busy doing so because the spoilers are likely to begin to surround you here as the ace-queen surrounds ace-eight and ace-five to the tune of top pair. <coughs> 2K, the follow-through. Aguero without a paddle. Does it look like Cooter's going to be getting much action? <laughs> Sergio has gone to the, the sunglasses, by the way. We see Frankowski. Really no future either. Couple things, by the way, during that interview I noticed. One, I saw Dankness in the background. I caught that. Will Jaffe. Yes. Two, in the chat, yeah. we have Ryan DePaulo. Okay, talk to me. Yeah, we're out there. He just said hi to the gang. All right. Folks are he is. engaged with DePaulo. Nice okay. to have you here in the chat. Okay. Star of the YouTube show, him. Hothead Called Blake High him. Noon, <laughs> alongside <laughs> Will Jaffe. Uh huh. Did you catch any High Noon this summer, Holly? Uh, now, I Almost didn't gone. catch any High Noon, but of course you'll no, remember that Nick Rigby at the feature table yeah. literally <laughs> caught a High Noon, wow, which yeah, was yeah. hurled <laughs> towards him and then polished off rapidly <laughs> during. It. The World Series of Poker yeah. main event legend Nick Ripley brought us the diaper. As the hard six for Sergio. Opens to 1200. Uh, Troya in position. King Queen off. Three bet just elects to call. And we also welcome Wolfgang Poker to the YouTube chat. My man Wolfgang met him down in Houston just last week. You know, Wolfgang was playing in a home game with the Buffalo Bills football team. How about that, Holly? What would you give? For that, by the way, Ace. My life. Ten. Okay, that that's an awkward kind of, you know, bounty to 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 post up. But okay. Yeah, everything. I'm sure the wife and three kids are delighted to hear that. Oh, no, Apologies, by the way, to the Hanks family at home if if you are listening, which, by the way, I deeply recommend you not. Troya, King Queen, looking to tell a story here. Yeah, giving Cooter the business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that what he's doing? Threes into the muck would have turned the gut shot straight draw. Yes. Check once more from the big blind defense, which feels a little bit more like it's in that 5x, 6x territory, or maybe a straight draw with a 7, 8, or 9x combo. Could leave Troya firing once more. uncomfortable now with the ace 10 but as we can see it's working out to perfection for cooter not folding this is opponent drawing stone dead and now trip oh. aces just for added comfort although if we are concerned about being out kicked and this doesn't change anything about that i'm not certain that that's on Cooter's mind as he does knuckle a third and final time and now for Troya I, I, 
almost want to say that the second ace showing up makes it a little bit tougher for him to rep. You know what I mean? I, I'm not really sure what now we can get to fold. You're right. Even if it was, you know, maybe it was two jacks, two tens. That was a non-believer. This ace on the river makes it even more difficult. To your point, Ali, and you also need to be concerned about three aces. There it is. Why shut down? Well, he took two swings at it, but in the end, does avoid that third costly barrel. As Cooter now gobbling up that pot, 52,300 in front of him. Just one player over the six figure threshold, that being Frankowski. Short stack. At present, above average now is Cooter. Aguero. The leave starting stack, Ali, 50,000. So you can see trending in the right direction. It's always, you start to feel, and I know this from players and from experience, when you dip down below starting stack, you get into the 30s, the 20s, you st players have a tendency to panic. Like, oh, no, what? Am I really going out on day one? Well, listen, I mean, I think it is always important to take note of, as we see Sergio with the Ace-4 suited opening to 2,200. This is nearly 4X. How many big blinds that stack is at whatever the present blind level is? Because, you know, whether or not you're below or above the, the starting stack, far less relevant than how deep you are in general. So, you know, right now, blinds okay. at 3-6, just a click forward from the 3-5 yeah. that we started at. Ooh, no cause for concern. Now for Aguero Cooter came along for the ride from the small blind. Uh-oh. If Cooter continues. Check. <laughs> well, you know, when when you are an active Cooter, it is good to get it checked from time to time as, as we see the second check there from from Cooter. I, I got to tell you, yeah. you know, yeah. this is... This is shaping up really to be testing uh, limited maturity in aggregate here in the booth that we've brought to this affair. Kicker does improve for Sergio on the river. No, by the way, the check back. 10,000 in the middle. Locked up is this hand. Would expect a call from Aguero. This is unfortunate for all the fans tuning in. Oh. Only 1,500. A milky cooter bet. Boy, you, you know, it feels unsavory. Indeed, Sergio does call. Gets shown the ace-queen. Things really have not gone his way. Down now to 17,500. Just about 30 bigs. As the slightly unkempt cooter takes yet another one. In the chat, by the way, I noticed comparisons. And I don't know whether or not you know this, this character, by the way. To Rasputin. Rasputin? Yeah, I believe this was uh, a, a Russian. I don't even think he was a mythical character. I think he actually lived and was like a uh, clairvoyant, maybe? Like a, not fortune teller so much, but he just, he predicted a lot of things. Nostradamus? Maybe I'm mixing him up with Nostradamus. Quick Google, you know. Good read, by the way. I didn't yeah. expect you to to be on top of me there, but you know, let's let's look up Rasputin. I believe the Russians are of some sort. Rasputin. There he is. A mystic. A Russian mystic. 
All right. And holy man, best known. I'm seeing the images over there. Yeah, I see. I mean, honestly, any sort of bearded fellow we can just assign. Not any. I mean, this this one in particular. A visionary, a prophet. No, oh, all right. To so some, a religious charlatan. Yeah. To others, by the way. Shout out charlatans. Well, a very strong and faithful hand here. Ace King suited for Frankowski. That it is. Oh, and Aguero has the two sevens, has been heading in the wrong direction. Let's see. This soccer star will do with the hockey sticks now. Is it time? Under 30 bigs. Out of the big blind. Does go all in, Ali. And I think he's going to have a date in what has suddenly grown to an almost 35,000 chip pot out of nowhere, seemingly. One in which Sergio... Has the lead, but he's on his feet because he's at risk. 4% edge is not at all a big one. Oh, that's a lot of pressure, by the way. I, I don't know if you caught that stare down at the dealer. I mean, I'm sure he's dressed down some officials in the EPL over the years in that way as the 9-8 deuce dresses down the ace king to just 25% equity. Frankowski, not amused, but not at all dead. Turn card stays safe and adds the open ender, which is unnecessary. Anti-sweating an ace or a king is all Sergio's doing. Keep the striker alive. Yes, we can. Casi. Aguero with the double up. The doble? The doble, yeah. Brent? Much needed from Aguero. As the what? fans, the chat erupting. Sergio will remain seated here at this feature table. Well, you can see that's a man who's certainly been subject to his share of tense and stressful moments on the pitch, but less so on the felt and the impact worn upon his face as now he sports 34-7. Still the shorty, but narrowing the gap between himself and Andre Lucci. That might be Lucci, by the way. I'm not certain. You know, these things... Haven't been made entirely clear. We do our best. Lukey. It feels like it could be Lukey. You know, I don't have. Well, we do our best, you know, with the pronunciation. I know there's a like little bit of Italian influence <coughs> in South America in certain <laughs> pockets. Problem. More so in Argentina. Also some Germanic influence. Yeah. You <laughs> Well, me, well, I would sure. imagine Ritter is in fact She's Ritter. Nice. <laughs> She's good at <laughs> yeah, that's a safe one. Frankowski, <laughs> yep. likely in fact Frankowski, yep. and a cooter's a cooter. Well, they're not all created equal, uh, Brent. I'll have you know, having you know, sampled a few. What? Well, you said a cooter's a cooter, and I just wanted to to point out that that's not. That's not necessarily the case. <laughs> yeah. We really are getting our money's worth out of I just apologies, by the way, I know it's you know, still daytime, night sh not the night shift, you know what I mean? Two arts, two jacks, and an ace as Sergio picks up the flush draw here in a three way affair. Ritter was the opener. Closes flop action with a check. Now the turn does pair Sergio. Gutter presented to Ritter.
still no betting, and now the heart does roll off for Sergio. Dare I say Sergio? Yeah. After the double, and now is poised. Here we go. Did he just check it? Believe he did. Okay. Ali, hoping to maybe find a check raise with that flush, but I cannot win. Ritter made the eight. <sighs> Felt as though it's good enough to just knuckle down. And look at Reese, <laughs> entertained by Sergio's <laughs> trappiness. Wow. Well, back-to-back -back pots for the Man City striker. There is a, a very international field out there. And, you know, while <sighs> soccer still hasn't really <laughs> emerged in, to the same degree in terms of popularity yeah. in uh -huh. the United States, worldwide, yeah. it is it's the, the game, sport, the right? number one sport. Yeah. And so to have someone like Sergio in mm -hmm. the room, especially, you know, for the Latin American contingent among us, is really kind of star striking. I don't think if he's walking out the room on break, he's going to be able to get to that men's room without being intercepted many times over for now a handshake a like photo. Aguero, you have security, right? You know, you're out here. You, you've well, got yeah. someone hoarding off the... Uh, the peasants, if well, okay. you will, coming I in thought, for the autographs. I thought you meant, uh, first off, peasants is a bit rich. Second off, I thought you meant, like, financial, and I was going to, you know, yeah, he's all right. Yeah, he'll be okay. Yeah. You know. These soccer contracts are huge. This right? isn't case money that he's playing on. By the way, Ost activating with the Jack-10 suited here as Ribeiro, the man who check-raised the entire field from the big blind with but a pair of fours, which was fourth of four players, Opens the king six suited. Frankowski played the sixes as a flat. Now it's going to cost him another 4,500 to set mine. Okay, that was weird. Got a little bit more of Ryan Reese than I, than I needed. No pasa nada. No pasa nada. No problem. And the price, pretty sweet for Frankowski with this two sixes. Not to mention we're heads up. By the way, Frankowski, for me, Brent, emerging as a little bit of a, of a force we'll out here day. as Jack-9 Deuce, the product of his flat top pair for Ost, also a force of his own. These two guys, ones to keep an eye on, I would imagine. Ost, believe, sponsored by Tommy Hilfiger. Shades matching the shirt. Four K follow through and the pot laying us a nice price, but nevertheless, lack of a heart. Literally. I want to go back to your uh, your topic of soccer in the states. Okay, Correct let's call me if football. I'm wrong. You know, football. Sure. International audience. Yeah. I'll, I'll abide. Okay. It is on the rise in the States, correct? I mean, Messi is playing for a club in Miami, that Florida. Is, yes. All of the major cities now have professional teams. I don't know about all of the major cities. The majority cities. of major cities, you know? You know, so, some not so major cities have a team, but like Columbus, Ohio, not exactly. Well, that's the largest you know. city in Ohio. Right, but still, you know, yeah. when we're thinking like New York, L.A., San Francisco, all of which Chicago, have teams, Miami. Right? Yeah, all of which have teams, yeah. fair. Fair. But yeah, I mean, it is burgeoning. There is no question about it. And it's, look, high time that that happens. The American teams in the past have all been quite crap. Am I wrong? That's incorrect. No. Brent, I the guess Americans so. actually made a very deep run in the World Cup, falling to Belgium 
and I believe it was the quarterfinals. Was this the Lexi Lawless era? If, if I'm not mistaken. Landon no, Donovan? I perhaps? don't think Lawless was out there. Donovan, I do believe, was on the pitch at that time. All right. But that was a hell of a match for those that soaked it up. Certainly worthy of excitement if you're a U.S. soccer fan. I always call it, you know, soccer whenever I'm referring to it. In terms of the U.S., as we see Sergio's King Jack dominating, Reese's Queen Jack, both suited iterations. Troya, big blind, can close it with ace-10. Taking it up. 9,000 from the big blind. And I have the best hand. Listen, I got to imagine that Troy is putting a squeeze on Reese here, who he assumes is looking to maybe play a few more pots against Sergio in position, and maybe suspects that Sergio's ranges aren't necessarily ironed out. Painful to have to fold the King Jack suited. Brian Reese is. Still quite deep. Would he ever consider taking a flop? He's questioning whether Troya can be light. This hurts. Have to fold Queen Jack suited on day one. Yeah, it didn't look like he enjoyed it, but nice to pick up fair. for Troya. King Jack and Queen Jack were both beaten. By the way, Zach Elliott in the chat popping in to advise that Columbus, Ohio is the 11th biggest city in the country now. If that is to be believed, apologies to the good people of Columbus. I've been out there for an Ohio State game, yeah, by I the way. I think it's large because of the uni it because of Ohio fun. State University. Is it massive population? Yeah, that has something to do with it. Right. It's my guess. Bigger than yeah. Cleveland. Look, the I population wrong. balloons on Saturdays, I can tell you that. Yeah. It's the <laughs> temple of college football <laughs> that is... The cathedral on campus. By the way, I've dotted the I. I don't know if you know what that means. I do. Ohio the State marching fans. band, of course. Yeah. 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 You dotted the I? Yeah. When you were doing the collegiate show? Yeah. Years yes. ago, I remember ESPN. This. Yeah. Road trip. Not all my time. Entertainment you know, I come, watched you know, that show, and Did I, you I really? remember, yeah, I, I, I wish that show was still a thing. So do I, I man. I feel like it was ahead of its time, a little bit. if you will. The, the joke was, you know, for me as a sicko college football fan, that I was getting paid to do something I would have paid to do. Right. I mean, Now you've got Pat McAfee with game day, and that's sort of, you know, game day's become such a staple for sure. collegiate sports, particularly football. Not as big on the NCAA basketball side. Not as big as Queen Jack suited. The open for Reese, this time Queen 10 off. And Ribeiro, who grabbed the early cape here, as I touched on earlier, will come along open ender. The developments for Reese, just the gutter for Ribeiro. And that nine would be a yeah. devastating card if it were to come home. Seventeen hundred. This hand is over, and it's also come to my attention via Dalai Lama that currently the Columbus crew, which you touched on, is winning the MLS championship, which allegedly First is off, it's the MLS right Cup. MLS Cup, hey, sure. You're Thank you. Never watched a game in my life. However, uh, it is airing as we speak, Ali. And they are up 2-0, I'm being told, on LAFC. All right. Reese, by the way, able to just take that one.
pretty one for Cooter. Quinten suited. Nothing brewing elsewhere uh, thus far, although the uh, ace do suit it on the button on for break? Troya. You know, these baby suited aces have become ideas of sorts. The ace five, of course, the one that really tickles people's fancy in terms of. Uh, he will pass. Three bed counter action this time. You almost did it. Huh? You almost did it. I <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Eights? Uh, something like that. <laughs> what about you? Eights as well? No. no, no. <laughs> Hop in. I want, I want Penelope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> That's a real freestyle beard there. You know, I, I've just been sitting here staring at it. And, you know, some people these days give it like, there's all these, pro, it was on Shark Tank, they were pitching, uh -huh. pro, you know, waxes and oils and conditioners and all that kind of frou-frou sort of stuff. Right. Not, not our man, not our man Cooter. He's just au naturel out there as uh, the good Lord intended. I just love it, you know. Coder from Pennsylvania, Neefs, Pennsylvania to be exact. I'm not familiar with the Neefs location. He might be the only resident. I would like to learn a little bit more about Neefs. Give me a moment, Ali. I'd like to dive in to the origins of Cooter. Well, that's a whole different investigation. We're just looking for Neefs, Pennsylvania information now, Brent. Ace Deuce suited, did find the bin a hand to go from the button, no less, but here in the stewardship of Uwe Ritter, it will find its way to a flop. Diamond in the window was a pleasant development, but the queen and the nine behind it far less so for Ritter's purposes. As he does check, Frankowski flopping a four behind him after closing the action from the big. And of course, Chief is Reese with top pair. Nine of hearts is helpful as well, but he does check back and close the action. Playing pot control, and now he picks up the heart draw on the turn. Still no bets in front of him, and I would imagine now is the time for Reese. Boy, that 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 got the way that that Andre came back to the table. It looked like he was leaning in for a look at Reese's hole cards, but it was just a depth perception issue. Anyway, thirty-five hundred should spell the end of this one. Although who knows, Frankowski could have ideas. Draw heavy. Maybe we believe the four is good. <coughs> yeah, Ali, a non-believer in Ryan Reese. Well, note, by the way, that this call is earned as a result of the check back on the flop as much as anything. Now the king is a very poor card for Frankowski to look up at. We'll see whether or not Reese is going to go for thin value. The king, jack, king, ten, jack, ten, all a problem at this point for him does block the 10. Pure value with Boy, this, this queen. Is, he knows it's good. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. Holding the 10 has a lot to do with this, of course, because we block those combos that would contain a king or be nutted. And I think he 
He's got a vibe on Frankowski as being a non-believer that might pay off lean. I'm not sure what we beat with 5-4. We block the 5-6. I, I mean, just busted hearts maybe of like the ace-3, ace-deuce variety. Everything else was already there or now gets there with the king. Yeah. Hence the fold. Slightly begrudging. But nevertheless correct as Reese hauls that one in. And the chat has ironed you out a little bit in terms of pronunciation. One that I was guilty of as yes, well there well, listen, for I, this town in Pennsylvania that right. Cooter hails from. I understand. And what I all I can do is read what we're given, the bios. It is Neffs, oh, Pennsylvania, a very oh. small village in the Lehigh Valley. Been there. Eastern side. I, me too. I've got family there. Not in Neffs, but uh, yeah, so do apologize to the uh, the folks tuned in right now. There's for, a little uh, Sands Casino Bethlehem. Bethlehem, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, it was out there. Have yeah. you? Yeah. They got a little poker I got game family going on in uh, Mechanicsburg and Harrisburg. I went to, I went to a Lehigh can't remember who they played. It's like one of the oldest rivalries Bucknell? in college football. Wasn't Bucknell? No. Maybe it was Liberty? No. That's Could be Liberty. Like, could it? Also not Harrisburg. Not sure. But, yeah, had a good time over there. We did bed racing through oh, the yeah. middle of campus. Oh, I'd yeah. never experienced this. Yeah. That was delightful. People get effed up, by the way, in the bed races. They go hard. You know, you come around the bend, you know, it's not like you've got a four-point harness and a Recaro seat on that thing. You're just hanging onto a mattress. I saw some wicked spills. Every year on ESPN2 features bed racing from Noblesville, Indiana, which I believe is clearly where bed racing was founded. Talk about this ain't the Ocho on the Deuce? This is on this? the Deuce. Because I know the Red Bull. Summer. I love the Red Bull soapbox yeah. racing series stuff, but... I only the know this. Racing? My the wife team? is from Noblesville. Okay. And she didn't even know about it until we were wandering through programming one night. And sure yep. enough, there it is. Bed racing. Indiana. I would love to commentate on that. I mean, me and you would kill that. I would love to do it with Brent, you. Are you kidding me? Six is going up against seven, eight here in a single raise pot. Ace, queen, jack. Well divorced from both holdings. Not following through. Yeah, Ribeiro, perhaps the only opportunity. He's going to try and tell the story right here, right now, that he flatted in position with some sort of textured hand that would have coordinated with this board. Very difficult for Reese to want to continue with a baby pair. There it is. This Ribeiro guy is slippery. Yeah, you know? he's been really <laughs> just active and finds a way to win with nothing. I mean, he had a pair of fours, but that was effectively right. nothing when Maybe he rose up and, Again? and got three so better hands into the block with a savage check raise. Yeah. Here he is. We stay here Flat. until dinner break. Like really? Eh? And then That's a snap time. barrel. Well, okay. Dinner here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were going to move us at break, but they're not. We're just too entertaining. <laughs> Looks like. Talkative table. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how to, how to break it to you. None of the rest of you have anything to do with this being the featured table. I know you'd love to believe that, but just clearly the international superstardom that is Sergio is yeah. basically yeah. the singular That's reason it. behind this. And a uh, couple of jacks, the reason behind the raise. For Luki. Host. Another 800. Likes the price. It's Not become unfair. quite the norm in poker. Anything reasonable out of the big blind facing the min-raise price? Yeah, you're in there. You see three. In a tough spot right now. Monotone King High. 
Ten of hearts facing the jack of hearts. Might that be enough for Ost to call what I have to imagine would be a bet with reasonable frequency from Luki, but my imagination does not serve me well as the check back allows a deuce to roll off. And now let's see. Ost doesn't even give it a thought. One, now, with the second check in front of him, Luki feeling a bit cozier about the jacks. That's 1,600. Oh, tell you what, some of the trouble with oh. the check back oh. and then bet line is that we embolden players to maybe suspect that we're just trying to lay claim to one with air. The check raise quickly called by Luki. And let's see. With 14-6 in the middle, what the river has in store. Yep. I think a non-heart is far more interesting. the river four to a wheel out there but the prospects of perhaps an ace of hearts looming somewhere nothing in Ost's hand interacts with this board and if he were to bomb one more time I, I have no idea how Luki could call I agree but the issue a little bit for Ost is maybe there is some asex in there preflop razor checking back on the king high flop and then betting the turn possibly with the wheel gutter maybe a baby heart maybe a lack of a heart but no lack of heart in ost as he goes hard at this one to the tune of eleven thousand, brent and these jacks are beginning to wrinkle it's so hard to find bluffs if you're luki but yet he has not folded he he looks invested he looks curious somehow a non-believer This would be heroic if he were to call. Oh my gosh. He's counted out the rest of the stack to see what's left if he were to make the call and lose. Oh my goodness, he does it. <laughs> How in the world? Ost gets looked up and caught with his hand in a cookie jar, and sometimes you can't just bludgeon your way through. Is Andre. You know, you take kind of the King X out of the equation. You don't think an ace is just randomly going to decide to fire on the end. Maybe would be played more as a check just to be safe and get to showdown. He eventually. That was filthy. That really was something, wasn't it? Yeah, the Brazilian Andre Luki, 180000 in career earnings. Won a tournament in 2014, the Brazilian Series of Poker main event, which has sort of been where he is. Made the bulk of his money, his printing press, if you will. Looking for his first World Series of Poker cash. That was a nice, healthy pickup for Luki, who is following up on the jacks with an ace-queen open. Here at the four and eight level, Troya, a couple of sevens.
Jackie now. King 10 suited with the open and the flat in front of him. He's going to play this one as a three bet. And when we're deep stacked and early, as we are here in this main, note Ost ace jack out of there. Sergio with an ace king. You'll see a bit more frisk pre-flop. Let's see if Sergio has four scoops on his mind. He very well might, Ali. There's more than 10,000 in the middle right now. Sergio with 34,000 behind. 44? It's time for the superstar to shine. Yep. Yeah. Jam from Sergio, and I'm not certain that 35,000 can be called oh and yet gosh. account being asked for by the ace queen. I mean, There's let us stop to ask one ourselves, one bottom of range for Sergio six. here has yeah, got to be a pair, which would be ahead of the ace queen. And of course the disaster is when it's queens, aces, or ace king specifically. I don't think Luki's really Maybe Aces comes with a milkier sizing, yeah, but you know, 35,000, where are we supposed to go in terms of a four bed? 54. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. 34. Okay. Thanks. I think he's looking at ranges quite like you are, Ali, or perhaps many in the chat. Just feels like he has a good hand, kind of playing the rush. I mean, listen, Sergio's no punter, Brent. This no. isn't like a guy yeah. who's just thinking, I, I, I've got a 12 o'clock massage I need to get to. You know, he's playing the game out here. And yet, Andre on the struggle bus with an ace queen Coach. that does eventually end up where it's supposed to in this spot. The sevens not making a meal of things either. And now the troublemaker, Frankowski. King 10 suited, I can't imagine. The one. He folds as well, so... <laughs> Bouncing off the low point, which was 17.5, up we go. After can see in the TV. <laughs> 44,700. Sergio's watched the streamer too, Brent. You hit him with the old. They can see find in out the TV. Yeah. later uh -huh. on the stream. You know, yeah. don't go asking me. Love that, by the way. Got a boy. No sweet. Yeah. That's a huge pickup. Sergio now 44,700, working his way back to starting stack. Looked for a very brief moment like. He was resigned to what seemed to be not his day. Back in the hunt very much, though. Oh, my favorite hand. Go on. Show them how it's done, Aquero. Deuces. Played as a flat from the small here in the face of the Rivero <laughs> Open. Reese wants to get involved with these guys. Jack 7 5 board. Reese ahead with bottom pair. Little does he know it. Along with Flo, both parties checking uh, to Ribeiro. Seen Ribeiro be extremely aggressive thus far during this show. Does have the ace of clubs in his hand. 3,100 to go.
Just bottom pair for Ryan Reese. Not a ton of great turn cards. And she's just out. Ribeiro's aggression pays off. Reese understanding that he's probably going to have to see another barrel from Ribeiro. This guy's gotten away with a few. Not that that was the one, but again, slippery. You got the short sleeve pastel, uh, you know, what is that, feathers kind of thing. I mean, this is a guy, they a man of leisure. Feathers, are they leaves? Dare I'm I not say? Sure. There Could you be go. some of both. Who knows? CL Poker Club founder, professional from Brazil. 124000 in live career earnings, although these numbers sometimes can deceive us, Brent, because there's a lot of folks out here who do their thing, mouse in hand, out there, online, crushing quietly, under the radar, so to speak, right. in terms of those of us who are more on the live side. I would imagine that's his vibe as well, Ali. We don't have the online notes. Raise and take it with the ace 10. Well, welcome to those of you who might be just joining us here for day 1A coverage, one of four day ones here in Paradise, the Atlantis Resort on Paradise Island in the Bahamas. World Series of Poker Europe inaugural. Sergio Aguero of Argentine National Club and Manchester City fame in seat one, along with former World Series of Poker main event winner Ryan Reese. Right there in the foreground, side by side, Ali Najad, along Brent Hanks. Happy to have you on the GG Poker YouTube channel, where we will be streaming six consecutive days of this main event. Today, we will play down to 15% of the starting field. Everyone that remains, our intention to have them in the money. Same story for days two and three. A turbo happens on day four. Day 1D, rather, is how I should be. Describing it, 1A, 1B, 1C, then day 1D. And once we get to day 2, everyone supposed to be in the money. I like it. I think it's great. That turbo caught my attention. Uh-oh. You just cut the levels in half, get this thing over in about three Listen, hours. You know, some guys, they like to burn fast, as we see. Oh. Queen Jack suited, three betting the Ribeiro open with A6 suited. Lucky. Maybe we need to pronounce it lucky. Aces with a raise and re-raise in front of them. Four bet incoming. How much? Eighteen eight to go from Lucky. And around to Ost. This is a very large portion of his stack with just Queen Jack suited out of here. Really? Even the most ambitious among us recognize when it's time to let go. How about Luki? 62,000 now in front of him. Had a lot of big hands. You see? You see? Made yeah. the most Made of an things. Incredible call with two jacks. Yeah. yeah. Earned it. <laughs> and continues yeah. to kind of feast on most bucks. Yeah. The Fabia. Here's yeah. the moment. Yeah. No. He made sure everybody knew that he wasn't out of line. We'll see. When I fui all in? No, no, no. Now. 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 You know what's kind of incredible, no. Brent, is yeah. there, and truly, I mean this, in terms of superstardom on an international level, Sergio is right there. There are people who, not unlike yourself, when you were referring to Wolfgang and being able to get in on the Buffalo Bills team home game, would give an arm and a leg 
to be able to to be this close in proximity, let alone engage in hours well, worth of casual conversation and some poker to boot with the likes of Sergio. This simply the byproduct of playing this game that so many love from all walks of life, from all corners of the world, and there's nothing like a main event to bring them all together. Over 10,000 runners in Vegas this summer. TBD, of course. How many we get here at this very first Paradise stop? Oh, very fair point, Sally. It's a dream come true, opportunity for, for so many. Two spades on the ace nine eight board. Gutter for Rivero. Open ender for Luki on the button. Has a check to him by Cooter. He will check back. Take a pull at a five or a ten. The ten, of course, would have been an awful development given Ribeiro lurking with the queen jack. Would have had the nut straight. Instead, two tones come the board now. Second ace and Mike Cooter as the party starter. Here with the nut flush draw. Yeah. Decide this to move this one up. <laughs> yes, he, he may consider that, Ali. Yeah. I mean, it's already pretty wet out there in terms of two spades, two hearts, the eight, nine connectivity, but, you know, a little water based 2000. Fired here at the turn. Lucci's out. Are we going back to Lucci? Lucci? Okay. Yeah. Hoochie Lucci. Nice. Little bet on the turn there. <laughs> I need This I party with this guy. Brent, you in? I'm in. Right now. No, he's not gonna abandon his stack, but you know I what mean, I mean? I would go anywhere with This is a dude who isn't going straight to bed when plays over tonight. You know what I mean? There no. might be there might be some blackjack. You know. Maybe some craps. Even some slot poles. Uh, not, yeah, I could see it. You know, did want to give everyone an <coughs> update. I've been keeping an eye on the 50K super high roller. They are now three-handed. Orp the Turk, Eric Seidel. Oh, the cyborg. Yes, and Seth Gottlieb, who we had in the cash game just a couple of days ago. Come on. Jason Kuhn bowed out in fourth. But Seidel is there in second place. It's quite even. The chip counts. I'm using WSP.com live yeah, updates. Really keep, By the way, really Mateos, the Matador, who was at the, the GG Millions right. high roller final table, also at this one, finishing eighth again. Kind of a an early exit at the FT. Yeah. Up top, what are we working with? 1.7 million okay. up top. A million and change for second, and 778,000 for third. So that is the 50K high roller. And that's happening right now off to the side. Let me get you updates as I see them. If you want to follow it on your own, again, just head over to WSP.com. We will find the updates. But not Kuhn out, by the way. I saw you had the updates over there. He finished in fourth. Looks like Kuhn got it in with Queen-10 suited versus two eights against Orp. And, uh, and Orp made an eight. And then he made another eight for quads. Ouch. No, yeah, I'll do it. Kuhn, by the way, also a part of Game of Gold Season 1 on that dream team with Negranu. Nobody would have expected an early exit out of that squad. Soiza, I believe. Right. Yeah. I mean, it didn't look I like mean, that they could lose. The book printed. In terms of those who... Maybe they're overrated, you know? Just not that good. I'm not going to say that. No. Ever. Fair. By the way, Brent. Right. Goats. Daniel and Kuhn. Resume speak for themselves. As do you. 
quite often. Thank Speak you. for yourself. Yes, Ali, thank you, know. you. I was wondering when my name would be included. Even, even though we're together Negrano, in this booth, I can't. Kuhn, Seidel. Seidel, by the way, what bracelet number potentially would this be? Is it 11? I think he's in the 10, the 10 <laughs> bracelet club, is he not? There's a, there's a few on 10, there's a few on 8. No, Ivy's 10. I believe Chan is 10. There's an easy way to figure this out. I will do so. Yeah, you, get, you put in a little work here, Brent. You know what I mean? I see that got Frankowski wants to book a date with Sergio, who is open to 2,000, and he is using Queen Three suited as the one. When when yeah the red. Okay, it appears that Sergio may have caught a glimpse of something that had been mucked in a sporting effort. He, he wanted to make sure that Frankowski was aware of that, although there's no guarantee that what he thinks he saw was seen. So we do march on, but look at this. Frankowski wants to put Sergio into the blender. He does, and he's he's three betting out of the big blind. I'll tell you what, this Frankowski is an animal, extremely aggressive. Yeah, going hard. And he is dominated. Let's see if this board brings something that could keep Sergio interested, as that would present real problems for Frankowski. Ace, 10, eight. He does have the diamonds. But really little else to speak of. No hesitation, though, as he barrels into this 14-2, posing a question. Now, Aguero with King of Spades. Yeah. The problem is the stack size. He's got 36K, 19 in the middle. In his mind, he's peeling for a gutter. And even if he does make an added spade, how much more? Will he have to chase and put into the pot if Frankowski's aggression maintains? Boy, I'd love to see him peel here. I think we all would. The chat, dying for it. Immediate outs to the nuts. Could pick up a spade. The way he's playing with these cards, man, it doesn't seem like he wants to take a look, and he does show the muck. Frankowski gets away with murder there. He's going to show five. the queen. Oh. Frankowski just and makes him feel like maybe a good fold, Ali. Yeah, I mm -hmm. you, you'll see half an hour. Oh, and he uses the old you can see in a half hour stream line, the one that Sergio delivered just moments ago as they're on their feet. Time to go to the first break of the afternoon here on day 1A. Still early, Ryan Reese, the chip leader, 83,000 and change. Frankowski's been frisky as have a few of our other participants here. Ivan Ost on the shorty. Brett and I are going to step away. We'll be back. Welcome in once again, Nick Wright from First Things First at the WSOP Paradise here at Atlantis in the Bahamas. First ever WSOP Paradise, and it has been going great. And I am now absolutely honored to be joined by one of the greatest, as we would say, soccer players, as I probably should say, football players yeah. ever, <laughs> and Sergio Aguero, along with... Fernando is going to help us with some of the translations because I didn't pay attention in Spanish class enough in high school, so we can, Fernando can help us out. Uh, Sergio, first of all, thank you for uh, joining us. And for everybody knows about your football career, and we can get into it, but how long have you been playing poker, and what brought you into the poker world? Bueno, eh, empecé desde muy chico, 18, 19 años jugando online, y... Habré jugado cuatro o cinco años online, luego dejé un poco, porque bueno, eh, los entrenamientos en el fútbol eh, eh, y los partidos no, no me permitían jugar tanto tiempo. Y luego volví a retomar, hará unos dos años, y bueno, acá estoy de nuevo eh, entrenando y compitiendo en este, en este torneo que para mí... Eh, es muy muy lindo y, y ojalá que, que bueno en algún momento pueda pueda hacer las cosas bien. 
Okay, I started up at a very young age, like 18, 19 years. Played for about uh, four or five years. And then I stopped for a little bit because uh, the trainings with the, with the soccer team didn't allow time enough to, to dedicate to poker. Then he started back up like uh, two years ago. And uh, now he's here, enjoying this very nice tournament and hoping to do the best. Uh, amongst your teammates, uh, were you always the best poker player? Eh, bueno, nosotros en el Manchester City jugábamos antes de los partidos entre nosotros al póker y normalmente casi siempre era el que ganaba. <laughs> yeah, usually before the soccer matches we play among the teammates oh. and uh, I was usually the one that won. <laughs> oh, the, um, I know he, he maybe is a rival, but a guy who's played in a lot of the WSOP events is Neymar. Have you ever played against him? In, in poker, no. not, not in football. No, in football, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, in poker, uh, no. Uh, I never play him, no. against him, yeah. Um, another thing people may or may not know is, in addition to obviously your well-decorated football career, you started a few years ago a Twitch channel yes. and were one of the, is I think for a period of time, the fastest growing Twitch channel uh, there was. The, what made you want to do that and could you ever see yourself streaming poker the way a lot of people do on Twitch? Um, bueno, me gusta, sí, el stream. Eh, por suerte la gente se divierte mucho conmigo. Suelo enojarme mucho, eh, quizás por eso no, no hago, no juego al póker por ahí con la gente que me esté mirando porque suelo eh, enojarme bastante. Y, pero bueno, nada, en algún momento me piden mucho hacer póker, eh, digamos, en el stream. Y bueno, no sé, eh, seguramente ahora tendré tiempo para poder hacerlo. Así que. Uh, estaría, estaría bueno. Okay, uh, I really enjoy doing the streaming, but I get upset really easy. Oh. <laughs> so that's probably why I don't stream my poker sessions. <laughs> but perhaps, perhaps now that I'm doing it more often, I will be able to do so. Uh, all right, let's, let's talk a little about football career. Again, if people are watching and they're not as familiar with the Premier League or with Argentina's national team, it's not overstating it. It's calling Sergio Aguero one of the greatest footballers ever, the all-time leading scorer in Man City, five Man City Premier League titles, uh, including, gosh, now it's been a decade, but a famous match if you're a Premier League fan, the final day of the, of the league, I don't know if it was 12 or 13, but you guys needed a result, and in, the, in extra time, I think you scored the game-winning yeah, goal. Against uh, Queen Parker Rangers. Yeah, yeah, against a team that was... 2012. 2012, and that yeah. was the first of then five. Um, yeah, and that is my first Premier League. Your first Premier League in... Yeah, in yeah the, 11 years ago. 11 years yeah. ago. You scored 260 goals, 390 matches. I think uh, in Premier League, uh, 180... 80 or, yeah, 80, the, no? The, 82, 83, I don't know. The, um, I think in, tot, in total, I think uh, 200. Uh, I thought, uh, may, I, you know better than me, I thought it was no, 260 and 390. In Manchester City, but in total, oh, in, in, to, in, oh. my, in my career, I think uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe nearly to 500. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> 500. Thought. Nearly, I don't know. But, so, but, here's the question. In, if you, we have Sergio Aguero in his absolute prime, mm -hmm. and you have Holland right now, and Pep can only yeah. put in one person for striker, who does he give the call to? ¿Quién el, ¿A quién elijo? ¿A quién el, no, ¿a quién elegiría ¿Para jugar? Pep Guardiola? Entre ah. Haaland y, o tú. ¿A quién? <laughs> no lo sé. Eh, seguramente nos, nos tenemos mucho cariño y amor, me va a elegir a mí, 100%. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not so sure, but we really like each other, really care for each other, so he probably picked me. Okay, that's the right answer, that's the right answer. Um, was it? Because era, I was the first 
player. Correct. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alan is the second one. Uh, <laughs> he has to wait. So. Ex exactly. <laughs> exactly right. That's. Um, how was it for you emotionally, seeing what Argentina was able to do in the World Cup this year? I imagine thrilling. You're a coach. I'm mean, very happy. You're Messi, a dear friend. But also, was it also maybe a little sad because you weren't because you know you the you probably. Your career had to stop because of injuries and health issues. So, at, with the emotions for that, was it just pure joy, or was it any sadness, or how did you, how did that land? ¿Cómo me siento corazón? ¿Cómo te sentiste con el logro de Argentina durante el mundial? mundial? Ah, okay. Bueno, yo gané la Copa América con con los mismos chicos que ganaron el mundial y Y la verdad que es como que también si fuera yo lo hubiese ganado. Entonces estoy, estoy muy feliz porque son todos mis, mis compañeros eh, hasta hace dos años. Y, y nada, la verdad que fue muy emocionante para mí ver a, a Messi, sobre todo, ganar el Mundial. Y todos los chicos que hemos intentado años y años tratando de ganar un título con Argentina y bueno, se dieron Copa América y Mundial. La verdad que fue para mí la mejor alegría de, de mi vida, así que estoy muy feliz que Argentina haya sido campeón, porque sé que los chicos, porque los conozco, nos merecíamos ganar ese, ese Mundial. Y bueno, esperemos ahora que, que puedan venir más títulos, ¿no? Yeah, I won. I won the America's Cup with the very same guys that won the the yes. World Cup. So it felt like uh, I was part yes. of that cup, and I felt really happy about the the achievement of winning of the World Cup because I know all the guys and I know they deserve it. I know yeah. that Argentina deserves deserve that title, and it happened that we won the America's Cup and then the World Cup after that. It's an unbelievable run. It was yeah. the unbelievable run in some of the, and I'll let you, because you have to get back to playing. Last question, it, yeah. is, it is the hardest question. Yeah. And take yourself out of it. In Argent, for Argentina footballers, you have your father-in-law, Maradona, yeah. and Messi. Yeah. Is there a best? <sighs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's different years. Um, and when Maradona played in that year, for me, is the best player in the history from Argentina. But I see to Messi play, you know. Yeah. So uh, I play with him. Obviously, uh, Messi for me is like uh, uh, I don't know the best player uh, in the planet. <laughs> Sergio Aguero. Uh, good friend translator Fernando thank you both so much for taking the time we appreciate thank you. you thank you and thank you. Uh, good luck to you the rest of the way hopefully you can okay. add a bracelet to the trophy case okay I don't know maybe okay. I'm going to with this bracelet okay there you go good luck <laughs> appreciate you WSOP Paradise Atlantis as it takes a tremendous amount of comfort in one's own skin to post a video such as that one great song by the way Magic Man by heart. And might I point out that Helmuth, has he just ripped off Antonio Westfandiari? I mean, what? He looks a lot like Antonio with the gold rim, kind of black. I'm just saying. The man. Magic Man? I mean, what? Yeah. You couldn't go with another song, Phil? It was very Antonio. I know we West haven't vibes. seen Antonio very often. He's playing the big cash well, games. He's not out here, but. Oh, wow. look at this. Pocket eights. For Reuter, he's sitting with 16.9 in that kind of mid-stack cluster with Muller on the shortest of stacks. He feels as though Smilko is going to be jamming like this, trying to put ICM pressure on him, and yet Smilko, just a one-man wrecking crew, turns over the nines, and you can see concern on the face of Clemens Reuter. For good reason. 
until the ace jack eight board oh. comes off and he makes bottom set. What a moment for the musician. Can he hold? Thirty-five million chip pot. A clean turn. And perhaps the first blemish on chip leader coming in, Daniel Smilkovich's resume here at this FT. Wouldn't be any fault of his. Dominating pre-flop. But taking the bad beat as Reuter takes his seat and does so. Second in chips with 35 million. It pays to get lucky at the right time. Quite dynamic. First and second in chips right here. As Mueller mulls it over before opting to raise it up. These are the two biggest stacks at the table. No, he limps the ace oh, king. Wow. And Reuter has woken up with a couple of tens. No. The captain has turned on the fast and see black sign. I don't see how it doesn't go in. So this is going to be a disaster for one of these two. This is a story that is going to end badly. For whom, that's what we yet don't know. As Reuter makes it 2.6, Muller's intention when limping here was not to limp flat. It was to limp three bet. At this depth, the jam seems unnecessary. I would imagine so, Ali. It is a sickening spot. The only guy that has him covered just made it 2.6 million. The jam announced, and now suddenly for Reuter, oh. he realizes. Reuter has just been tossed into the wood chipper. And he's going to make the call. And this is going to be a sight nobody expected to see elsewhere at this FT. A 72.4 no, 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 no. million ah. chip pot. Vamos, vamos, obvio. Reuter covering ever so slightly, and you see him look over at Muller like, really? Welcome back to the 2023 World Series of Poker Paradise from the Bahamas. Atlantis Resort, main event, day 1A. Still the early goings. Sergio Aguero, Ryan Reese, seats one and two. The feature table remains static. Ali Nishad, Brent Hanks, and Jeff Platt on the sidelines, bringing you the first of three day one's worth of coverage. And we're diving right back into this one with a collision between pocket tens and pocket kings. Reese, the opener to 2100 at this new 500 1K blind level. Ritter, the three better from the button, no less, with the two kings. Could look like less kit than it is. Reese hanging tough as the pot balloons comes Jack Jack three two diamonds 15k in the middle Reese checking over tricky for Reese depending on how much is it for you I believe it's 4k no no is there a raise sorry sorry all right so we said raise and threw out the five it's gonna be five Third pot, the sizing. Just in case we're up against a hand like Ace King, Ace Queen suited, we take one off. Gets even weirder. Checking back the two kings, Queen on the river. Oh, just a baby of a price. I mean, you know, we don't like being in this position where we've got a good bit of hand, but we feel as though the prices being laid are with intent. 
all we beat is Ace King that's decided to bluff for such a small amount. He's very concerned. I don't think he's giving Ritter much Jack X as played. No. I don't think the Queen X would have necessarily approached matters. It's Ace Queen suited only, right? Yeah. And even that, is, is Ritter going to value it on the river? May, probably. But it's thin, right? I, it, I think Reese is between, okay, he's either got Ace King or he just had Kings, Aces the entire way. Ah. We take the under pairs to the tens out of the equation, I think. And Reese just. Being laid that price, one can't necessarily blame him for looking up Ritter. You could tell he didn't enjoy the experience. Why would he? But it's yeah, been tough really since we picked up coverage. Reese started the day with around ninety thousand. He's drifted all the way down to sixty-six consistently has had second best. Cause for concern, obviously, still tremendously deep are these players here, even the leanest of stacks, Ost, 26 bigs. Three suited a hand that conjures up that which sent us to the break. Frankowski with the queen three of diamonds, three betting out of the big blind and pushing king queen out with a post flop follow through. That was against Sergio Aguero. Here he is with ace four suited, raising and taking it. <laughs> has certainly established himself as one to watch here at this final table, courtesy of some of the less conventional approaches that he's taken in a few spots. Ivan Ost, by the way, also qualifies. Ost has been an stuff. animal. Yeah. Frankowski of a different breed, though, Ali. It's interesting that you say Ost has been an animal because... He's actually a former veterinarian. Is he knows a thing or two, I suppose, about handling animals. Now, specifically dogs, cats, or you know, looking at the bio, greater beasts. MTT players, I believe, are are the sorts of animals that he wrangles. Oh. He was an actual veterinarian. I'm not clear on exactly what. But since 2019, he's been a pro poker player at medium stakes. Also a partner in a small poker team. The family have been supportive of that transition. Veterinary school, by the way, pretty expensive. you got to pay that, you know, Here in the college States, loan. but maybe a, a little different in Brazil. School is school, but I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Ace Queen Eight board, not the one for Sergio as he defended. And let's go to the C bet out of top pair for Ryan Reese. <laughs> Wanna welcome everybody back here on the GG Poker YouTube channel. 
you are just joining, click that thumbs up for crying out loud, Ali. We've got, we're nearing 5,000 people. We need more thumbs up than this. Love that, yeah. You know, maybe It costs you nothing. Right. Don't make us come out there. You know what I mean? Just a quick click. That's all we ask, I suppose, given that we're giving you this stream free of charge. It's not a lot. Click subscribe while you're at it. Get involved with us. Maybe I should type in something aggressive into the chat. Are you going to get naughty? Such as Frankowski is doing in this hand. Does flat. 6-5 suited in position. After the Ritter open, Reese comes along from the big blind. C3. It's top pair, top kicker for... Ritter, the critter, Frankowski with a flesh draw, Reese, nothing but air. Now, I may have taken a fairly aggressive <coughs> line as we see Ritter not betting 62,000, but a little bit more conventional, 2,500. Brent, I typed in all caps, click like or we'll kill you. Now, I did come off it a little bit. I said maybe not kill you, but please do it nonetheless. And we have seen the numbers tick up, so thank you for that, those who have responded. We're awaiting the response from Frankowski here with the flush draw on this paired board. He has been on the aggressive side, and he's looking to kill this C-bet. But we know that Ritter's going to be resilient. I worry about my life, Ali, next to you if they don't. I, I actually like. I actually worry about your life as well, Brent. Ritter worried about his tournament life at the moment. He does come along for the ride. Oh, uh, that is the card you don't want to see if you're Frankowski. Trips on board, and the prospects of drawing dead with this flush draw are very, very real. In particular, once Ritter comes along, ace-jack, ace-king could be a part of the equation from time to time. Kowski at death's doorstep for this hand, shuts it down. And how about quads on board? Well, all of a sudden we go from tens full of queens, which was not the nuts, to the nuts. Never Four tens down. with an ace. And playing the board is Frankowski. Each second that passes from this point forward, I will be sending him an invoice for. The meter's running, Frankowski. It's time to step away. I mean, he wouldn't be crazy enough to bluff here, right? I mean, this would seem so ill-fated. I guess if we think our opponent can have a lot of king-queens, queen-jacks... We put them to the test. Would the king, queens, and queen jacks be inclined to bet? I, Unlikely, Ali. Not sure. Yeah, okay. What does he owe us? 20 seconds? All right, he is the 2006 World Series of Poker main event champion. Helped kick things off in Paradise, Jamie Gold. Okay, so what are your thoughts on the WSOP coming uh, to Paradise? It is awesome. Yeah. I mean, you know, I didn't know if the food was going to be all right down here. The food is fantastic. <laughs> okay, I mean, there's a couple places I can't eat, but in general, the food is great. This new app, yeah. there's zero wait. It's one second, boom, you get your seat. I've, I've never seen a line for anything. Um, every tournament is you know, hitting the guarantees and breaking a record, and um, the people are so nice, yeah. right? It's just an energy. Everybody's so happy. I mean, waking up, you know, on the ocean and in this beautiful, the weather's perfect. We got really lucky with that. Um, 
you're here. Yeah, great. And uh, no, GG and the World Series of Poker, just you know, what a great job they did. And Atlantis, everything is, uh, you know, you need to you need to plan and budget for it a little bit, sure. right? It's, uh, you know, you have to uh, spend a bit of money, but it's um, if you can afford it, this would be the one to. Uh, I'm just so excited that there's a World Series of Poker main event in the winter. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And in the summer. So, you know, you don't have to wait a year. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of excitement, do you feel like you have a reinvigorated passion for poker? I think I just have a reinvigorated passion for life okay, because works. I got so close to, uh, to not down during yeah. COVID. And so I'm on a free roll in life. Yeah. And so everything is just kind of new and exciting. And, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel like... Uh, I'm just so lucky to be here, and I'm, I, I've always loved playing live poker, but I never got to play as much as I like to, and so I am planning on playing a lot more. Great to see you here. Appreciate the time as always. Thank you. Thanks, Jamie. Yes. Thank you, Jeff. Another former World Series of Poker main event champion all the way back in 2006 was that W for Jamie Gold. Still out there, still playing the game, 17 years removed, by yeah. the way, and his was one of the more epic fields. Largest ever. <laughs> Hasn't won one since, Ali. You mean a main event? I think a tournament. Looking over the bio. I mean, look, he's not playing. Maybe he's due here in paradise. He's not playing the fullest of schedules, obviously, Jamie involved Sounds in the like entertainment industry. Sounds like he's more worried about the food, Ali. Look, I, man after my own heart, by the way. Famously, he was working through blueberries like, <clears throat> you know, ducks and frozen peas on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. I mean, bowl after bowl he took down. If you'll recall, during that main event final table, might be dating ourselves, by the way. You know, some folks perhaps weren't even around for that. <laughs> Jack 10 as the former veterinarian. Some animal wrangling. Reese, non compliant with the fours on the button, understandably. Eight nine suited, a nice one for Troya to be able to close the action with. So we'll Never take folding. this pot three ways. Ace King Trey, the Broadway gutty, the developments for Ost, but nothing really cooking elsewhere in the field. Might a little seabed here get things done? Is that, a, is that a septum pierce on the dealer? I believe it is a septum pierce, Ali. I yes. Mean, that is uh you know, every now and again, I I get in there and try to clear out the nose goblins. This sort of hardware would appear to make that difficult. A anyhow. It's become quite common these days. Has it? Yeah. Location of piercings. Oh, I thought you meant nose picking. Always a tradition. I mean, you know, just as needed. Meanwhile, a bit of a tradition is Ost getting Look himself involved yeah. in, in pots and just able to peril and tank it down. As I've said, let's keep our eye on this guy. He said he's part of a small poker team. The hat there uh -huh. would suggest, although I didn't get a full look, and I don't see the name of the team on his bio that we're hanging on to here in the booth. Border Patrol, oh. I believe. Okay. Or just Border. I, I made up the patrol part. And finally, the cooter is alive. 2,000 to go. Oh. Well, Sergio. Maybe showing a little jet lag. Not sure where he flew in from. But the ace 10 flies in. Dominated. Unbeknownst. Maybe a little exhausted after that interview with Nick Wright. It was a long one, but a good one. Oh, and on the topic of good ones. Ribeiro, two red kings. Raising a flat. And we're 
Barrel, remember, has been extremely aggro. If Cooter has been at all catching bits and pieces of the stream or on breaks, receiving updates. Yeah, I mean, look, it was about a 15-minute break, so everything that took place over 30 minutes prior to that break those inclined could have popped onto YouTube to the very channel that you guys are streaming on now, wound back and taken a look at some spots maybe, but they were wondering what's going on. Ace Queen is a lot of hand. And I thought perhaps, Brent, with the X factor of Sergio, who he did mention during that interview, has been playing a lot of poker, tends to be the winner in the locker room against his mates pre-match over at Manchester City, but a different caliber opponent and a different proposition altogether. Been playing since he was very young, but at this level, less so. And I thought, to make the point that maybe... Kuda would have perceived Ribeiro to be looking to squeeze in a desirable yeah, spot there. Shows the goods, Ribeiro. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very, nice. very validating, mind you, for Cooter. A very happy Cooter. <laughs> well, no, I think he would have been happier if he hadn't been three bet off his hand. But, uh, but Friend, I mean, you know what yeah, I mean? When you see the goods, you know? I mean, I don't think. It's like a multiple happy. Cooter wasn't messing around from behind. <laughs> Out of position? Indeed, Ali. <laughs> Just when you thought maybe we'd grown up or reached the end of our rope in terms of sophomoric delights, we're back at it here in the booth. Luki, King Jack, Min and Change. Speculative stuff on the button here for Troya. The Ray's coming in late, you wonder. Why do you have an idea? <coughs> oh, light bulb? Yeah. How about it? Three bets with four high as we go to 6,500. We've mentioned Ribeiro, Frankowski. Need to include oh. Troya in the group. Yeah. It's been extremely aggressive pre-flop. Numerous three bets with very light holdings. Exhibit A here. Oh, action. Jack 7-5. It is top pair against the gutter and backdoor clubs. Luki hung tough. Checks with the flow of play. Let's see whether or not Troya feels compelled to sprinkle into 15-5 and try to take it here and now. No, you just don't give Luki too many jacks. Seemingly a dry flop, if you will. You've got the gutter, backdoor clubs cooking. Well, it's certainly step into some trouble if he does run a multi-street bluff, and that jack is too stubborn to bow out of the way, and we have seen Luki thus far does not like to fold oh. when he has a hand. So to the turn we go, and a pair for Troya once again. Luki checks. Really interesting card. Pairing up now with that three probably doesn't believe it's the best of it, but has improved his equity a great deal. Any three, any four, any six. What is the design now from Troya? Have our plans changed? Knuckle. Oh my goodness, look at the path to victory. Taken by Troya here. Three bets pre, C bet, check back, bingo, bango, bongo. Threes and fours. Four to a straight and diamonds on board here. Loki, mindful of it all. Checking. 23-5 in the middle. 
Enjoy a hunt value, my hunch is yes. I believe so. He's not going to give Luki very many sixes for that straight. Very few hands were too concerned about Jack X of Diamonds that would have backdoored a flush with top pair. That's about it. And this is trouble for Luki. He may not see this one coming. He could be thinking that Troy is bluffing with a hand like a traditional sense, ace queen, ace king that would have missed. He will be shocked to see the three, four. Well, let's see what number Troya dials up here. Will it be on the milky side or will he seek to polarize? We've got our answer. Just 7,000. Is it good? I almost prefer the big bet here, Brent, just yeah. because <laughs> it looks like someone trying to power their way through with air right. more so than the diamonds or a seven high straight. It's a price that almost guarantees a payoff. Yeah. And I understand it. You want to get called from the solo pair, such as this exact hand, King Jack on this slippery wet board. Call. There it is, yeah. So the payoff. Loki is going to be a little sick to his stomach there. It's steamy now. TBD on the steam, but you know. Nonetheless. <laughs> Huge pot for Troya. 67,000 and change now. Sure. He's been steady. Nice. Russian pays off in this game. So we re-rack it. Button on Ribeiro. This is yours, yeah? Yours is a knife. Okay, now 10 7 suited for Loki opening. Again, maybe. As you suspected, a little steam. No Troy out of the way with the ace 2 suited. Not going to pick on his man yet again. And well served not to do so as Ritter wakes up with the ace jack in the small. Ritter flicked out the call from the small blind. And we'll be heads up. Two queens and a five. Not much cooking for the opener. A little taste of the minimum, a thousand to go. Out of ten high. Ritter peels. Deuce. Thirty five. Doesn't change anything and look at Loki. Firing once more. Yeah, sizing it up a little bit more as well. Trying to tell a story that's believable and gets it done. Loki. My my. How about that? <clears throat> Representing Luxon Pay now. I believe that's the hat. Company started by, correct me if I'm wrong, Aliyah, Rob Young. Yeah. <coughs> Not wrong at all. Rob, of course, was on the cash game that we streamed. A couple of days back from here in paradise. Alst, legitimate king queen, opens. Check. Pedro. 
Dark check from Kuduru Flops. Bottom pair here against top pair. And post stabbing. Cooter. Check again. Calls the 1500 and once again checks dark. Unimproved on the turn. Not too much. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Pair of twos any pair of twos any good? No? Alright, nice then. <laughs> so I was able to take it down. I don't mean to alarm you, Ali, but talk to me. Part of our set here in the booth. Yeah. Beautiful paradise-like poster that was hung up by our producer, which, thank you, by the way, really decorated nicely for us to make it feel like we're at home here in the Bahamas, as opposed to remote coverage in Las Vegas. It has come crashing down. A crashing is sort of a generous way to describe what took place here. It simply came right. undone, you know. Maybe we're going with the cheap tape. Not a cheap hand, though. Ace-King, Sergio. 2K if you do. By the way, you saw him yawn earlier out there. He did go for what looked like a protein power bar sort of situation over there. Obviously, the man's in tune in terms of conditioning. I don't think anyone's going to outlast him on the physical stamina front here. It's a different type of fatigue when yeah. you're playing poker. Oh, I get you it. Know, it's mental. I get it. Most books a date, by the way, and flops himself bottom two pair here on texture that Sergio isn't necessarily convinced is going to be present. Most just praying that his man's got an over pair here. Gonna play it slow. No, I think no he did yeah. raise it. Okay, forgive me. I thought we had 1,500 on our hands. Instead, it's 5,500. Your original assumption remains accurate. He's hoping that Aguero has an overpair. Now, he's this hoping Aguero may overplay. He's king. Well, not going to three bet it, but not going to get away either. And the lack of a spade in his hand is problematic. Oh, oh no. no. King on the turn. Now, granted, he draws live. However, this, pardon me, appeal that could get costly and most plays it as a check. Maybe, just maybe, he's wary of some spades. Note the check back from Aguero, by the way, and it's deuces full of fours for Ost on the river. A card that obviously Sergio is going to be very comfortable seeing. But just how uncomfortable will the sizing be from Ost? I have to presume he's going to barrel. An absolute disaster for the superstar Aguero. Mm. Almost full pot. Ost. Credit to Sergio for not snapping. Oh, and if he does call, he's going to be left with very few chips. You see the discomfort now, the pain. He's worried about the flush. He'll be shocked to see the full house. Maybe we can get away. Yeah, this doesn't feel like a given, although this is so much hand in particular as played. Remember, up front raise, defense from Ost, who's got a little bit of a reputation on him. He check raise, flop, check turn. Now comes out swinging for full pot. Credit to Sergio, by the way, Brent, for not being a snapper. On the end here, shoots a look over at Ost.
he finds the fold here, Brent, this will be huge. It'll be heroic. You see him shooting a couple of looks over at his man. Listen, I speak a little bit of Spanish, and I can tell you right now that the censors would have been working hard. Sergio basically asking himself, flush or no? Sorry. Take your time. A massive spot. Essentially, majority of his chips on the line here. If he were to make this call. Mm -hmm. Just 23k back. been on both sides of this fence. Sometimes, you know, when we have some cachet, some celebrity, we wonder if people aren't looking for a story. Something to take home to yeah. the mates at the yeah. at the pub and say, I bluffed. Guess who? Everything in him is saying fold. He just doesn't doesn't know. Oh my Oh, absolutely on the edge of our seats. We were kept. As Sergio ultimately does make the call, leaving himself with fumes. 8K. And by the way, Ost may be the one who needs security on the way out of here, courtesy of what he just did. Could be his last tournament, Ali. I'm just saying. Might not even make it to day two, despite that. Just, you know, I wouldn't go taking the main hallway out of the building, just try to slip out quietly. Nothing quiet about what's going on elsewhere in the room here in this absolutely packed day 1A here at the World Series of Poker Paradise. 12 total days, 15 bracelets, over 50 million in guarantees. 5K main event. Working its way toward an eventual champ. It'll take us six full days, all of which we will cover and this is the first of those six days of coverage. There's the bracelet, by the way, in the foreground. Quick glimpse at it. And it certainly appears to be eluding Sergio Aguero at present. By the way, took the beat like a champ. Getting shown deuce four. You know, I would imagine the locker room games over at Man City contain such sort of exchanges, so maybe he's a little accustomed to, to the bad beats. I don't think he lost many games with Manchester. No, on the pitch and apparently on the pre-game poker felt as well. Well, looking to defend, I believe, counting out the remainder of his stack. He's just going to put it in. Yeah. Frankowski open to 2,200. Sergio just decides it's time to play roulette. And I'm not sure whether or not, by the way, Sergio got the memo about that Queen-3 suited that Frankowski took up. Eight big blinds in the middle. Yeah. Well, let's see <laughs> if he can put one in the back of the net here. 15-5. Jack-Jack. Jack. Not a sweaty board whatsoever. On the hunt for a six or a seven is Sergio. Oh, no. Double paired board now means a six or a seven wouldn't work. He needs a king or a jack to chop. And that's it. Yeah. I know. Ace I for Frankowski, who certainly dined on a good bid. Of Sergio's yeah. chips. But that'll be it. I know it says eliminated, but Ali able to continue playing if he does decide to join day 1B or C or D. I know.
not be the last oh, we see Sergio Aguero oh, in the main event. By the way, that ornate chalice that he was taking up there, something I was recently introduced to by Felipe Ramos out in Rosvedov. He was toting one around. Also, Damien Salas was working one at the feature table the other day. Yerba Mate. Yerba Mate. I'm telling you, the Argentines can't get enough of this stuff. It, it, it could be... Uh, like a catnip of sorts. I haven't really. Oh, I'm just saying. You know what it does to cats. Okay, the, 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 you took that weird tone. You know what I mean? Just, just talking about a national beverage of sorts. Yeah. See, there you go again. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Ace Queen has opened suited edition and two queens for Frankowski, who polished off Sergio moments ago and has been very aggressive, as you pointed out, Brent. One could see Luki maybe thinking that this is out of line from Frankowski and deciding to be heroic. Unclear, because Luki, as we've seen, also a guy who isn't trying to get pushed around out here. Uh -oh. For Ost on the button, the case queen attached to a suited king. And everything you pointed out about Frankowski, how aggressive he's been, liberally three-betting, does Ost feel compelled to slide home a cold four bet with King Queen suited? Let's watch. Oh boy. And might this Brent actually be a form of assistance? to Luki, who's still got to worry about Frankowski behind if he were to choose to get involved. You know, it's one thing to be squaring off against the three-better, but now a four-better granted from the button and granted in context, perhaps, especially as a guy who's been pretty frisky himself, leveraging, squeezing what he might think is an overactive high V-pip in Frankowski. All of that <clears throat> swirling around in Andre's head. And we know he loves Ace Queen. He was attached to it earlier. Did not want to fold. Now he has the suited variety. You know, the king queen suited before oh, everybody gets out here. Oh, oh my goodness, no. the jam from Luki. And by the way, this looks incredibly strong. Frankowski's queen's not exactly cozy here, Brent. It's not, but I don't really see him getting away. Let's... Oh, I mean, listen, th I... this is best case scenario, Ace King. Absolute best case scenario. That's what you would think. But right? then the trouble is, you've got not one, but two guys that very much could have aces or kings. And look, he might do this. We don't know, Ali, if he had two ja two jacks, two tens. I don't know. He's doing know, it with ace queen man. suited. You know, you sort of have know. to include a wider range if he's doing it with this hand. I, I do hear you. But, you know, you're right. It is gross. And look at the, is this the fold face with the queens? We're about to find out. By the way, the thought for Ost, I'm blocking ace king, I'm blocking ace queen, I'm wow. blocking kings and queens. That's why he four bets. Now, best hand into the bin, and suddenly Luki in fantastic shape with the queens out of the way, dominating Ost. And he's thinking to himself, what have I done? But remember, Andre... He, not unlike these other uncaged beasts, has been roaming the tundra somewhat aimlessly at times. This is insane.
mean, we're talking about an extra 29.4 of 42.3. That is what is required. And speaking of requirements, a steady and tell free Andre Luki, that, that's the requirement on him. He's way out here. There's no world in which he expects that if somehow Ostor to make the call that once they get on their backs, Ace Queen is going to be ahead. And yet that's exactly where it is. Yeah, there's the muck. How about that Holy pot? Cow. Queen's into the bin. As Ace Queen, five bets. Note on the score sheet that the assist is going to go to Ivan Ost there without the four bet. I don't think Andre is going to be able to get that done. Now, hang on a second. A peek at what is still three handed action in the super high roller. Orpen Kisichikoglu, Seth Gottlieb, and Eric Seidel, who isn't currently seated. He's got a ton of chips, though. If you, you see them counting his, his stack, yeah, Seidel's keeps. still in there. And by the way, he's going after bracelet number 10 is Seidel. He has nine currently. More to come uh, from the 50K later. We'll, we will have Jeff Platt bouncing in and out, bringing us updates. I, I got to tell you something right now. If I'm three-handed in that 50K, Jeff comes around. I'm looking him dead in the eye. I'm saying, don't you come near me, Reaper. It's still a thing, huh, the curse? I mean, d -Negs, the other day, Jeff yeah. comes by, says hello, showers. Yeah. Well, d originally reversed the curse, and then 15 minutes later said, oh, no, no, after we did that. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I guess still a thing. Yeah. By the way, Queen's a thing once more, this yeah. time being handed over to Ribeiro. Let's see whether or not pyrotechnics on the order of what we observed earlier are afoot. I doubt it. Not the 8-9 suited. Into the bin. Are we doing one of these... By the way, apologies, I wasn't quite done taking a rip of the Celsius, which is basically how Brent and I get through these things. For those that don't know, mount up. Uh, we doing one of these promo things, hand of the day. We got any of that working over here, Brent? I know you kind of moonlight in the marketing side. <coughs> because that one there that Luki played was absolutely the lone it has candidate. Has to be the hand of the day. However, uh, I, I don't know. Is this is a, a GG World Series event? Uh, you know, uncertain what the features may be. We'll have to follow our lead from the producers. But that should be the hand of the well, day, Listen, I, I, I do feel compelled to let you know that, first off, we don't have to follow shit. Okay. Oh. We can go rogue out here. How about that's the Brenton Ali hand of the day? I like that. Okay. Brenton Ali, hand of the day, five bets, ace, queen suited, chat on fire. I don't think anything can top it. I mean, chat, let us know. Have we missed something? Is there another hand that we should be deeming the Ali and Brent hand of the day? Well, it's interesting because there's some speculations as to whether or not this was an overplay by the ace, queen, or if this was understanding that it's a stone-cold bluff. We know there's... Perhaps a bazooka lurking, but just how strong do we look? Blocking aces, blocking queens, specifically yeah. kings we got to worry about. Okay. An ace king All out right. there from time to time, as we see on this case for Troya off suit. Only Luki knows. As his 3,600 open from the small blind becomes 11,000. And remember, Troya has come after Luki before. They went to showdown a big pot where Troya had 4 3 suited. Luki was not thrilled. storm brewing. Luki, I don't think he's going anywhere. He wants revenge. Got a 
lost another 7,400 of the 62-2 back. For these sixes. Gonna give it up, folds it face up, does Lukey. Says, all right, Troy, I'm done. Don't show me four high again, son. You know, it's interesting. The same man that moments ago came straight Conan with the ace-queen. All right, going to start this one off with a spoiler alert. If you have not watched the Game of Gold season finale, you don't want to know the results, put it on mute, stop watching just for a minute. But now let me introduce the Game of Gold season one champion, Maria Hoke. And I steal you for a quick sec. Sorry to interrupt the combo. Oh, hello. <laughs> and congratulations, by the way. We're Thank looking you. that oh, way. Okay, Camera's over right. there. You know, um, I know like you aren't used to time. Yeah, right, exactly. What's it been like kind of reliving this experience? I know you shot it a while, but we just got to watch it back. You winning Game of Gold. Yeah, I mean, it was almost like I was reliving it all over again because it was filmed so long ago. But obviously, um, you know, I, I was so thrilled with the result. And now being able to be able to share it with my friends is really nice. Did it come at as really good timing for you coming just oh so close to that bracelet in the mystery millions finishing in third getting to watch this back and see a w yeah i mean you know it i feel like the only thing that could have made it better jeff was maybe if i actually yeah. won the bracelet um but yes it, it it was nice to you know be able to in one week at least capture one title you mentioned telling your friends producer zach is in the back he's like i haven't watched game of gold but yeah go ahead and do your interview so he's just finding out now that you won Game of Gold, Zach, any message? You had no idea? <laughs> oh, gosh, but now I'm going to owe him dinner probably. He'll be like, well, now I can, you know, Maria will take me out to dinner. <laughs> we'll send you back to the action. Appreciate it, Maria. Thank you. Well, spoiler alert, you didn't have much time to hit the mute button, but indeed, Maria Ho did win season one of Game of Gold. That was released yesterday as we. Look back here at this feature table, the King-10-6 board. Pocket nines, ahead pre, ahead post. Ribeiro with a connection in the form of a six. Maria, by the way, knows a little bit better to let Jeff come over. I'm just telling you. you yeah, know. well, it was a good run in the main for Maria. She'll yeah. be eliminated shortly after that interview. GG. There is day 1B available, of course. Platt the Reaper, as well as apparently you now the you King of Spoils for Game of Gold. Not a great resume for Platt right no. now. No. No, I think he's going to be in some crosshairs, much like the opposition is, courtesy of this 2,500 from Ritter, which Ribeiro is going to look up. So we're going to take a turn. Two overs to the nines. They don't love this. Uh, but they do love How? a delightful nine on the turn. Yeah. Ritter now with the set, but note that it fills in 7, 8, and queen jack. Gets it done for Ritter. <clears throat> Ribeiro all done with it. In the face of that second barrel, by the way. Yeah. Brent, as long as I've been doing this. Okay. The frequency with which I stone cold trample the front end of one of these really kind of, you know, numerable contributions that Jeff makes to the broadcast is just embarrassingly great. And it's not as though I'm not aware. I, I have the intel. You know, there's a time code here. It says layout. Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. And yet, like a bull in a china shop, it is my Achilles heel. Apologies to Jeff Platt, a.k.a. the Reaper. You know, I could I, I could have helped you. I was of no assistance, although... I yeah, well, you're out here you on You're out here soaking up St. Bonaventure in a blowout. 38-point you know. win. You had him minus 21, is yeah. that what it is? Yeah. Oh, by the way, aces now. Speaking For Ost, Luki, a customer. Yeah. Jack-9 suited speculating. Uh, 
These aces get cracked. Speaking of blowouts. The old, okay, now. <laughs> I don't think Ost is you know, a little upset stomach, but I don't know if we're going stone cold Pepto. Just, you know, beats happen. As he knows, gave Sergio a nasty one. King, queen for Ritter. Ritter's in there. Understandably so from the big blind. You no, know, you're not worried about anything at the moment. Well, I mean, you're always a little bit worried, but you'll take the price and look up at a raggedy 7-6 tray board. Could be tough for the aces to get added value. Presumably we'll draw the curtain, although Ritter is in control of that. Does have that range advantage from the big blind, you know, sometimes. Right. Seems like it's his texture in his mind, but no. Out of there. It's all over. By the way, Maria. Yeah. $456,000 winner. Uh-huh. Talk of that dinner. Right. That perhaps she owes producer Zach. Uh huh. It, you know, just a word of advice to Zach. Maybe we move up. And, you know, don't cap your range on nice that dinner. Nice Nobu there. Four fifty. There is a nice yeah. Nobu. I, I mean, look, Nobus are nice. Period. I've been to them all over the place. You, you just, you're not gonna have a miss at a Nobu. But you know, get that miso black cod working. Get the spicy tuna crispy rice. Oh. The. Uh, Yellowtail jalapeno. Ah. These are all dishes, by the way, that have been mimicked sushi restaurants worldwide. Yeah. Nobu Matsuhisa, oh, the pioneer. Amazing. Also, you and Maria. Yeah. Very much impressed. I expected or would have thought maybe. As we know, Game of Gold was filmed quite a while ago. That it would last have November in Seoul, out. South Korea. Yeah. Nobody said a word. I am very f good friends with Maria. I talk to you all the time. We are very, very close. I, nobody said a word, Ali. Now I just want to back up and dissect something that you dropped in there. I think you know innocently enough. You said something about you and I being quote very. Very close. We're Very two close. Two and a half feet apart. Now, that's one way to describe it. But in terms of one, let alone two varies, being tethered to the close, this is gratuitous overreach on your part. We spoke yeah. approximately zero times between the filming of Game of Gold. No, no, no. And when we got into this booth, maybe one or two, but you know, it's not like you had ample yeah. opportunities to mine me for intel. As we see Frankowski mining the Ribeiro open with 7-5 off suit. Now, I'm quite convinced that a feral and savage creature is on our hands here. Big blind. He pulled this against Sergio successfully. Does it against Ribeiro as well, who was out of line with the button open. So, the pride of Poland. Bit of a stone cold killer. He is ridiculous. Extremely aggressive. And very few of these hands where he's been out of line ha have they gone to showdown. In fact, I can't recall one instance. But yeah, you know, back to your point. Given our relationship and how close we are, brethren of the booth, and, and uh, I give you guys credit for never having leaked the results of such a wonderful show. Now, look, I'm not on the admin side of the operation, right? GG Poker Ambassador, not in the legal department. However, I would imagine some non-disclosure agreements, NDAs, right. were signed Did by all sign? parties involved. I didn't sign anything. Yeah, you don't But sign I knew much. better. 
You know what I mean? Listen, just for the fact of not wanting to spoil it, and the chat coming in right now is though we just, you know, all of a sudden had the reveal. It's been out for a full day. Right. Poker news with a bit of a misstep. Spoiled it hard. Yeah, maybe don't for put everybody. That out in just let you know. After, yeah, that yeah. was bad. Yeah. And then, of course, Jeff Platt just interviewed. It's not us. We Maria. didn't spoil so anything. Everybody, back off. Call off the dogs. Ribeiro, by the way, opened, folded a moment ago. Now with Kings, he's going to be barking as the Troya open. We'll get three bets, and you see Adrian shooting a look right over at. Ribeiro, 7,200 the sizing. Frankowski, of course, will be for betting all in here. I'm kidding. It's Jack 10. Remember, this guy's an animal, Frankowski. No, but come on. I mean, yeah, even he's out. Okay, yeah, yeah. It had me a little concerned with the pause. Maybe it was an opportunity to put in the cold four bet. Does Troy want to take a peek with the ace nine suited? Or consider really stepping out of line. I mean, is ace nine really the one? Call race fold. Only options on the table. We know Ribeiro. Extremely aggressive as well. We've seen Troya active pre-flop. Is this gonna be war? You suggesting all three options would be plausible? In all this three spot? are plausible. There's one of them. Fold into the bin. Best option <laughs> on the board. <clears throat> oh, a little lip lick there from Ribeiro. He likes the taste of an uncontested three bet and take it, it would appear. Normally you gotta go to like the Louvre to the Monet section to to bear witness to something like this. It's, this is watercolors. You're going feathers, or are they leaves? I think on further review, it's a feathery leaf. Ah, okay, yeah. I'm with you, you know what, you see I the striations? Yeah. 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 But they don't have quite the length. Tommy Bahama? To Margaret? be avian. I'm, I'm taking the don't on Tommy. You know, that doesn't seem like it's within his range. Tommy, that is, not, not Ribeiro. Platt out there, by the way, in the blazer had the T-shirt underneath. I thought maybe he would have come with some some TB. little casual on day one for Platt. Yeah, I expect would, to know. see the full-blown flamingo hot pink maybe for the final table. Oh, right, the Craig Sager. Yeah. He, yeah. yeah. he likes to suit and boot. That's I know for he sure. has it with him. Did he, he pack it? Yeah, the suit's in the Would back. you help him pack? Well, we talk about the outfits. Okay. You're his fashion consultant? That explains uh, some things. You know, he, he's got a brand I shouldn't say brand new. He's got himself a very serious girlfriend. Hot and heavy. I've been replaced. Well, hang on a second. Just back it up here. Got shot for Ost, the defender from the big. Ribeiro, ace, 10, two overs, no club. Check to him. Hot and heavy. <laughs> Just check, check, by the way. Oh, hello, seven of diamonds. Yeah. How about a nine high straight for Ost and the kind of hand that could continue for Ribeiro, courtesy of the 10 working. We'll get to, to Platt's love life momentarily, by the way, as we see affection being demonstrated for this nine high straight by Ost. is ill-fated and ill-timed. Although the 10-jack certainly is on Ost's mind, given his hand is so face up, but the 5100 comes sailing in behind quite casually and comfortably and swiftly at that. But the needed six or jack for the ace-10 does not, in turn, Maybe yeah. some live tells, reads. That's a great shutdown. I think it was O's call. 
how quickly he just <laughs> threw it in there. It almost looks like a six every time. Yeah, I hear you. The way that the call got made was like, okay, buddy, you got a 6-2, I got a 6. And almost with the intention of preventing himself from facing a riverbed. You know, sometimes we do these yeah, things yeah, yeah. just to kind of be like, hey, buddy, don't don't get crazy here. If you had a big flush draw, combo draw, right, uh, a lot of times you'll posture, you'll <coughs> tank, and then you call. But there it was just, okay, here here it is. Th throw, in, throw in the call. Yeah. I've got it. By the way, back to... To Platt's love life, I'm not going to let this one right. slide. Yeah. Hot and heavy. Were you referring to the the nature of the relationship? Nature or, or of the Platt's relationship. Partner. Nature of the relationship, okay. Ali. Yeah, right. very much in love. And how are you a privy to, to these things? Miss Tay Tay, as we call her in our household. Miss Tay Tay. That's right. And. To what does she owe this nickname? She's lovely. Well, her name's Tatiana. I see. Yeah. No secret, by You're the fine. way. This is all, you know, Jeff put out a, a tweet. Insert, yeah, they're, uh, they're there in the Bahamas. Oh, she's made the socials. Am, it's I've official. She's with him. Yes. I'm no longer the fashionista for Jeff. Oh, by the way, Ace King Hornlock impending here. Mookie the opener. Ritter. Ready to put a third scoop out there. Note an ace in the muck. Sixes as well, and there's the case ace attached to a jack, but obviously off suit. Reese knows it's trouble. Steps away. Now back over to Luki, who could play as the four bet. This is the man with the ace queen suited that came with that five bet that put queens into the muck. There it is. Four bet. These ace kings like to push chips forward, Brent. You wonder whether or not Ritter wants to put the fifth one in. Luki never showed down that five bet hand. So Did not. Ritter doesn't have any intel. Ritter. Concerned. Certainly merit for the possible concern. Look, and here we go. Well, the jam. Luki, 35K back does say call, and these guys will be relieved not to be up against hands that have one another beat. Ritter does have heart coverage. Hence the 1% edge, but this one appears headed for a chop. We'll know momentarily whether or not there's going to be any sweat in this 117,000 chip pot. It's going to take spades or diamonds. Or a few hearts. We see a couple of them. So now free roll for Ritter. Keep it heart free on the turn. That's the thought on Luki's mind. Compliance <laughs> from the deck. <laughs> there it is. Is it the same hand you had before? Or you had a better I'm back sorry, then? My English not very well. He was asking when you five back. Early. Five back. Did you have is it the same hand? Você você entende, amigo? Você entende? Sim, é, tinha ele na, naquela anterior, filho. 
Ô. Eu, acho que é isso. Eu, eu não estou entendendo, está querendo saber as cartas que eu tinha naquela ah, passada? É, deu for bet, five bet. Luki, by the way, navigating this Inquisition with respect to what he had in the 5 bet pot rather well. This is a good time to pull the old I know English. I, I know English. Did he acknowledge anything about that? I don't think he gave him anything. All right, Brent. I'm being told in a couple of minutes. Yeah, don't miss this one. Jeff Platt's got another interview coming. Yeah. That's 120 seconds from now. Okay. Red Queens for Troya here. I'm going to need your help. Right. I don't want to do it to Jeff. I want to I want to be professional about this one. We're going to get to the interview. You're going to let him shine, Ali. you know? I, I, yeah, I'm not worried about this one. You're a professional. Take the under on that for the <clears> most part. <throat> Very quiet cooter, by the way. No noises being made, no action. Generally speaking, we prefer this. Call. Call. Luki. Liking the 6 9. Yeah, dinner for two. <laughs> Ace Jack Jack. Two clubs as we are awash with immaturity here in the booth. Lukey, checking. Nine on the turn. Might this pose a problem? As Troya plays it as a check back, okay. just in case, board texture, such that he doesn't want to get pushed out of the pot. Another check from Lukey. Troya content with keeping the pot quite small. Not the best texture. I don't think Lukey's hunting value here with a nine, by the way. Unlikely, maybe. Oh, a God. Bet? Right when we think yeah. we know what up. Is this six? Looks like we got 1,500. Oh, only. God. Yeah. That, Small sizing, but. Yeah, the yellows, sorry. That's what. Nine. Troy wants to see it. Affordably so. And as he takes that pot down, we will send it to Jeff Platt, who's with Wolfgang Poker. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Brent, Ali, I know you guys have been talking about playing poker with the Buffalo Bills, so we found the man who did just that. Wolfgang Poker, stand up for me for a quick sec, please. How'd you I'll find make me here? <laughs> the, the Buffalo Bills <laughs> slash Wolfgang Poker sweater stands out. I set this out. interview up. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> you did. All right, so tell us real quick before we get you back to the action about that experience okay. playing with them. I'm probably better off not even playing the hand, so, <laughs> That's yeah. That's fair. Yeah. What was it like to play oh, with the Bills? Awesome. Uh, Gabe Davis, Dalton Kincaid, starting wide receiver and tight end of the Bills. They hit me up on Instagram, said they're fans of the vlog. Couldn't believe it. I didn't respond to them for three days. I thought someone was <laughs> pranking me, buying one of those, like, fake accounts, yeah. like, message me. And then they play twice a week, 510. It's just crazy, like, that there's this different world out there where, like, professional athletes playing poker, not telling anyone about it, and then bang. Here I come and I put it on the internet and millions of people see it now. It's unbelievable. And you mentioned that million number, more than a million subscribers. What's that mean to you? That's wild. Uh, it's unbelievable. Sometimes when I go to like a sports game, uh, I'll try to quantify how many stadiums of people yeah. that is. That's like really the only way. Because other than that, it's like, what's a thousand people? You can't really like visualize it. So, I mean, but it means everything to me. And just being a, a good ambassador to poker is like my main objective. So. And finally, you may or may not be going up to the feature table soon. What are the nerves like at this WSOP Paradise, Maine? Oh, man, I'm going to have to put some more deodorant on. I'm going to get all of them. My knees are going to be chattering. No, I'll be good. I've played on all the live streams yeah. before. Honestly, it's just a cool experience to give everyone else here at the table. The fact that me and Jamie are at the table, like, it just gives seven other people a cool opportunity to, to share the stream with their family. So I'm, I'm stoked about it. Star at the table. Appreciate the time as always. Thanks, Thanks Wolfgang. You nice got chatting it. with you. Thanks. Obviously, Wolfgang didn't get the memo, by the way. What do you mean, nice chatting with you? Showers, Wolfgang. GG, you can get in on day 1B. I don't think the curse is going to carry over to Wolfgang Poker. And that sweatshirt, Ali, the Bills, Bills Mafia. 
And I have a little intel, by the way. Talk to me. As Ritter drags this pot with Ace-10. Mm -hmm. You know, Wolfgang sent a text message to star wide receiver for the Buffalo Bills, Gabe Davis, about this stream. And he was going to be talking about the segment. And that allegedly Gabe Davis is watching the broadcast right here on YouTube. Is he really? Yes. Uh, he probably doesn't know this, that I'm a diehard Bills Mafia. He has no idea member. who you are. Oh, right. I think he knows me. And uh, I'm kind of, uh, you know, I'm in shock right now, Ali. You know, huge game tomorrow, by the way, against the Chiefs. We're going to beat their ass. Booked. All right. What's the line? Plus one and a half. Bills plus one and a half? Yeah. In Kansas City. Is there some injuries I don't know about, by the no, way? No, no. Bills are just really good. It's been an unlucky season. Let's, let's call it that. Man, you're Josh going Allen up against and Buffalo just they, they, they crush Kansas City and they always score, they always put up points. But yeah. Starting Gabe in every single one of my fantasy lineups. Booked. Lunch. Eights and five six. Interesting board texture here. Open ender. For Ryan Reese, suited connector speculating, one of the needed eights. For Reese, hindered by the holding for Ost, of course. An eight would be a problematic turn. Instead, it's the 10 on the back end of a bet and call of 2,000. Still an avenue for Reese to win as it does go check on the turn to the aggressor. Can tell a story. There it is. Nothing but six high as the flush hits home on the turn. This is a difficult spot for two eights. Everything we've seen, Reese has not stepped out of line. Not run any significant bluffs. This is beautiful. What a nice pickup. 2013 so main event which, chat. Which side are we on? <laughs> no, the last no, no dinner break. No dinner. Play straight through. We just stay here all day. <laughs> Activating in position, able to take it down. As what they say, this side's 6:30, this side's 7:30. I don't know. Left side source. the lead. 7:55. Left, left side. I think they they are first, and then the right side. They're first. Yeah. 7:55. I think is going to be their break. What time's ours? Ali, when I had the chance, and I'll, I'll end my Bills Mafia talk for, for the moment with this story. I was down at Champions Club in Houston. That's where I met Wolfgang. Shortly after he filmed with the Bills and, and all these videos hit YouTube and TikTok and whatnot, my flight home on United, Houston to Vegas, the flight attendant is wearing a little pin on her jacket. We'll it's a with Buffalo Bills pin. Okay, cool. Thank you. Turns out this flight attendant is the mother of the star rookie first round draft pick of the Buffalo Bills tight end, Dal uh, Dal Kincaid. Dalton Kincaid. I, this is true. I exchanged numbers, showed me all the pictures. I, unbelievable. What are you getting at the tight end's mom, Brad? The tight end's mom is the flight attendant. Right, but the number exchange, I mean, you could have just been like, hey, that's cool, take no, it easy. No, 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 it's, well, it's nothing like that, of course, Ali. It's more I mean, about, look, I've had the flight you know, attendant fantasy. There's no shame in it, Brad. The, uh, the I may have even lived it out. The family live in Vegas. We're going to uh -huh. go watch some of these road games out at the local bar in Vegas with the Kincaid family and friends. Now, listen, and I respect Mama Kincaid. It's a blue-collar, yeah. hardworking, as we see the ace jack and the two nines. Now being joined by Ritter here, 2,500 ahead at the 612 level. Uh, you know, respect Mama Kincaid still, you know, going to work, but maybe the 30 agent. 30 plus years. I'm just saying the agent might not have signed the right contract here because i got to tell you, I'm a star rookie. Mom's is going to hit early retirement, courtesy of me. Oh, the uh, Kincaid's got a very healthy contract. He signed a big one. So he's not breaking bread? No. He's, he's, he's like, Mom, <laughs> listen, before you get any ideas. I think she just loves her job. I'm not paying off your house. 
loves to work with the good folks at United. Okay, look, I'm a United Flyer long time And all myself. this being said, what's happening now behind the scenes, no gamble, no future. We're going to film a new season in February, which will happen <clears> in line with post-Super Bowl. Okay. Wolfgang. Yeah. Members of the Bills, they're going to come and play. There it is. We're going to film. Wow. A little connection made. Somehow, some way, I, the stars aligned. I have no idea how this happens. Where that, that, gonna work. We're Mom, gonna that is remarkable. It's incredible. Like That's the universe, the by the way, the delivering a real possibility no, of you getting hit with a restraining order. We as we see right? <laughs> three <laughs> players <laughs> going yeah, to the on turn on here. Ritter with the sevens. Now the Broadway gutty for Frankowski. Yeah, I think he said 20 minutes for the rest. Nines for Ost. Dinner for them and 20 Still the leader? Okay, okay. And then we'll come back and play like 40 minutes or an hour or something? Yeah, I don't more know. Like <laughs> Check around to this six of hearts on the end. Feels like shutdowns are imminent, but every time, you know. I don't know. Let's keep an eye on Frankowski. We think we've seen. Ace Jack, I don't hey. believe he feels he has I the best hand. So in 40 has minutes. Has played. Every, Everyone goes on break? Ritter now with that seven. He's reaching here, Ali. This is effectively turning a seven into a bluff, betting 5,500. Look at what is Frankowski thinking about here? Yeah, so we'll have break okay. and we'll play 40 minutes and then go on dinner. What a great it? bet. This puts nice this is, right in the blender. This is fantastic. And mind you, into two players out of position, it looks so much stronger, even though the sizing is slightly modest than it would if it was simply heads up into Ost. It's begging for a call, right? Uh, nines, y y sure just in hell with this decision. It's got to be exactly this sort of hand, turning it into a bluff. That is beautiful from Ritter. Yes, it is. Come and knock on our door. We've been waiting for you. R.I.P. John Ritter, by the way. Three's company. Now I'm very much dating myself. What was... He passed a long time ago, he? did. Didn't he? The legend lives on. By the way, I know we have an international audience out there it's on the stream. I don't know if that way. got syndicated. It is spelled the same it way. It is. Brent, relax. All right. By the way, his daughter Christina had a role in Breaking Bad. I think that's her first name anyway. Ritter sort of resembling Brian Cranston from Breaking Bad, I suppose. Oh, okay. By the way, he broke a little bad there on the river. To great success. By the way, shout out to uh, Value Robot and Yarrow Central, by the way, who were right with me step for step on that Three's Company reference. <coughs> Gentlemen of a certain age, shout out. Come Eights on knock on our door. for Reese. Ritter plays it as a flat from the small. Table for two. First course. Ace King nine. And that is not exactly what Reese wanted to order on the menu, but needless to say, prefix, here we are. Top pair for Ritter. Knuckles the amuse. Reese with a check back. Any time to pre-fall. Oh, well, hello, snowman. A frosty development for Ritter. Top pair, queen of spades working, not drawing dead. A set for Reese, and suddenly this one got a lot more interesting. 9,400 in the middle. Activation out of the flatter in the small pre, 3,500, very standard sizing. And will we go Gordon Gecko on the turn here for Reese? Greed is good, but he's going to flat. Remaining very under-repped. 
Oh, and now downed by the six of spades as the second nut flush, bar obviously the straight flush. That, which is delivered to Ritter's doorstep. He has no idea that at any point post-flop his hand was no good. 6,500, another barrel. I think Reese is getting away from this one. Tend to agree. Looks awfully strong going bet, bet. Reese, so fortunate to have spiked an eight, and now the opposite has occurred on this river. By the way, only two straight flushes available in this instance. Yeah, sure. I don't know how concerned we are about such kit, but we're, we're not. Noted. Giving it up just yet. Did he flick it in? He called. I mean, how wrong am I going to be on how many occasions here? Every time you think you know what's going on, especially from a guy like Reese, who is so experienced, we're shown a bit of a different look, and I'm not sure what Ryan had on his mind. You see him shaking his head. A little frustrating. Back Short. to a round starting stack for Reese. Just hoping that maybe Ritter was kind of betting aimlessly with a hand like ace queen off containing no spade yeah reese got taken to the regal beagle there <laughs> do you remember that <laughs> oh boy i mean these yeah the regal beagle There's some temples getting scratched out there. Just, you know, if you know, you know. East Queen for Reese, the follow up to the two eights. Troya, a customer for 3,100. has out flopped. Note, Cooter came along with the suited king. He has connected on this board as well, but on the strength of two overs, backdoor Broadway, and that ace of spades working, Reese will follow through. Let's see how Troya will elect to proceed. Flat feels like a nice approach. Four points does make the call now for Cooter. Bows out. Thought maybe closing the action he would peel, but the lack of a heart on the flop obviously makes things less desirable okay. for him. As the pot grows to 18-8 and Whittles down to heads up. Reese picks up the wheel draw. We'll check it over to Troya. See if he wants to fire. No, check back, pot control, and downed by this river as Reese who lost with a set of eights, paying off moments ago, now being rewarded. Darts a look over at Troya so as to get a sense, maybe. 
of how Adrian feels about this card. He's not at all worried about Troya having a deuce. Right. Same can likely be said for Troya, although Reese can have ace deuce suited much more often. Bet check bet line from the pre flop razor. Third pot the sizing. How credible will it feel for Troya? It's very tough. No spade in his hand. What could Reese be bluffing with? Certainly could be miss spades without the ace. Flicks in the call, going to keep his man honest, took his time. So Reese gets paid as he pursues values successfully. And that'll help to cauterize the, some might call self-inflicted wound, coming courtesy of the payoff on the four spade board with the set of eights moments ago. And look, I'm not suggesting that we've got a steamer on our hands in Ryan Reese, but all of us are aided by winning a pot right after losing one that, you know, it appeared bothered him. Sense of balance now, the frustrations right. removed. Order restored in the universe. At least Reese's universe. Troy is a little bit disrupted. These guys are trying to sleep well at night out there. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's a reasonable call. Uh, Reese can absolutely be bluffing there. Spades would have made Let's sense see. that have missed. It's just the kind of card that beckons the pre-flop razor to try to Does. represent the ace against range. Right. Troy had the opener on this occasion. Suited ace. Frankowski, he's been quiet of late, but when he's around, you know noise will be made. On the button. Plays it as a flat. So Troy finds himself heads up once more, this time out of position. Against a less tamed character. 10-9-3, Frankowski out flopping. One spade on board. Seabed from Adrian. And we know Frankowski isn't going anywhere. Sort of a precarious board to Seabet with A7 suited. We do have backdoor runouts, of course. But it seems that the 10 9 x would favor the button flatting range. Well, obviously the raise is in the interest of making that statement as Frankowski goes to the lenses. Oh, no, it was a flat. Forgive me, I thought it was being played as a raise. So the eight on the turn now presenting the bad end of an open-ender to Troya.
Troy is sort of letting it soak in now. What exactly are we in front of that would have called Button? And we know Frankowski is so capable. But this is tough. Open-ended with the seven. I mean, such a coordinated card. And, you know, Frankowski's a menacing character. Behind us here. And now, i got to be honest, in terms of live reads. 13. Wow. Granted, it's always tempting when we can see the cards to kind of make these assessments. But 13. the 13. 13 feels like it could very well be attached to the overpair but with a lack of comfort that might invite a savage such as Frankowski yeah, it, to yeah, wield claws and fangs. Just range versus range, right? He's trying to tell the story that you know, maybe he does have a set, maybe it is <clears> the Queen Jack. But Frankowski obviously cannot go anywhere, not with Queen 10. We block the Queen Jack. We still have top pair. And we beat all the bluffs. Something dry rolls off on the river. <clears throat> you know, I'm still... Okay, the five is arid. Now, I'm rooting a little bit just for Frankowski to kind of get a taste of his own medicine it for Troya to like just it. give it a little blast maybe here. Sub one, SPR 34-2, day one. Remember, Reg is still open. Several day ones still available. It's not the end of the world. I'm just, you know, the turn one time for the fans. Opens up the door. It sets up a river shove. And here's the deal. No flush draw on the turn, right? So this third barrel isn't going to be a part of, like, picked up backdoor equity, barreled again, now missed on the river, feel compelled. You know, we've seen that line. Hold on. Oh, attaboy, Adrian Troya, as he is going to give Frankowski some bits now. Not wearing it on his face, but obviously not thrilled to be asked for a massive chunk of his 41 back. This is pretty filthy. Uh, I don't know if Frankowski is going to call fold. We'll see. But look at this. Reaching, counting, seeing what potentially he would have left if he were to call and lose. It seems as though Troya knows. Yeah, all right. Maybe I'm up against Queen 10, Jack 10. But I'm going to go for it anyway. I love this line. I mean, it is so credible for Troya. And the absence of the flush draw on the turn, I got to believe, is, you know, something that helps. I have a question. Uh, I it's sick. To, for uh, Frankowski, uh, too, he's like, wait, my hand is face up. I, I've called the flop. I've called the turn. Okay. You know what I have here. And yet you're unafraid. And he does call. What a great call by Frankowski. Valiant effort by Troya. I'll tell you what, this dude's got some sniff on him. Lost one here. Troya did all that he could. Showers, however, as he ran in Hello, guys. to the immovable Hello. object that is Poland's Wojciech Frankowski. Oh. And I'm not sure what got butchered more, the first name on Frankowski by me or the A7 by Frankowski. I'm just calling him Ski. That's what us Polacks do. Well, listen, he put a, a couple of planks on that ass right there. Kielbasa. Mm -hmm. Takes a lot of that to make that call. Chutzpah, I believe. That was a cool pot, man. You know, great. I feel like Troya deserved a little bit better. Frankowski just... The resident Elmers... Sticky icky. Daniel Hart in the chat. Yes, it is one single re-entry per day. 
Which can certainly factor into some decisions when running bluffs, knowing you've got one more shot at it today, as well as calls. I got to tell you that, uh, you know, we got four day ones, one re-entry per day. You can mess around and turn this into a 40K. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have a feeling some will. You know, those that weren't involved in that exchange with Troya. Thank you. Who are, as one is well served to do, paying attention to what's going on out here. Logging data points would be wise if they find themselves up against Frankowski now after him having made that big call to be reminded that this is a dude yeah. who we're not going to run over. No. I also will point out, Frankowski, none of the nonsense that he's gotten away with has gone to showdown. Every That's single hand point. he's turned over has been a winner. Mm -hmm. Three. Go. So, off of the now 125K coming into this one, goes to work Frankowski. Three amigos to the flop. Ace Trace suited turning into top pair. And the backdoor steel wheel for Luki, pictured here and in the lead against the field. Recent Luki checking over to Frankowski, and this is just abusive. Six dimes. Six. Go. Very curious to see how Frankowski reacts to Luki, who we know can be quite stubborn and difficult. And now with fall. aces yeah. up on the turn, that stubbornness is galvanizing. It's, you know, if, if we bet once more in Frankowski's seat, we're hoping to be targeting a queen. A and there it is, Ali. I, just an immediate quick adjustment. I think he believed he was up against some sort of ace. Three's full now. The run out for Luki. Suspect this one's all done. By the way, another opportunity for me to be proved wrong somehow, which I think I'm over on the day. And delighted at that because each occasion on which that's happened, it's come with excitement. Yes. I love when you're wrong. Okay, Brent, you know, just maybe you can just like when I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uncertain what Frankowski is thinking. Maybe just a little posturing here. We beat. Oh, look, King High. Yeah, we beat Jack 10. We chop with King Jack. But we, when we have a king, it's hard to. Yeah, we block. To, you know, we sort of block it. I, I mean, think it, it's more posturing than anything, Ali. It, I think he knew what he was doing on the turn and is just making it look like a tough fold. I digress. So, Luki is able to take that one down. Those have been on the order of the tougher chips to pick up here as we send it back out to Jeff once more. Thank you. Thank you. Well, guys, terrific turnout so far in the high rollers here at WSOP Paradise. The 25K GG Millions high roller, more than 530 entries. The 50K super high roller, 137 entries, more than $1.7 million will be awarded to first place. An absolutely stacked final table, as you might imagine. Timothy Adams, Adrian Mateos, Jonathan Jaffe, Jason Kuhn out and forth left us with three. We have Seth Gottlieb, we have Orpin, and we have our chip leader, Eric Seidel. Seidel looking for his 10th World Series of Poker bracelet. If he acquires it, he'd be the fifth player in WSOP history to win 10 or more bracelets. We'll keep an eye on the ending of this tournament and keep you all posted. Ali? Thanks, Jeff. You know, I didn't look into it. I thought maybe Seidel was on eight bracelets or already 10. In fact, directly in the middle at nine with a shot at number 10 That's is right. Seidel right now.
Ace three popping up once more, this time in Ulst's hands. Played as a raise. Ribeiro defending with queen five off. Doesn't hit the board. By the way, 1.7 million for first in that 50K high roller that Seidel is seeking his 10th bracelet in. Right, that's pocket change for the cyborg. You know what I mean? What a life. What do you suppose is the first purchase? Something indulgent that an elder statesman of the game, such as Seidel, would be making with 1.7. You think he flies private back home? Yeah, I do. I don't. But he is just so, he's, he's all class, isn't he? He's modest, you yeah. know what I mean? He'll he's probably just add to the vinyl collection, you know? The man loves, loves music. music. Serious taste for the horn. For the horn? Yeah, Louis Armstrong. Yep. How did you <laughs> interpret that, Ali? Okay, just, you know. Well, hang on. This doesn't require a lot of interpretation. Reese knows what he's working with. Soft 12. I guess it's a soft 2. Hard 12? Hard 12, yeah. I just, I've been in the blackjack streets a little too often. 3 bet to 8,000 here as Ost gets his wrist smacked. Jack for Ritter. I mean, this... This would be troublesome if all of a sudden he thinks That's some really heroism no. is available. Uh, this would be Superman just no, downing a gallon of kryptonite no. into the bin it goes. Uh -oh. uh, into the muck. Much to Ryan Reese's displeasure. Yeah, he might be thinking at that sizing, a guy like Ost would be inclined to get a little sticky. King 10 suited, we're there. King 10 off. We're out. Listen, don't go with whatever convention dictates. That much I think I certainly have come to understand about this collection of creatures. You know what I think Seidel would spend some of that money on, by the way? And I know this from having ticked off one of the restaurants, which at the time I'd very much been looking forward to checking off my list. As you know, I'm a massive foodie. A, a real nice meal. And I'm not talking about like go to Nubu. I mean yeah. like a destination, yeah. you know, three-star, heralded sort of affair. We flew me, him, and Jason Kuhn out to Chicago, did Alinea Chef's Table together which, by the way, was profiled on Chef's Table on Netflix. This was years back, by the way. But uh, we're overdue for another one. Oh, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to take the boys up to single thread yeah. up in Napa. That's, that's the one on my list, by the way. Shout out to the foodies who are out there in the, uh, in the commentary, by the way. Shout out to Aces, which have suddenly become a theme. Ribeiro picking an absolutely disastrous moment to jam from the button. No, shouldn't be a problem. Not with the Mallards, Ali. Brent, relax. You got action. I'll take the aces. I like Ritter here. Not acting fast. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're concerned. That's just a big re-raise. Big fuck. Well, Ribeiro, recognizing that he's got 
more brulee than creme in this exchange. As Ritter with the ones, Ribeiro with the twos. And an ace in the window, Brent. How you like those deuces now on the monotone board? One could not blame Ribeiro for maybe collecting his belongings here. At three or five. Could help him stay alive. Instead, it's the king, and now he draws dead against top set. No need to delay ripping no off the Band-Aid on the river, yeah. and that will do it for Carlos Ribeiro. Sitting room. Brazilian Sitting has been room. eliminated. Table. Has been given a Brazilian. He I could perhaps is the way we could, could describe could re-enter. You've got one re-entry per day, and you know the chat questioning, what are we doing? We're hey, jamming. James, please. It's on the button. It's deuces, oh, tough hand fine. to win with post. Yes. Awkward you know, you weren't talking that before he got showered. Tough win, tough to win, you know. You were like deuces. Yeah. Fist pump, let's go. Yeah. Well, you know. You have a strange deuces fetish, by the way. It's a problem. Yeah. I I'm willing to admit it. Seek some therapy. You Best know, hand in poker, Ali. Hmm. I'm okay. Probably not. Brent, you know. Actually, just stone cold not. Value Robot, by the way, popping in into the chat after I was soliciting some recommendations in terms of culinary destinations. French Laundry, of course, Thomas Keller. Very, very famous restaurant. Been there. Thunder Keller? Done that. Not that one. Of course, the Thunder Keller that Brent refers to was a well-heralded pro for many years. A friend of mine, by the way. Now, working with Brian Tate on the Overnight Oats operation. Brian Tate also was a really well-known poker player for a while. These guys have both kind of transitioned out. And by the way, printing, from what I understand, over in that operation. You go uh, into Whole Foods, you go, you know, the Overnight Oats are there. Ooh, Cooter back in business. Suited, connected, and paired. On this 8-8-3 texture, which is more than we can say for King Jack. That which our man faces, flicks in the call. Let's see a turn. And that's actually a nice little turn for 3 4. Checks once more. And now Ost can fairly comfortably get the sense that King Jack has itself some issues. Especially given he blocks a club, some flush draw, you know, suited combos out there we know like to peel pre-flop. Could that be a part of the arsenal? Most undeterred, though. Yeah, it's really hard, it, you know, even if you have a three, such as Cooter's hand, to just saddle up and take the ride every single street. It's going to come down clearly to the river on this one, whether Ost makes a hand or not. Clubs do come in on the end. Not sure the nine is anything that Cooter's concerned about. And let's see if Ost wants to play this one as a three-barrel bluff. You make anything of the look back at the cards and spots like that when you're playing live out of position? <laughs> Some guys do it genuinely. Others do it, and it's fake. He does just shut it down. Yeah, and that will allow 3-4 to get on its back and take this one down. Most chips have been in motion on this occasion, headed away from him. We've got a little look on the outside here, Ali. Events unfolding. Take a peek as to what's happening in the 50K high roller. Show me. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. Jewelry in the hands of Eric Seidel. That is a site that spans three decades. 
worth of poker. Number 10 for the Cyborg. How about that little cutaway? Congratulations to Eric. You know, he had that big stack when we last checked in. Obviously leveraged it in short order. What a nice sight that is. I guess dinner's going to be on him. I hope so. May I join? No. Damn. <laughs> There's the 10 bracelet club. The dearly departed Doyle Brunson, of course, who passed away earlier this year. Ivy, Chan, also legends. But everybody looking way up at Phil Helmuth, the magic man. Freshly anointed. Johnny Moss, he was cut short at nine. You think the record stands with Helmuth? Fast forward 10 years. Now we've got WSOP so, happening everywhere, Paradise, yeah. Europe. Who knows? So that is an interesting point that you make, Brent, because the opportunities to win bracelets once upon a time came once a year, and yes. they came in a limited number of events at the World Series. In fact, the genesis of it, as we see Ace-8 and 10-3 both connecting with this 8-3-4 board, Reese, the aggressor pre, Ost defended, now facing the seabed, it was just by vote. You know, the very first time it happened, who played the best? Okay, here you go, you're the winner. Yeah. But now, you know... I, some, online, by the some way. Some claim, yeah, of course, online bracelets. Yeah. Europe, the U.S., paradise, and, you know, intentions to pay a visit to all con continents as time goes on. Tens and threes, by the way, now. <coughs> Four Ost. Reese has himself some problems. But I don't know it is the answer. 17 feels... Especially is the man still at it, by the way. He hasn't hung up his cleats. No, like, he thinks he's going to get to 24 you know. exactly. That's his prediction. Look, taking nothing away from Phil, and I don't know how long he wants to do this, but 24, yeah. that is a staggering claim. That, you know, <clears throat> I'm all for calling your shot, but holy. Speaking that's... of staggering, I think Reese is going to have a huge decision. This is such a tricky two pair for him to spot. And with the presence of that second spade on the turn opening up potential combo draws. Reese is betting for value clearly with that ace eight. Ost is going to rip it. little feeling this is. You know, Reese can well afford to make this call, by the way. It's 23-9 more. Note that he isn't drawing dead, but could this have been a float of some sort? Spades have been picked up. Combo right. draw. Yeah. That's all on Reese's mind as he unblocks a lot of those sorts of combos and gets curious. On his feet is Ost, as he is the man, despite being in front, who is at risk in a 74,700 chip pot. Reese channeling all the ace eight energy that he can muster <laughs> here to take this one down. And oh he finds the eight. Oh my gosh. Unlucky. Whoa. Okay, man. Brutal. Savagery. Here at the feature as Ivan Ost, who was so entertaining, really among the more creative parties that were participating through the span of our coverage now, suddenly eulogized. Just gutted with that river. And all of a sudden, Ryan Reese is peaking for the day. He joins the 100K Plus Club here on day 1A of the main event. You know, I got to tell you, almost everybody <clears throat> en route to a World Series of Poker main event win is going to look back and reflect on moments such as that, where they took the worst of it and ended up on the fortunate side. There's no shame in it. So it right. happens. You are so right. Ironically, three-eighths for Reese. We have exactly... 
three eighths across the board here on our GG Poker YouTube channel. Make sure you click like and subscribe. Do it now if you've just joined. Show your support to GG Poker. This free broadcast. Yeah, listen, guys. The price is right. The bargain of stone cold free of charge which, by the way, may be considered the right price for what we're offering, you and I, Brent. You know, I mean, give us a like. What are we asking for? Give us a subscribe while you're at it. And give us your attention, says Ritter, with Ace-5. Taking us up to 3,200 at the 1K 1,500 level. way GG Poker admins stepping in there to kind of are. bolster and reinforce our are. solicitations there not sure who's manning the controls high time you get in there do it now just keep Frank. on clicking <laughs> Fra Stake Frank is House? to a thousand for Listen. crying out loud I know Frankie's doing his <laughs> thing you think they're clicking yeah. in the chat you think likes being mashed uh, Frank uh, yes, you have 20 minutes. It sounds like maybe dinner is looming here, Ali. Well, listen, Frankowski might be full heading to that <laughs> dinner break because he's been feasting <laughs> on folks. 117.4 for okay, him. Ritter, of right, course, cool. 155,000. But yeah, it is official. Grab a bite, boys. Dinner break. On our hands here in Paradise, which means we're going to check out for a little bit longer than average length of time. But when we come back, we will continue to bring you Day 1A coverage. Stay close, and we'll see you in about an hour.
Well, the bellies are now full, perhaps with some conch fritters, local Bahamian fanfare. Unclear. What is clear, though, is that the World Series of Poker from Atlantis here in Paradise Island, the Bahamas, is back with you. Main event, day 1A. On the back nine, Ali Najad alongside Brent Hanks in the booth. Our man Jeff Platt working the sidelines, and we've got ourselves a brand new featured table. There is your first look at eight players with impressive resumes, by the way. Quite a few of them known entities. And of course, very well known as evidenced by a million subscribers. Platt talked to him earlier and he's still in the event. None other than Wolfgang Poker. Alexander Seid. Let's go Wolfgang. Seed. We'll just call him Wolfgang, shall we? There's a look at the bracelet, which five days from now, a six total will be required to crown a champion. We'll find a wrist. Picking this one up midway through the action is Georgios Casimatis with King Three. Has outflop the pocket jacks of Stefan Yedlika. <coughs> Talked about impressive resumes. Yedlika, of course, almost two million in career tournament earnings. Professional poker player, 38 years of age. Nine. Nine thousand. Facing the bet of 9,000 here on the turn. Casamatis from Greece. Just shy of 9,000 in career earnings. So he's out here. Living the dream? Living the dream. Quite dreamy to get called with the best hand here. Not the dreamy river, though, as the ace rolls off. Does solve any kicker problems if he were up against another king. But of course, Queen Jack is completed. No, by the way, that you have to go with a couple of king jacks. High. King have gotten uh, an idea. But instead, it gets shut yeah, down. And it was King High with a pair of kings. Yeah. Anyway. Declared King High, but uh, we know what he meant. Georgios. Recorded cash of $6,000 back in 2009 at an Italian poker tour main event. 14th place finish there. Very limited intel on that man, but we'll be logging data points as things roll on. Here's a look at the way the chip counts were spread out. Note 15-5 is paltry. 31-5 isn't exactly deep either. Wolfgang got himself some issues. Talked about those known commodities. Chinway Lim, better known as Webster, a super high roller participant out here doing his thing. And of course, Jim Colopy. The big queso. <laughs> this is Armin Razai. You saw that massive stack, 290,000 plus. Yeah, up at the top of the counts. And if that last name looks familiar, it's because his brother Daniel also frequents the super high roller streets alongside Webster. There's Jimbo. King nine. Into the bin. Raise and take it situation there. Webster Lim, you wouldn't know it. 13.7 million in career tournament earnings. Now, obviously, these figures are amassed in short order, ripe age of 31 years old. When you're playing the sorts of stuff that Webster is, 100K buy-in, 250K euro buy-in. How about he was there for the 1.3 million dollar buy-in? 
Triton Don't million for charity. Finished 10th in that one. Tremendous talent. Number four on Malaysia's all-time money list. You feel kind of like naked now? You look at the tan line you got. <laughs> Yo, roll your sleeves up, guys. 4.5. <laughs> Pocket eights here for Somebody's Rizai. As we play 1K, 2K, 2K, big blind, Annie, 5K in orbit, the price of poker. Webster just king 10 suited. 27 bigs. Takes a pass. By the way, look at this. What appears to be special edition GG swag Where in the... Where did that come from? Turquoise. What is this? Pastel blue? I, I don't know where it came from. Uh, sign me up, though. I would love one. I like, please, make a call. Get me the triple X. After that dinner we just had, I've gone up a size or two. Yeah, the... the uh, the depth charge in terms of the cheeseburgers that Brent and I made quick work of. I don't know, I paced myself through it. But it was the rings and the fries also, of course. As we see, was I taking one uncontested? You mentioned Razai, brother Daniel Razai. Armin, he's got more than 1.5 million in career earnings. Okay. Second in a massive mystery bounty in the 2023 EPT. That was a 10K event. He got locked up a quarter million there. He's a player, Ali, and you know what else he loves? Cannabis. What's that? That's right, Ali. Co-owner of Dr. Green Thumb CBD. A high-quality CBD brand with handmade product in Austria. You know, this can be a lucrative venture as King Queen seeks lucrative outcome here for Thomas Yenowin. Maybe it's Yenowin. You know, he flies the stars and stripes. <coughs> Unclear. Louisville, Kentucky. Casino employee undefined. Gotten through everybody. Rates to get through this Queen 8, although he would welcome a call. Four five. Given that he dominates. I'm supposed to wake up with aces and take me out of my misery. We don't want this. Next time. Thomas? No, no, no. no. <laughs> that was your one and only shot, my man. Now he's playing tight. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I mean, he's tripping. He's playing for the home team here. I mean, the GG, the hat, Atlantis. Got that you know. Kentucky twang going as well. I was going to say it was a shame Jamie didn't make the final table or yeah. the feature table with us, but he's had enough table time, so he's yeah. good. When you're not making for a few hands, it's really bad. Yeah. Which Jamie? Gold. He was in your seat. Is that why this is the feature table? Yep. <laughs> it was either that or me, but he's a little bit more known than I am. So apparently Jamie Gold was previously seated in the nine hole prior to Jim Colopy. Yeah, the final table. I'm who, by the way, is a multi-bracelet winner. Sure is. Brent, don't overlook this man. Of all games is Colopy. You can say you, can, you have been to the final. So Jamie table. Gold course, busted it's, it's prior to yeah, coverage so beginning. <laughs> the difference was was mine was a closed event to employee employee tournament. Uh, so. It was whatever, though. You know, we got to sit, you know, at the, the cool table, and it was still at the it's Rio. It's the same experience. Oh, it was, I'll tell you what, it was the best moment of my life as far as poker is career. Nice. Ace-five you know, suited. It's, it's right where they do all the feature tables and the final Both tables game. for the main mm -hmm. event. It was just there was no crowd. <laughs> yeah. Out of there. Am I allowed to be biased and root for Wolfgang every hand? I mean, you're allowed. I don't know that that's what we're all here for. You know, that but, Buffalo you know. Bill sweatshirt. Yeah, you're a homer, Brent. We know this. King nine deuce. Not a homer, but certainly a base hit at minimum 
for Webster. Out of the big top pair, defends and outflops. No king high was in front, of course. <laughs> Jimbo, gutter, betting lead, follows through. Neither of these guys particularly deep, by the way. They got you the VIP seat? Did you say that you... What? Oh, that's nice. To the turn we go, courtesy of the flat by Webster. Nine pairs on the turn. Gonna be a difficult card for <laughs> Jim to rep. Webster checking again. You see the posture, the poise, the composure. This is all emblematic of a man who's not short in the tooth with respect to his poker career. Check. You said it. Pretty impossible card for Calopy. Calopy, excuse me, to bet. If anyone has a nine, it's this guy, Webster. And of course, we can see it's the king. Dry river Slowest here. Slowest game of my life. And Webster convinced that if King Seven was beaten, he would have heard from Jim on this turn more often than not. So he's going to dictate sizing on this river. Ten into twenty-two. I guess you guys usually no tournaments. No, I like never. Never. Okay. Only this one. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. You're going to use it against me now. Two million earnings. Two million earnings. Hundred thousand earnings. You checked it already, right? Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, terms would be fun if it was just more like, like I, I get why it's yeah, way, yeah. I get but, why but, it is. But I'm, but not I'm with fall. you. I also don't like the slow. It's just like, what are we gonna play like ten hands an hour? Like, holy shit! Understand? Shoot. Imagine like, I mean, no one here is doing it for the viewers, but imagine the viewers. It's like, yeah, it's like sucks. <laughs> Wolfgang thinking about the viewers. But I understand. There's a lot of money at stake. You know, can't fault anybody. Obviously, content creators like to take the fans into consideration. Not a tournament guy, Ali. Likes the cash game streets. Loves it. He did make a run in the main event this year in Las Vegas. Cashed for 15,000. Which happens to be his largest career cash. Suited. Colopy back at it as Webster took that last one. Sits this one out. <coughs> Hello, Frank Salama. What was? Did you catch that? Yeah, I, I think that hand deuce five off, perhaps of some local fame for the Kentucky boy, in maybe a home game. Hand. Sucks. I'm gonna play it. <laughs> Don't worry, he doesn't have much to say. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. He said a couple things. Yeah. Make sure his mic's on, he's talking. Shit. How's, how's your mom doing? Is she, is she gonna watch us? Yeah, she's uh, probably all teared up. Uh -huh. Watch me play Give for her. Give a shout mom. out right now while, while she's listening. Hey mom, I love you. There you go. That's <laughs> wish you were here. Sorry, I had to take my girl. What's, with what's me. your name? Deborah. <laughs> so we're gonna Hi, Deborah's uh, mom. <laughs> Deborah's mom. <laughs> oh. No, my yeah. name's Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I told you what's her name. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said her name. Yeah. yeah okay. my, my name's Tom. Her name's Deborah. You don't look like a Deborah. I don't. Well, yeah, it'd be pronounced Deborah, if up. anything. Yeah, the uh, small miscommunication there, Giorgio. Uh, apparently, I've heard a lot of weird names. So not arguing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's your name? Deborah. Well, coming from America, it wouldn't be so okay. abstract anymore. Well, if his name was Deborah, I don't think he'd be living <laughs> in Kentucky. Generally speaking, the uh, masculine Deborahs, not what one finds in that corner of the country. I think you're right. Bluegrass State.
They bring us Mitch McConnell. <laughs> yes, they do, Ali. Yeah. Thank you. Better known as Mr. Garrison from <laughs> South Park. Thank you for that. It's his yeah. doppelganger, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Ten five deuce board here. Wheel gutter. The developments for the party starter. Rezai. And by the way, I'm not just talking about the preflop open. He looks like a, a young man that could get it going. You know what I mean? And you talked about the cannabis thing. I mean, right. listen. No, he's an animal, Ali. On and off the felt. No doubt about it. His brother's a bit of a boss as well, and it's always nice to have elite poker minds that are accessible to us. Seven eight, easy release. Eighteen years old. He ran directly to the casino. He quit any university prospects because, well, it was boring. I hear you. And he picked up poker. He's never looked back since. I mean, listen, it is tough to kind of step outside the academic realm. By the way, flavorful Nike top there Big on fan. Uh Yeah, well, once we check out of the academic realm, we get a taste of the returns that poker offers us, or perhaps the losses and, you know, end up in a bit of a makeup situation. It's, you know, you're not signing back up for core classes you know, five, five, units. It's uh, it's showers. Yeah. yeah. For the diploma. As was I, V pipping. Sixes. Bigs for Jimbo. Facing aggression from the table chip leader, probably one of the biggest stacks in the entire tournament. So we can use our phones as long as we're away from the table. Yeah, right? like if you're okay. Defense from the suited Broadway. One gapper, king in the window, followed by an eight and a seven. Three over cards Nine to the sixes. We have a break after this level. I mean, I, I feel like it would make we sense. Have, yeah, because they got 60 minutes dinner break and we have to wait 20 minutes for them. Sorry. <laughs> Interesting. Rezai, third pot C bet here, does have the six of hearts. Some straightiness. It's got a little potential. Yeah. Seemingly a favorable board for Rezai as the opener. And it could also just be one of those situations where, look, we, we could just win it right here with some frequency, sure. And then also, maybe we get a free pull at the river here, courtesy of a check from Colopy, who turns big as now the spade draw is added to top pair. You know, this is where we have the luxury of a check back. an interesting spot even the turn card for Rezai we think we're up against perhaps an eight or a seven we turn these sixes into a bluff due to the texture of the turn there it is the second barrel he's hoping that that's exactly what his opponent has however we can see Jimbo's got the goods is insistent to the tune of half pot. Call up with just 30 back. I mean, yeah, we have a lot of hand. We aren't obligated to go blasting off, but 
we defer. It's impossible to be drawing dead with this hand. The call flicked in by Jim. Ooh, that was too close for comfort in terms of the five, maybe. Hearts. Potential issue. As the pot has grown to 40,000. See if Rezai just gives up. I mean, at this point, point 0.5 SPR. Yeah. Effective. Really just deduces that he's up against the king. And it, could it have been hearts? M maybe. Although, you know, check raise on the flop with hearts. Now he's not giving up. He is all hearts, is Rezai. This is go hard as he puts all of Colopy's tokens on request here. And suddenly our king jack feels very vulnerable. But he does flick in the call and he will be quite pleased. A double as the three barrel insistence from Rezai is tamed. Monster. And maybe Rezai was sitting too deep for that line to have kind of carried the weight or credibility that it might have otherwise. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was tough. Uh, worth a shot, I guess. Maybe once in a blue moon we get the fold there. And tons of chips, man. I mean, look at Rezai. He's got 260,000 after doubling up. Colopy, uh, he'll be okay. Yeah, and you wonder, by the way, how much of that was the product of exactly the kind of stuff that we just observed, you know, just aggro mashing. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it, combined with every time this guy's going to get a big hand, he, he will receive action. Four? Yeah, look up. Two hooks. One in the bin. And now Webster, ace queen suited, isn't going anywhere. High fold. Flats. Off the 30 bigs, just calling. Jet the cut under the gun plus one. Probably. Never too far out of line. I like Webster's plan. You keep in worse aces, worse queens. And kind of, you know, keep this pot manageable with 60 behind up against the depth of Yeah, look at Sometimes, you know, we bloat one, and then things get a little bit weird. It's a good-looking cowboy hat, by the way. I'm my guy Wolfgang? Yeah, I don't know too many Cowboys. Rodeo is here in Vegas as Brent and I are broadcasting remote. I, you know, that one doesn't really qualify, I think, for most Cowboys. Six five dues board. Fails to give Lim anything to be interested in, really. 13 in there. Jax is obviously a lot of hand, but we do want to charge a price if somebody wants to get curious with hands that contained ace x, king x, queen x, which we are vulnerable to. Oh, you nailed that. He goes 12,000 into 13, hoping that maybe he's up against eights, nines. Also denying equity from whatever else Webster Lim may have up his sleeve. Ace queen of clubs. I know there's no club, Ali, but it can still just be the goods. Oh, man. You know, this sizing may be that which piques Webster's interest as much as any other aspect of the pot as played. Disastrous ace for Yedlika. Rolls right on. And 
into Webster's corner. What a gross little spot. I mean, Yedlick was supposed to be able to rep this ace credibly, but, uh, you know, I'm not sure. It's not really. Obviously, it, it, you know, we have two jacks. I, I don't know if it's a card he's necessarily all that concerned about. You have to give Webster credit for, of course, having a hand like ace-jack suited, ace-queen suited. But also the underpairs to the jacks, overpairs to the six could be a part of what's happening across the felt. Yeah, look, no, uh, look at the sizing here, 11,000. Yeah. Trying to get max value from that range you just informed us about, the eights, the nines, while also kind of, in a way, blocking against what could have been an unlucky turn. Another flat from Webster, backdoor hearts, and a second overcard to the Jacks. Posing concerns for Yedlika, top two for Webster. Unblocking hearts as well are the Black Jacks. And it is time to pump the brakes. Feels very much like value could be pursued for Webster here. How much will he go for, though, with the sub-1 SPR? There's your answer. Looks like it's exactly 37. He left 500 chips behind. We are simply bluff catching with black jacks. It's a really tough one for Get the Cutter to put together. Was he trapping all along? Did he have ace queen? And a beautiful fold. Pocket fives? No? You see some, maybe. Not assigning the ace and queen to you Webster's see the range. In one hour. <laughs> yeah. Giorgio is asking if you it was pocket anyway. fives, the smaller pairs. Okay. Would have been a set. Yeah. Webster did pick up a bracelet already this year. Brent? Uh, YouTube. YouTube. Is that right, Ali? On the channel of... Uh, I believe it was a big one, if my memory serves correct. And I think it was in 2019, winning the 100K WSB Europe High Roller for 2.4 million. Okay, I thought it was this year. Uh, that is what we saw on the screen just moments ago, if I'm not mistaken, but okay. Chance the bios we have are wrong. I, you know, I tend to think I'm less reliable than the bio department in general. In all kind of ways, you know, not just informationally Every speaking. Every facet yeah. of unreliability. Blind on blind for Wolfgang. Looks down at King-9 suited in this stack. Olympics, all of it. So Wolfgang and his gang all getting behind their man. Hello. Able to play this orbit for free now. Got a new arrival yeah. to yeah, the table. On. Got the bucket hat joining the cowboy it hat. It would appear, yeah. Intel on our man. No idea. All right. We'll have a break. However, Ali. Yeah. Walking to the table. Right? Quick break. Yeah. That's an idea. On their feet they are. This was a little bit unexpected. Barely in from dinner, but we will go to a break and we'll throw it to Nick Wright once more. 
going to be with Becky Hammond and Tony Parker of the San Antonio Spurs. Oh Stay close. Back in about 20. Welcome, Nick Wright from First Things First at the inaugural WSOP Paradise here at the Atlantis Casino and Resort in the Bahamas alongside a couple Hall of Famers, people that have more about a half dozen championships between, you know, between us, we have a half dozen championships, <laughs> but between us, I think we have zero of those WSOP bracelets. We all came down here hoping to get one. I think we're all unfortunately going to be leaving without one, but it's of course <laughs> Becky Hammond. Uh, world champion coach two time over defending of the Las Vegas Aces Hall of Famer and Tony Parker four time NBA champion also a Hall of Famer Becky Tony thank you guys for joining me and before we get into well everything we're going to get into I think some people might be surprised to see you guys down here playing cards Tony I know a little bit about how you got into the game we can get into it in a moment Becky how long have you been playing and what got you into the game I guess you know when it was that huge poker push probably 15, Somewhere 20 years ago. Yeah. When it was just, it went crazy at that moment. I just started watching and um, started playing, learned how to play. I didn't know to, how to play. Um, and then I jump in on sometimes with him, you know, on his home game. So, <laughs> so in, there are legendary stories from NBA locker rooms of, you know, relationships being broken over card games. <laughs> In the WNBA locker rooms coming up, a lot as much card playing or maybe a little more, little more mature environment. Uh, a little more mature, but I don't know about that. <laughs> <coughs> They'll do. Uh, they like spades. I don't know how many poker oh. players there actually are. They play more like card games like that. Yeah, I like spades. And before the poker room, I think Boure was the big NBA mm -hmm. game. I don't. I think sure. maybe the Tony, the beginning mm -hmm. of your career. No, I, didn't, I didn't even play that. No. That, that, no. Was, that was a maybe Jordan it was the, the end. Yeah. So for you, a lot of spades and then poker. I know you have a relationship with Phil Hellmuth that really got you into the game. Can you tell the audience a little about that? So kind of same thing uh, like Becky, like 15, 20 years ago. Uh, it blew up and uh, and then on my birthday uh, Eva at the time uh, was my wife she wanted to surprise me and so she knew that I love poker and so she flew uh, Phil Helmut all the way to San Antonio to do a, a poker game because we organize a poker game uh, every month and uh, it was like our big like tournament and so he came in and I was so surprised to see him it was so nice and so we play with everybody and then at the end he came to the house and we had private lessons so that's how I really got into it these are the benefits of <laughs> Tony Parker. Ooh, private like, lessons. Uh, some, you know, it's this like, hey, for my, for my birthday, my wife let me and my buddies have a poker <laughs> weekend. For my birthday, my wife flies in Phil Helmuth for private lessons. Uh, so how has this experience here been for you guys? I know you guys have been to the, you know, traditional WSOP in Vegas before. You're obviously based in Vegas. But this is the first ever time the WSOP Paradise here at beautiful Atlantis Resort and Casino in Bahamas. How have you guys enjoyed the week so far? I know you were on the court a bit. I don't know if you were as well. Well, the basketball court that is what have you guys been doing this week well we did that little shoot she did play oh okay she did play they finally that's about the first time i've played in about 10 years <laughs> since i retired it was fun though it was fun <laughs> it was fun um so we did that we've been hanging out a lot going to dinners he did he had a great run in his um so he got into the money rounds. Oh. First time ever. First, yeah. That's so, awesome. That's awesome. It's my second uh, second tournament. My yeah. first one was two years ago. I played in a man event in Vegas. Yeah. I lost very late uh, in day one. So that was my first experience uh, ever. And so that was my second time playing. Uh, and so I was I was Second tournament happy. ever you cashed. That's yeah. a 50% cash rate. That exactly. by my, that so means you're one of the best pretty, players in the world. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, cause I, I'll, I'll be honest in preparing for this, there's if, uh, people watching this are probably familiar with this. If not, there's this group called the Hinden Mob that is, sounds nefarious. It's not, they just track all of people's career earnings. So I was playing in yesterday, the 50K and I'm like, let me see who's at my table. And it was me. And then guys, every single other person at the table had career earnings of more than five million bucks. And I'm like, oh, I'm probably a slight oh, wow. dog. Yeah. So I checked your Hinden Mob <laughs> profile this morning, Tony. Did you cash for like 2100? What was the? What, 1900. 1900. That's what it said. I was like, I was like, Tony Parker, career live earnings, about two grand, not bad. Uh, but it's on there. It's how you. Start. Gotta start somewhere. You got, it, gotta start somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> um, all right. If leaving poker a bit, talking about you know day jobs or previous day jobs. So, Las Vegas Aces two-time champs and we there's it feels to me like this women's basketball in America 
is, I don't want to say having a moment because it almost sounds condescending, but from the success of the women's college tournament and the, the ratings it drew, the real personalities, Caitlin Clark, the LSU team, and then your guys' Aces team, which was... As sure of a thing it felt to me, I know you can't say that. So, <laughs> Never so, feel um, sure. <laughs> but going into a season since the 2017 Warriors of like, oh, it would take a shocking turn of events for you guys not to, not to win it. And you guys obviously crushed throughout the season, crushing the playoffs again. I, so a couple uh, points. One is, do you feel the growing momentum on the, for the women's side of the game. And the other one was, as the defending champs and as the overwhelming favorites, did you feel that growing pressure as the season went on that anything, truly anything short of a title, people will be like, we failed this season? Yeah, so I think the biggest thing with women's basketball is just the visibility of all of, all of it. Um, I think, you know, I say this all the time, they're better players than when I played. And it's just the involvement of the game, I think. Um, you know, if you look at previous... NBA teams like in the in the 60s and 70s I mean there was no big men dribbling the right. ball down the court you know or when they did dribble they just dribbled like this yeah. and so I just think there's a natural involvement of the women's game um, they're super skilled uh, really fun to watch and then you have you know Caitlin Clark coming over half court and just pulling stuff like Steph Curry and all of a sudden it, you know people start paying attention um, but the most important thing is, is is the visibility and that we have really great players to come and watch and then I'll say for pressure um, second part there's always pressure there's yeah. always pressure and um, um, it's extremely hard to repeat, um, and even as, in a season that I, I felt like uh, my team just crushed it. They're the they're the best humans, best basketball players. Um, I'm happy to go to war with them. But even us in in this course of our season, we had a lot of setbacks, and um, the perseverance and the resiliency and stuff that well, like my team did, I was I was well, thrilled. With. I, I'm sure it got to your uh, early in the NBA season. Jeff, or in the WNBA season, Jeff Van Gundy was doing an NBA broadcast and the Aces came up. And he set the standard out. He was like, they'll go undefeated if they want to. And I was like, well, that might be a hard bar to clear. But that was the that was where people, when you're defending champs, you add Candace Parker, you have some of the best players in the world. There's almost that level of expectation. And then I, one other question for you, Beck, before I ask Tony some hoop stuff. I, I almost don't, I don't, you know, I'll ask the question, but I don't think it has to be like it, people wonder, you know, are you ever, do you want to go coach in the NBA? And I think that's a legitimate question to ask, but not, I don't think it's a legitimate standard as far as that would be a promotion. It would be different and it would be more trailblazing for you, mm -hmm. but it's just a, it's, it's a different lane rather than an upper lane. Do you still want to do that? Do you still think that is, you know what I mean, on the board for you? And how do you see that playing out? Um, honestly, with, with opportunities, right? I keep it open mind. So I didn't envision myself five, six years ago, probably going back to the WNBA. I was on a certain path. Yeah. I felt good about where I was going. Um, and then it just got to the point where I felt I needed, needed to pivot. I needed to go a different direction. Um, and I wanted to be in charge at the end of the day. I wanted to, I felt like I was ready to run my own team and that, you know, the aces are the ones that came in and gave me that opportunity. And honestly, I've, I've never had so much fun coaching in my life. So, the question of do I want to go back or not, I don't know. It would have to be a very, very good um, situation, team situation, because I love where I'm at, and I love going to war, like I said, with these with these ladies. Uh, and obviously, I mean, the opportunities, I, you know, I feel like everyone feels been earned. Maybe, you know, coach uh, transcendent French talent who might displace Tony Parker as the greatest French basketball player ever one day. <laughs> uh, that's got to be a, a bittersweet for you, Tony. It's your Spurs. It's your countrymen. And it's almost like, okay, I want him to be great. But do I want him to be greater than me one day? I don't know. I would probably root for him yeah. to be the second best ever. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, I want him to be awesome. No, I was happy to see him with the Spurs, you know. For me, it's a great thing, you know. It's great for basketball, great for, obviously, French basketball. And uh, for me, uh, like, it's kind of different for me because uh, he came to play for my team in France. So he was playing for Asvel. Yeah. We won the championship together. Uh, his uh, little brother is still in my academy. His big sister went to the academy. So I have a lot of history wow. with that family. So it's hard for me not rooting for them when I know the whole family. And it was almost, it did feel meant to be. You know, exactly. Right? Ah, exactly. And, for sure. and with you. So I want to ask you, Tony, the, quickly before we go. Right now, obviously, there's a big basketball moment in Vegas with the in-season tournament going on in Vegas. LeBron has been the best player in this tournament. LeBron is 
about two years younger than you. You played in the league 19 seasons, if I have it right? Uh, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18 seasons from mm -hmm. 01 mm -hmm. to 2019. Mm -hmm. Can you put in some, and you had some battles with him. You won a yeah. finals MVP mm -hmm. against him. You mm -hmm. played in two other mm -hmm. finals against him. Mm -hmm. Can you put in context that in 2023, in year 21, it turns 39 in a couple weeks, what that LeBron is still doing this and how almost incomprehensible it would have been when you guys first played in the finals in 07 mm. that he would still be at this level. I have to be careful and say because I do watch his show, so I know he's a huge LeBron, huge LeBron I'm fan, a truth teller. You know? I think I'm you're two and one I'm, I'm more Jordan, you but he's more right? LeBron. No. But, uh, <laughs> I'm two and one in the finals. I have to be careful now. Well, to be honest, like it's very, very impressive. Like uh, we have a group uh, uh, with French people, like all my friends, you know, it's like 50-50 between LeBron and Jordan. So we have the same arguments than you guys but to a certain point it's really like it's hard to to see another player who can do that like what he's doing is very very impressive to take care of his body and put up the, the numbers that he's putting and that longevity is just unbelievable and it never happened before and we have no data that can explain how long can he go uh, like right now, it looks like he can play for another four or five years. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's and so a lot of respect. Like, I don't care what you think about LeBron. You have to respect him. And what he's doing is unbelievable. And as Becky said, you are, to be fair, 2-1 and one against him in the finals. <laughs> you guys did win one of the, the greatest championships in league history, coming back from the Ray Allen moment with that unit to then re recover, regroup, and then not only win that championship, blow the doors off, you know what I mean? The last iteration of the Heat team, you guys blew the doors off everyone this year. It is a real honor for me. Someone Thank that's you. watched you my yeah. entire career, watched and respected you, the tail end, or I respect the whole thing, but watched the tail end of your WNBA career and then seeing all the doors you've opened in the NBA and WNBA and was alive in person watching you guys in the finals from Barclays Center yeah. this year <laughs> as you guys beat the Liberty. Becky Hammond, Tony Thank Parker, you. a couple of Hall of Famers, Right back to coverage right now from the WSOP Paradise at Atlantis Resort and Casino in the beautiful Bahamas. The jam announced and now suddenly for Reuter, oh. he realizes. Reuter has just been tossed into the wood chipper and he's oh, going to make the call and this is going to be a sight nobody expected to see elsewhere at this ft a 72.4 no, sure. million ah. chip pot <laughs> reuter covering ever so slightly and you see him look over at muller like really bro why you got to make us do this he has him covered anyway i think I think he has and him covered. No, no, I think I've, uh, he has me covered, I think. Emotion free. But only you close the call, but I'm covered, right? He said, you wanted a call, you got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, big, I big ass massive uh, I, don't, I, don't even know, I don't even know who I'm rooting for. I don't know who has me covered. So to the flop we I mean, go. All the chips, they didn't do a count. And the ace king. Failing to improve on the Jack-9 deuce board. Reuter reaching over and kind of collecting some of the chips in front of him. Let's not tempt fate, young man. Oh, my. Because things like this happen. Oh. The King of Spades on the turn, and suddenly Muller hopping deep into the lead. But oh. note, a queen or a ten would rescue Reuter and shower Muller. It ain't over yet. And now it is, as running trips will leave Muller doubling through virtually the entirety of Reuter's stack. Slower side. But situations such as this do warrant consideration. Yeah, I don't think and the this declaration is an exhibit of that. It's just ten? more posturing with sort of a big hand is the shortest stack. You mean trying oh, to make it seem cuspy? Wow. Nothing cuspy about Brandon's ace king, by the way. He's going to have solace in a bad way. There's the expected jam, and he doesn't need to posture oh, at no. all because Salas' pot committed. Yeah. Muller out of the way with it's King 9. King Salas' fate hanging in the balance. 31.6 ojo de bife in the middle. 
that he'd love to sink his teeth into. Ace. That juicy steak eludes him, though, on the 8-6 deuce board, where he hunts una dama. Turn fails to deliver, and could this be the end of the line for the Argentine? Ace. Bracelet holder Damien Salas wants to hang in there and possibly claim one of the seven figure payouts, but it's not to be. Let's go, baby! Yeah. Let's go! Designed to maybe skew one into Three thinking that the holding is dustier than it is. 3.2, the open king, eight suited. Smilko's one of these guys that for chips might be looking at this spot and thinking to himself, I'm the shorty, 23-5. You're right, he's okay. gonna just call. Yeah. Defend out of the big blind. You knew Fair. the muck wasn't in his future. Never. He's in a bad I'll way. Two, in, right? two fives, two spades, and a four. Advantage Muller. 7.7 7 in there. Not done with it, LA. Just a, a non believer right now. Comes along for the ride. No heart on board. A little surprised at this peel by Smilkovic. I just think it's more about King 8 can be the best hand. Yeah, but is King 8 going to be given a free path to showdown? Pending texture on turns, maybe. We also are prepared to possibly call once more and again for our tournament life again given the run out but look at this Muller has such a big hand in this spot in position now Schmelko checks it back there and is. he just thinks that the king eight is good enough to get the showdown this card is a problem note by the way Muller's willingness to check back that turn with so much strength, the wheel gutty, the nut flush draw, the ace king high, could earn him a payoff in 11.3 on this river, or so. induce a barrel out of Smilko as a block trying to get to showdown. Let's see. Well, Smilko's in the big blind, so it'll be Muller acting first, and he may very well just bet ace high for value as played, hoping to get called by exactly a king or queen type high holding. Yeah. My bad, Smilko in position. Not going to be block betting, but who knows? Muller could also play it to induce. I'm not sure that's the more optimal path. Uh, I don't think we induce. He's, he's going to try and hunt for value. Yeah. With ace high. He just might get it, too. Boy, this is so tough as played. We pull back into the harbor as the SS World Series of Poker Paradise main event steams forward. Day 1A. One of four total day ones, one of which will be a turbo on day 1D. Working its way into the latter part of the program. Ali Nishad and Brent Hanks at the comms. Jeff Platt, the only one of the three of us extended an opportunity to actually be physically present in the Bahamas, as you can see from the paraglider in the background, parasailer, whatever. Wouldn't have sucked if we had gotten kind of authorization. We got the shaft, Ali. 
That's an interesting. Okay. 260,000 as more giving than getting of the shaft has been that which is afoot for Armin Rezai. 15-5 for Thomas. Uh, perhaps more on the receiving end as evidenced by the chip stacks, which have a very broad range. And the new arrival, by the way, brings with him a very healthy resume, Brent. An unwelcome sight, dare I say, for those that are looking to bag here this evening. Britain's Stephen Warburton. Talk oh, to yeah. me. He's got about $2.5 million in career earnings, does Warburton. Very tough player. Second place, fin largest career score, a million dollars. A second place finish yeah, in the really 2015 EPT the main yeah, event. Hat, so clearly talents have arrived and talents were here prior to that arrival including those of webster Lim, the super high roller king queen offsuit here opens to 5500 as colopy who made a call for his tournament life just before the break mind you against three barrels from the big stack of rezai works with 79,000 coming into this one 17,000 of which have been put forward in the form of the three bet Playing 1K, 2,500 now with the 2,500 big blind any 6K in orbit, the price of poker. And Webster <clears throat> doesn't make a meal of King Queen. Into the bin it goes. Colopy, of course. Those wrists have been adorned on more than one occasion with World Series of Poker glory. Three total bracelets. Why don't people rock them, Brent? You know what I mean? It's just, it kind of pisses me off. Give me three bracelets, and I promise you, anytime I walk up to the table, chink like Spurs in a Western movie, you know what I mean? You're going to hear me coming. No, I, I, well, I hope not, but I, right. I do believe C -O you. And I'll switch for an orbit. Yeah, I, I know you would wear them, Ali. Uh, it's kind of who you are but you know i might Jimbo even get here i might even get the three of them yeah. not soldered but somehow kind of laced together so that i can wear it atop my head Bit of a like crown. a crown yeah you see yeah, no i believe all of this just saying do what you got to do man meanwhile warburton with a oh, hat malfunction well, did he swap for the bucket different hat going on now i know oh, I, what would i say i know that's okay hang on cowboy easy. hat a bit of barter <coughs> A foot here, overshadowing, of course, the fact that our man from the Bluegrass State, who we settled during the break on, Yenna Wine, A6 offsuit, has jammed, okay. and otherwise pretty one for Casimatis. Even the most ambitious yeah. among I us recognize the Jack High's Jack that High in this spot. It's got like club yeah. vibes. Same story for Queen High. Uh-oh. Problems 15? on the horizon. 15-5. As 15, we're working whiskey that's a little bit better aged on the button. Ace King suited. Just start thinking Green? about a six, you know, wine. You know, the Kentucky flavor. Hit that six ball. Listen. There goes one six. Oh, no. There goes the six of hearts. This isn't good, Ali. No, not good at all. Oh, we don't got aces. He doesn't need we aces. Got a couple outs. And a couple exactly as is we know clock? one six is missing. And clamps. the look on Yenna Wine's face is for good reason. I fall the clamps. is in bad shape here. And these banjos are dueling, but <laughs> one of them. I do it is out of tune. Heart in the window. Chop no it up, Ali. Hang on. Things could be worse. Rooting for a six or an eight for the time being is Thomas Yenawine. Three would work as well. Is any of that available? 
carve up this 37,000 and keep Thomas in his seat. Well, one burn and one turn of a final card mm -hmm. from that yeah, answer, yeah. which comes luck, to the disappointment of Thomas Yenawine. This bullet showered. Talk well, about, talked about his poker ambitions, Sprint. Wow. Yeah, bracelets, rings, and WSOP glory, the simple things call, in you life. Solve it? Nothing oh, glorious about obviously. paying a visit <laughs> to the rebuy desk, as many will. Unclear whether or not that's in Thomas's future. Some might just decide tonight's not the night. Come back, start anew tomorrow. Do they have a fine Kentucky whiskey in the Bahamas, specifically at the Atlantis? Now, isn't Pappy... Oh, is that? The, is it Pappy Van Winkle? Right. I'm not By familiar. the way, there's some kind of a scandal. As we see, 1.9 million, seventh on Austria's all-time money list is Yedlika, who absorbs the remains of Yenna Wine. But there's a, there's been some real kind of true crime mystery sorts of deals surrounding Kentucky whiskey through the years, which is part of the lore of it, you know. By the way, Basil Hayden's not clear whether or not that's a Kentucky... Whiskey, and then another one called Blanton's with actual metal horse, kind of like a Monopoly figure at the top of the bottle. A couple of you nicer know ones. Whiskey. I, I'm no, very impressed. The guys in the private game that I dabbled around, they knew their whiskey. You know, me, on the other hand, I knew my limits. Now, where is Jack Daniels from? Is that a Tennessee bourbon? Jack Daniels, I mean, based on what I've seen it do to a few people, is from the depths of Hades. I mean, many a liver have fallen victim to a whole Jacob. Just saying. Meanwhile, poker being played still. Monotone Queen 10 4 board. Middle uh, pair for Casimantis. Clubless kit. Seven years. In both holdings here. Webster was the defender. Yeah. A couple of quick knuckles. <laughs> Dusty turn. I mean, how old are you? Not. 29. I thought maybe a high school sweetheart, is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah but no. But yeah, you were college. Second check in front of Casimantis. Looks like he's got an idea. What about you? Anything? Uh, yeah. Also six years. That's good. Okay. Thank you. Bet and take it, sir. I believe we've got some wise words from the one and only Jeff Platt coming here, Ali. I'm ready for him. All right, out here in the field post-dinner break, let us catch up with Haley Hannah. Haley, stand up for me for a quick sec. The future, Mrs. David Peters, congratulations <laughs> on that. They're having a baby, congratulations yeah. on that. We were going to do a, a WSOP-related like gender reveal maybe yesterday, and then you were just I like, screw this. I patient. I could not do it. I was, so we had the results early yesterday morning, and we were going to try to plan something, and I just I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I had to, like, we were, I know that I messaged you, and we were <laughs> planning it, and then after, like, hours of planning, I'm like, sorry, Jeff, I just have to open the results right now because I can't wait anymore. And then we found out we're having a boy. Congratulations. You're having a boy. A little poker player, perhaps? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. I do not want them to be playing poker. So it, it'd be easy to ask the question, how does David help your poker game? But let, let's flip it around, as I think it should be flipped around sometimes. <laughs> how do you think <laughs> you help David in his poker career? Um, probably because when I relay hand histories that I play, he's like, oh gosh, is this like the really bad players? Is this what they're thinking? And then it helps him play against bad players better. That's perfect. <laughs> how to play against bad players. Yeah. Incredible. Well, yeah. Thank you so much for the time. <laughs> I appreciate it. Congratulations again. Thank you. Yeah. Well, congratulations in order for the Peterses as a little prodigy's on the way, but apparently, you know, it's going to have to be in something other than poker. Mama Haley running a tight ship, it would appear, anti-card play. Uh, She'll you, know. Up, you know, classic do as I say, not as I do vibes, early double standards being established there. When the bun's in the oven, it's very, you know, you're, you're protective, Ollie. I remember from the flip side on the father angle, you're, all you're thinking about is engineering school, law degrees. Yeah, is that what you were thinking about when number one was in the oven? 
Brent, you thought engineering school and law degrees? Yeah, for, you know, their future. Right future. Dude, you were thinking right fielder is what you were thinking. Yeah, you're Come right. on, yeah. guaranteed Give baseball money. Yeah. By the way, the other thing, when the bun is in the oven, sometimes we cloud, you know, uh, hormones swirling, you know, maybe no, what? Uh, postpartum we'll be able to kind of reevaluate things. From what I understand, I'm just saying, it's not like I'm a dad. I've never gone through this. You have. Was the wifey kind of sound? Oh, in a, you know, sometimes they're like, I want to eat dirt. You oh, know about very, the geophagia? You, know, you heard about this? sound. I, you know, you don't need to believe everything that the Internet tells you, Ali. Yeah? Mm. Not everything. Yeah. This is where Brent knows that his wife may very well be listening, and he doesn't want to face the wrath on the way home. Buddy, I get the wrath no matter what. King Jack's squaring off on a ace-high rainbow board here. Casimantis was suited with his, but in the big, plays it as a defense, and then checks over to the range advantage of Yedlika. I'm sticking with the Ye, not the J. Sound. I'm going uh, you Jed went Jedlica with you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You went Jed, and all of a sudden. I uh, did. You did. I thought I slid in the Jed. Yeah, but that—that's what I I'm saying. Combined them. Okay. Bet of thirty-five hundred. You merged. This. Very straightforward. Suddenly, this one has become a bit seasoned, courtesy of the check call by the other King Jack, which was on the hunt for a club. Instead, the heart rolls off, and needless to say, Yedlika going to be a bit adrift here. Don't mind the call, right? The power of King High against a player like Yedlika. And you've got the backdoor puppy paws that could have come home so the check back hearts come to roost I gotta tell you anytime I see one of these gift shop hats you know what I mean Las Vegas that kind of I think you know these chips are live or is it the hustle right? it could always be the hustle you know, the green tax account and visor, that's laying it on a bit thick. But, uh, y yeah, it could be the hustle. Jack of hearts, Yedlika's hand. Looking to apply some pressure. There it is, 15 and a half, I believe. Bet, check, bet is that line that oftentimes is attached to just a pot control -y holding, not necessarily something that's airy. Throw the nut no pair now for Casimatis. Let's see. Not done with it quite yet. 16 into 20 is beefy, though. It is. Strikes me as a field player type, Casamanis. Do we believe the guy or don't we? You know? Sometimes you just make spike calls because of what their face looks like. He wants to. He doesn't believe him at all, but too much heat in the kitchen. Out. Well played there by Yedlika. You ever just look a man in the face in your games, LA, and call because you hated their face? You know, were you around for that Hello. explanation? Hello, welcome. I can't remember who it was. We were in the booth and we were kind of waxing. Po you know, what was going on in his mind? And then I believe Jeff had the interview and the gentleman shed light and said, you know, I just decided I don't like this dude's face. That's why I made it's the call. Thing. It is yeah, kind of a, a thing. thing. I mean, by the way, it can be a very expensive thing as we welcome Zing He, who's got 55 World Series of Poker caches. And by the way, did they pass the baton in terms of the windbreaker here? Everybody's was that got kind of a welcome you breaker? I, you know, okay. we yeah, don't see? get the invite. We don't get the jacket. Some BS right here. They just gave us each other. In this very warm, milky room. I don't know about milky, but by the way, I'll take the jacket over each other, as you put it. You know? 
you you have ties, very close direct ties. Yeah. To GG. Could yeah. you just put in the request, please? I'm begging. Could I? Could I get one? Don't beg, Brent. I, I, I call it unbecoming, but no, it's on brand. But what I'm saying is, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Just. I don't know. Uh, this is your way of saying you will get one. I will not. Yeah. I might get one. Yeah. Right. I don't know. But hold out hope, right? Thank you. Maybe, maybe your stocking will get stuffed. Oh, figured that might tickle your fancy. Ah. By the way, shout out Dan Weaver in the chat, stepping in to give us some, you know, wisdom in terms of the uh, the whiskey discussion. He he says, now all bourbon is whiskey, but not all whiskey is bourbon. So he says wild turkey is is best for the money. By the way, wild turkey doesn't strike me as is top shelf. You know what I mean? The, the, the aforementioned couple that I came with, I, I would be willing to put up against Wild Turkey. Not that I really know much, but the dudes that, I, you know, pointed me into that knowledge. Legitimately have always thought that Wild Turkey was made directly of turkey urine. Am I wrong with that assumption? Is that not right? What the hell are you talking about? Urine, Brent? I guess I'm wrong. I, I you didn't actually. Now, Compton, you didn't actually think that, did you? I, I thought it was a main ingredient. You know, wild turkey, it's usually cheaper on the shelves. I don't know. Somebody told me that. I just believe Don't it. try to pawn it off on anyone else. You know. Maybe I saw it on Reddit. I, I, I don't know. That feels like a place you spend some time. Ace nine suited has company. Casimatis with the king jack lost a few chips this time trying king queen on for size and as he flats our guy Wolfgang traded out of the cowboy hat for the bucket hat comes along and flops a gutty on the king queen three board top two for the Greek. Far and away the best of what's around as the newcomer announcing himself pre and now post as well. Into 20, he barrels. $7,500. Slow play. Feels... Very available, dare I say, Brent, although we know some of the ace-jack, ace-10, 10-jack stuff might pay a price. He, by the way, who has seabet this one, six World Series of Poker Circuit final tables. Yeah, loves the circuit. Plays online north of the border, and by that I mean Canada, given that we're here in the U.S. Professional player. The heads up. And how about that nut flush draw on the turn now? Let us see whether or not this coaxes a second barrel. going to sting if Casamatis shuts the door here. When we pick up the back door heart draw such as this, Ali, it sort of feels like maybe check call would be optimal. You never want to get blown off this hand right here on this street, but perhaps it could work out if Casamatis just believes he can trap the whole way by going call, call. We can get that. That looks to be the case. And just really? like that, we're live with the nut draw going to the river. Be careful sometimes you reel in a fish that's a little bit bigger than you're ready to take on, but with a queen on the end, we can feel quite cozy. Queen's full. 
on this river for Kasi Madison. Note, by the way, that Zing He doesn't have to be qu quite as concerned about a Queen X combo given both the flop and turn were called, Bren? Uh, maybe. I, I mean, not necessarily. If you're just a non believer, if you've got Queen Jack, Queen 10 suited, these types of hands, are you necessarily folding turn? Giving your opponent credit for the king? I, you know, a queen can be present. As we can see, it's the whole house full of royalty. Mm. I'm all in. Well, the shutdown lures an all in. I mean, as played. We beat Jack-10. And we unblock it. Would imagine this is a bit of posturing. Nine of hearts, not a great card to have. Or the ace of hearts that could have been peeling. Right. right. Yeah, we've got a lot of what we were hoping our opponent would be holding. You were dead. Oh, you, you were dead, declared, were. by the way. Yeah. Okay. On the river. I mean, he's not wrong. <coughs> Unwarm welcome. <coughs> For Zing He is. The Kassi tattoo, Kassi. by the way, on the forearm says you were dead. I don't Just think kind that's kind of the staple. I don't think that's what it says. Brent. Well, the, the notes say it. No. Could be wrong. I, I don't think the notes say it either. Brent. Oh, well, you've really been throwing the bio department under the bus <laughs> with alarming frequency. I mean, these bios are great. Don't try to walk it back now. You know, <coughs> you're off the Christmas list, buddy. As Ace Nine offsuit now. Gets put to work by Mr. Warburton. Deeply accomplished. Talked about that two and a half million in career tournament earnings. It's from Manchester, by the way. Of course, Man City. Unclear yeah. if that's the club that he might support. Man United also, the Reds, the club that gets supported out there. I believe it's the but Man United based on the Twitter bio or you know, X bio there, Ali. Wonder oh, how he would have felt about squaring off yep. against Sergio Aguero had uh, Sergio not been showered the, uh, earlier. The previous uh, level, level 10, and this time. Colopy the only customer on the button. Minutes. And Warburton, how Did about this anything? for a flop? Nine high, top pair, Last top end. kick. Yeah. Did you have any pair something? I had something, yeah. King. Always concerned about the heart King texture. Queen, Keep the pot good. small. Out of good. position against a great player. Jim Colopy. One of the most accomplished, the most accomplished perhaps at this table as far as bracelets are nice. concerned. Nice. Career earnings exceeding six million. Forty five hundred. Bet and called as the monotone texture extends to the turn. Columby. Just dust here. But taking the betting lead, one that he could certainly have continued with. Instead, he plays it as a check back, and both players playing the board. Pretty poor for Warburton. Seems to be the case, although with the line going bet, check, on turn, and hearts on board, could Warburton turn his hand into a bluff here, Ali? Can easily have check called with some sort of heart, and he is reaching. This is peculiar. We raise pre. We check call post. It goes check, check, turn. And then the lead from Warburton, who is able to prevent going sharesies with Colopy. Yeah, be 
Beautiful stuff out of Stephen Warburton. And brought to my attention, by the way, Warburton, notice the wedding ring on the other hand under the table. You'll get a glimpse. Married to Rachel Warburton, formerly known as Rachel Hennigan. Outstanding job alongside the Party Poker crew and Rob Young just a couple years ago. Go on. Well, that's all I've got. So she used to work for Party? I believe so. Maybe currently still does. Okay. I do not know the present role other than Six wife of Stephen Warburton. Hey, listen, that's a hell of a title. Suited connector as Warburton starts the party once more. Note the suited king has come along and Colopy presented with an opportunity to take a fresh little squeeze with these nines. On? Yeah. Nine There's nine the jam. And I don't think any of these guys are going to be a candidate to continue. Sure enough, nice little pickup. Uncontested scoop. Jimbo up to more than 90,000. Now have you received authorization from Colopy to hit him with Jimbo? I mean, James Colopy officially Jim kind of accepted, but Jimbo, I mean, you know, I have been known, to the house. I have known Jim for a number of years. Okay. Played as Mr. Big Queso online. Okay. Uh, now you just knew him because you're sitting at home watching him no, play, no, no, railing him online. Okay. Battled a lot live right? online. And it just so happened this summer we made a tradition out of picking up our vehicles at the front valet at the horseshoe. Every night, consecutively. Well, I, I what say do you mean? Like, week, I'll see you out front? A week straight. No, we, we just, we happened to be there. The same, we'd be busting tournaments at the same time. And it was our little little running joke. See you tonight at the valet, Jimbo. I oh, said, okay, I mean, Hanksy. It'd be one thing if you guys were both bagging. Then it's a little sometimes bit more predictable. Bagging, sometimes busting. Ah, I see. Just one of those odd occurrences in the universe, Ali. You, you know. synced up your cycles. Yeah. 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 You guys were in the same room a lot. Pheromones. Yeah. yeah. I got it. You get it now. Yeah. It's a thing. King 10 offsuit, apparently a thing as well. Of course, on the button. More of a thing than up front. And we're going to get our first look at... Kevin, ah, I really could go so many ways with this one. You want me to do Mucho? it? Mucho? I'm going to go, I'm gonna go Mucho. Mucho? Yeah. All right. $90,000 in career earnings for Mucho <coughs> from Austria. Flag Germany, of course, but one of these players that has now moved to Austria for tax reasons and purposes to pursue poker. Typically a cash game player by trade. That type of player, by the way, so tough. Just playing deep stack cash all the time. You know they're good. They don't have the resume like these. You have millions of dollars in career tournament earnings, but they play occasionally the biggest buy-ins, and they're always a force at the table. Did uh, did you say something that warranted a response from me just there, Brent? Because I confess, I was deeply distracted for like 15 seconds. 
<laughs> Did I leave you hanging there, buddy? No, no, you didn't, honestly. Okay. Didn't leave me hanging. What are you busy doing, exactly? Are you looking at... What are what you What are you talking about? I'm watching the comments on the YouTube stream. Who is that? What are you talking God, you're an animal. Relax. I don't think anyone really... But Oh, hang on. I think Kevin's going to be heard from once more here. Warburton, the opener with the two fives. Now, given that the raise is coming from earlier position, the ace queen played as a flat. And top pair. The rewards. For Muchal. Warburton looking up the three overs and two Broadway cards. Can we just go with Moo Cow? I think. Now, okay, I see what you've done there. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> I mean, just. Check back from the Ace Queen, by the way. Remains under repped. Smooth. Hoping to get one, maybe two streets of value. Be difficult against pocket fives. Three bed seven point five. <clears throat> oh, Moo Cow, a little milking does get looked up. You're having too much fun with this one. 7,500 called. Now top two. I'm a bit surprised to see the pocket fives carry on, Brent, on that particular board. Where is it that we plan on going? Maybe just maybe this ace on the river is going to leave us sensing an opportunity to turn the two fives into a bluff as we reserve the right to change plans. Yeah, I, I mean, sit back, enjoy the show. Let's see what Warburton has in mind, and he is going to try and use that ace as a range advantage ticket. That's 14-5, and he stepped right into top two. Boy, you know, there are worlds in which the King-10 is out there and played in this manner. Is there not? Brent, I don't know that Ace-Queen can ever get away, but um, just a thought. I, I think you're right. Uh, may have elected to bet flop, could have checked from time to time. Yeah. Simply would've, he would have done exactly this on the turn. But as played, that's why Warburton only just calls with top two. By the way, you never, me, you never enjoy being forced to roll the two fives over. Even from behind the sunglasses, you could tell there was a bit of a head tilt, not unlike whistling at a puppy, will yield from Kevin as he was shown the nickels. Hmm, okay. A couple of nice pickups for the young man. Cash game player by trade, by the way. We've been over this. It's what you ignored. Okay, see, so this is what I'm talking about. Same. I was, you know, I was in the chat streets a little bit. I get distracted. You know, shiny things. The good's here for Jimbo, as you like to call him, Brent. That's right. I don't know that I've got authorization. Not sure we've ever spoken a word to one another, but I'm just using your authority. 5,500 if you do. Yet look up, king, queen. Oftentimes, blocker effects here will embolden 
can go both ways, clearly. Call a play, three bet also on the table, which is exactly what Yedlika has elected to do. And in the event we face a four bet, it's a pretty easy fold. Well, easy fold is what happens to king queen when it's facing a three bet in front of it as opposed to simply the open. Poorly timed for Yetlika here as Kalapi will be heard from. Jam makes things easy for the king queen. You enjoy queso, Ale. Are you talking about the Tex-Mex condiment, sort of a nacho cheese? Yeah, yeah. Whiz sort of thing. A, a real good queso. Where it's got like chunks in it. Little chunks, diced up, you know, peppers, whatnot. I mean, look, I you enjoy queso a little bit more than my GI tract. Enjoys queso. Lactose intolerant? Uh, yeah. Are you? Uh, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Never mm. stop me. Yeah. But just, you know, that's not the kind of thing that I think is naturally occurring. You know, I mean, that is heavily processed. Almost pre-processed in the way at which it just kind of flows right through you. Yeah. You know? But don't get me wrong. Super Bowl Sunday. All house. Oh, wait a Wolfgang has been waiting and waiting. Never had anything to work with, and now less than 10 bigs. It, it almost want to say he's guaranteed action when he moves it in. Yeah, Mr. Sapes' opus perhaps here for not quite Amadeus Mozart, but a Wolfgang nevertheless. There it is. A gentle jam. And a modest one at that. Two kings. Wow. Stone cold deck. And the only good news here for Rizai is that it's just 21-5 in front of safe. This could have been far bloodier. And we can see, obviously, Colopy has one of those kings. So only one out left in the deck. By the way, this doesn't have to be a four bet from Rezai. He could flat and try to invite Colopy into a problematic heads up side. We ever take that line? It's, uh, yeah. I mean, it looks I, I, pretty I, I damn strong you. when we flat, though, doesn't it? I see you. You know, it, it does look strong. I don't know if Colopy would necessarily continue with King Jack off, given the sequences you just described, but well, let's see what Rezai does decide to do. I seem to agree with you, Ali. <clears throat> yeah, the flat soliciting further involvement from Colby, although King Jack off suit, I'm not certain. Wants to plunk another 16 in here. TBD. <laughs> Little sheepish grin, too. Uh, like he knows what's going on. He's clearly aware Wolfgang is it, you know, top end of the range sort of stuff. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. All right, Bills Mafia, Gabe Davis. If you're out there watching. Here comes Wolfgang. <laughs> Note that one king in the bin, perhaps both. For the viewers, kings. come on. For justice. Don't worry. You're ahead, you know that, right? 80% is yours. <laughs> you pull the king? Nervy look, by the way. Whoa. On the rail. 90% is yours. What I believe <laughs> was Wolfgang's girlfriend, Madison there. Madison Blakely, I believe. Jack High Rainbow Board. <laughs> All is safe and sound. Let's get on with it, says Wolfgang. Ooh. That's Wait. <laughs> the only two safe forms of artwork 
The river is the most dangerous. Paid the board a visit. You're good. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> I believe a, a bit of a CR7 celebration there, Cristiano Ronaldo-esque. And there it is, Madison Blakely. She can get down with that. Oh, is he going around? Oh, around the table. I thought he was maybe going to run out there for a little smoochy I know, I know. <laughs> Thank you. You have life. You have a pulse. Here's a moment. Hello. Hello. Now, what is this move, Ali? You, you yeah, know this? <sighs> yeah. CS7? Me, is CR7, by the way? Me and probably the vast majority of the planet beyond the borders of the U.S., Brent would be able to identify that sort of subdued iteration of the celebration when the... Golden boot was awarded to Cristiano Ronaldo once upon a time, I believe. This is for scoring the most goals. That's FIFA great. competition. Yeah. That's that's how we. There you go. Anyway, played soccer at Pepperdine University. Did Wolfgang? So the little celebration, your reference, what you know that I don't know, and the rest of the world knows, makes sense. Meanwhile, heater Wolfgang, two tens. Jack on the butt, prompt fold. Not even so much as a thought, by the way. Out of him. Dusty holding here for the Greek, and he'll pitch it. Again? Ooh. Again? Again? No, not again. No, not again. <laughs> good, though. It's good again. I take that every time. Now we know that you're, you know, you're pulling for your man Wolfgang here from the booth, Indeed, Brent, Ali. which is in bounds. Just considering we know that you pray at the altar of the Buffalo Bills, as apparently so does he. Winds it up, by the way. Different celebration. Careful, young man. Hate to pull a bicep out here. Not sure whether or not the health plan covers the bottom, while you're really? abroad. Yeah. But I appreciate it. Got the healthy stash yeah. cooking too. You see that thing coming in? Healthy's a bit generous. I was, by the I was, way. Ahead I was of working that, that in yeah. sixth grade. So for the record. A mutually beneficial yeah. decision for you to fall there. A, a bit of a sparse down. stash, if I'm being honest. <coughs> Modern. My kind of mustache. You like a sparse stash? Brent, I can relate. Jack. You're actually working a pretty sparse Jack stash, by the way. Yeah. You've got the full. What? It, I shaved this morning, Brent. <laughs> tonight. I'm just realizing what you got working Here's over there. Here's the deal. When we don't have to be on camera, I'm not working. You know, those uh, those Mach 5, what are we on, Mach 9 turbo? Yeah. I don't know what it is. They add up. You break the blades, you know I mean? don't you, buddy? Oh, those blades are no match for this course. I don't know. You're so following uh, fellow Cooter. Hard, Footsteps. Hard, not even close. Hard 8 for Rosario, by the way. Now, there's a thick stash, by the way. A young... <laughs> A young and bold stash, by the way, full beard. Healthy head of hair. Yeah, that's <coughs> deep, deep envy, by the way, from in here for for those moments. Warburton mangling these fours. Flat collar. Uh, 62k. I doubled up aces versus kings. And then, um, a six Hello. four bottom set for Rosias. Somehow he leaps in front of Warburton. The only sort of salvation is the presence, perhaps, of the ace, which is supposed to be in Rosias' range more so. He does have the big stack and maybe a reputation for some mischief. It's all true, Ali. I, you know, Warburton, though, he's the type that likes to scrap 
not done with it. Can be ahead of plenty of hands. You've got some backdoor maneuverability. Four's full on the turn in the six. Not yeah, a card good. that's going to leave mm -hmm. the fives concerned. They were saying that when we this switched hats, they confused weird, production because they were like for associating me again. and him by our hats. And then so when we switched, they, were like, they got all like discombobulated. It doesn't make a great deal of sense, right? With the six on the turn, it seems like maybe you pump the brakes. Warburton could have six five suited, right? And it looks bluffy when Rezai bets here is what I'm getting at. So Warburton could very well be a non-believer if Rezai does in fact come with a, a little bit of fire. There it is. The match struck 20,000 and Warburton doesn't waste any time respecting that second barrel. <clears throat> Chip leader adding to his stack. All right, so we have Armin out on the main feature table stage. We have Daniel here out in the field. Daniel, could you stand up for me for a quick sec, please? We, we won't get involved in whatever yeah. hand is going on right now. We're looking that way, right into that camera. But you can step back closer to me right here. Okay, or we flip it. We flip it. This this works, too. Um, so we're a little bit familiar with you now. You've been involved in the high roller scene. Tell us a little bit about Armin's game. Um, Very similar game, kind of similarly aggressive in mine. Okay. Like, <laughs> like, we started playing poker, like, around the same time. Um, we studied together a lot. So, like, there's... Very big similarities to both our game. He's just like right now starting to play higher and higher. He played a 50k, I didn't here yeah, because I was still in the 3k. But um, yeah, he's going moving up in the stakes very quick in the last year. And hopefully I see him soon playing all the same stops that I do. So along those lines, is it safe to say that you both have the same passion for poker? Yeah, definitely. Like he's playing a bit more online. He has his girlfriend. Okay. He stays in Vienna. I traveled this year like a bunch. Um, but slowly he's following the path and he's traveling more and more. And yeah, I mean, Bahamas is a good stop. He could bring his girlfriend. He also had like million MA Khadib run already. So yeah, good stop to bring your wife or girlfriend and still play poker. And, and finally, what, what does the rest of the family think of y'all and your poker prowess? Uh, they were a bit skeptical about, uh, at the beginning, <laughs> yeah, but sure. obviously every parent is, and nowadays it's fine. They are good, they are good with it. They're sweating it. My dad is texting me every day, hey, are you still in the tournament? How's it going? So awesome. yeah, they're following it up. Love that. Going to send you back to the action Thank so you, you don't miss a hand. I appreciate it, Daniel. Thank Let's you. see if I stay in the tournament. <laughs> okay. He was a brave man, he said, in talking to me. Gus. Also, even Daniel Rezai, by the way, word has come down. He yeah. understands the mm -hmm. potential implications of the doom switch being yeah. flipped once you <laughs> like something's are kind of yeah. <laughs> touched <laughs> by yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. So Platt's interview in as we see a confrontation developing here between <laughs> Yedlika's <laughs> nines and Chow's queens. They deal you, too fast, right? they deal you bullet, don't kill it. Three bets <laughs> called. And this one turns into top set on the driest of boards here. This is so much hand. With 42.5 in the middle, playing 67 effective. Might we be incentivized to check and maybe allow our opponent to find trouble on the turn or maybe a little bit of equity that would cause them to want to sure. pay us added <coughs> Traps fees. can be set here, Ali. You're yep. exactly right. Oh, yeah, there it is. A wrap of the rail. And a card that is, as played, going to be very discouraging for two nines. Don't really see an avenue where Yedlika loses any more chips to Mukau. But these are sick and twisted puppies. You know, they, they do not think like you, me, or really anyone else in well, the chat. But they definitely do think. Brent. That's where it separates them from us, Ali. 
Uh, well, the, the us is a bit rich. Twelve, even the twelve thousand, the price being laid just at this point. Yeah, look, with a little mustard on the muck, by the way. And a little bit of mustard on a defensive Jeff Platt who's yeah. entered the chat streets. Brett, what's your man talking about here? Well, here's the thing. You know, as soon as that interview finished up, he jumped right in here and said, Daniel Rezai told him that he doubled up directly after the interview. You know, I, I, I can't confirm this, but... That's going to make him getting showered a few hands later that much harder to cope with. Yeah, very good point. You also, see what I'm saying? Why the double makes you think maybe the curse is lifted, but, you know. A bit of propaganda as well. Jeff is savvy. He knows he can come in here where everyone's watching and just let everyone know, hey, the curse isn't real. These right. guys are doubling up now. You He's know, sharp. A little bit of a page out of the O'Reilly factor there. <laughs> you know, spin cycle is on uh -huh. by our candidate, Platt. You know, I, I tracked him down. O'Reilly? At the series, Platt. You know, I don't, I don't do a lot of content creating. I'm not Wolfgang out here, as by the way. Orchestral holding here for Rezai, a couple of aces. This King Queen, gonna get munched on. I mean, maybe there's truth to what Jeff is stating. First, Daniel Rezai doubles up, talking about the brother here. Picks up aces this hand. Ali, is Jeff, in fact, a good luck charm? 18,000. I mean, by extension, by sibling proxy, they're not twins. You know, sometimes I've heard about that weird. The universe, Ali, just remember. We've talked about this. <laughs> we have. It's you know, it's it, things connect in weird ways, a lot like you and I. <laughs> that's yeah. <laughs> as we it's an apt way to describe it, Brent. Involuntary we, connections. Yeah. So the, as we sit here holding hands. That we're not doing. <coughs> Everybody relax. And we're not doing king queen either. Says Chow, as he passes six times, over to the left. Happily accepting it is the now quarter million plus stack of Rezai. Next closest stack belongs to Chow. I'm going to go with Chow, by the way. You know, it's, it's Moo Cow. No, it could not be any clearer that it's Moo Cow. Okay, listen. Get an active passport, then come talk to me about all of this, Brent. You understand what I'm saying? Not really. <laughs> Uploader in the chat said, bring back Dr. Cool. Hey, that's Cooter to you, Uploader. And yeah, everybody but, loves Cooter, so but, I, okay. I get it. Well, you know, some people don't. I'm, I'm not among them. I'm just saying. Platt really working the uh, campaign trail, by the way, now, you know, just going hard at the chat. Trying to claim curse reversals. Legitimate here. future in politics, by the way. Jeff, if you wanted to it. take that route. Some of those suits aren't going to work, by the way, Jeff, if you're out there just, you know, for debate purposes. Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't take the stage in, for example, the magenta one. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what, what base you're playing to, but, you know, just for the record. Ace King, by the way, that which is being played by the Greek here. Who's up there? On the big stack side of the spectrum on this leaderboard. And up there in range as well. But the A's five suited solver bait. Uh oh. And yet like uh rips it in here. Unfortunately, he's yep. run into it and the snap has come in. As has a sense of disappointment for Yedlika. Like he did call already, right? I mean, I don't see cards face down, right? Okay. There they are. Moment of panic for me. 
128k pot, bad shape, but a heart in the window and a five. Ouch. To go with it. Now, ace king, the hand that has itself problems. And unamused is Casimates here. Board pairing six on the turn. No clubs to speak of, and only the ace or the king will spell the end for Yedlika. Instead, it's an eight, and he will double in what Tomat one might regard as unjust fashion. This sort, sort of, of, you know, yeah. the dominated ace. But I get it now, Ali. Of course. I get the ace-five suited trick. It just seems to work every time. That's why the kids are doing it. You know, sometimes the adults do it as well. Oh, I know. No, no relax. <laughs> Print this. I watch a lot of it. Do, do you? Don't engage, just watch. I could see you, by the way, you know, we talked about you being registered, <laughs> you know. Just as a voter? No. As a as a neighbor, Brent, just you know, everyone in the hood needs to know you're <coughs> around. Dios mío, man. <laughs> a little bit of luck goes a long way. Yedlika knows it. Anybody who's ever scaled the summit of any big multi-table tournament knows it. Can't simply take the best of it from start to finish. There's gonna be the occasional spot. Or we sheepishly haul one in. Sheep. He's king suited. The offsuit variety cost a man some chips just moments ago. This one, too, is currently behind. 18. 18. Three scoops over the top of Webster, who has just 70K back. 12 more for him to call. Well, oh, hang on. Wolfgang, pocket fives, I don't think. This would be pretty bad. Yeah, there you are. Cash game player, he can't help himself sometimes. <clears throat> I don't think that one was as tempting as you think, you know. Maybe last hour at the club under the cover of darkness with a, a deeply intermittent strobe light, you can get down with the fives in this spot. But I get it. Oh, the strobe. Let's see if Webster <coughs> pumps it in. Maybe just call. See a, a clean flop. Yeah, you know it's conservative, but there are problematic boards out there. Anytime that overcard kind of ace king queen range presents itself. We're left playing the guessing game. Zing He is unable <coughs> to hop in front nor find a club on the Jack 9 5 board where Webster's pre flop flat is followed up upon. Maybe eliminating pretty much all jacks unless you're up against exactly pocket jacks. Yeah. Against this particular opponent, probably a lot of queens plus, ace queen suited, ace king. <coughs> Tales are being told into 43-5. <coughs> Comes 12. who picks up a gutter on the turn. Spainless kit in both seats. That got weird for a second. Optical illusion whereby the 
floral arrangement in the background was merging with Zing He's hair. Couldn't quite tell where one ended and the other began. Anyway, poker in progress. Check back. River coming. Blank. You see what I'm saying? Okay, there we go. Thank you, cameraman, for creating some distinction. They're always listening at our service. Whatever you want, <coughs> Ali. Let's not go that route. Brand things can, you know. Hold on, let me just get back over here in my chair. Okay. <laughs> Webster, one last check. This ace king could maybe have some showdown value from time to time against specifically something like king queen. But I check back and we are shown the two tens. And I don't think Zing was in love with this development. Webster, steady Eddie. Not sure. Put his tournament life at risk. Started the hand with 70,000, just a notch above 20 bigs. That was really beautiful. I got to tell you, the amount of poise that Webster has is remarkable. He's such just a pleasant young man to have around. Unpleasant in terms of you trying to work your way to a title and he's at your FT. But just uh, kind of salt of the earth, if you will. Generally not how one describes a man with, you know, the two carat single stud in the lobe. But you get where I'm coming from. All right, he. Back to back involvement. Might we be able to suture that which was left behind by Ace King suited, courtesy of these two jacks? Patrons as yet unavailable. Oh. Might be able to get a little bit back now on a Webster. Defends 9 3 suited, facing the min raise. Courtesy call given the price. This is absolute air ball for Webster and not exactly what he wants to look up at in three. terms of no heart, three. two overs. Put the little 3K sprinkle and he will claw back some of those chips that he passed along. Moments ago, we talked about the 55 caches at the World Series for Zing He, circuit winner two times over. Split test time between Canada and China. Specifically focuses on online MTTs. So this is really just a, a live iteration of much of what he does <coughs> regularly. Plays under the screen name MAI underscore K underscore four underscore life. My K for life. I wonder what that's about. I don't think he's referring to King 4 being his favorite hand. Maybe my first initial of the last name K is his girlfriend, wife. I don't know. Could be a license plate as well. Make it, you know, doubtful. What is M A I? Uh, what is my spell? I mean, my it's a first reading, name. Yeah. I mean, uh, but I don't know. Yeah. Colopy. That's the Ace Ten, courtesy of a sixty-five hundred open. Glad we gave that so much thought. You know, there there are voids to be filled in here, uh, for better or for worse. Might need a bottle of that wild turkey after all, Ali. Not it. We know it. One of the Germans in the six mix still. Who left? It's an Austrian. Yeah, which one? Uh, uh, Fabian. Suited oh, one yeah. gapter for yes. Warburton. He's in the good far room. The only yeah. taker. Because I knew there were 
Drops himself bottom pair, ace high board though, should be call a piece yeah, with some frequency. Though he hasn't improved. He does have opportunities to try to take it. Check to him, many barrels. And he was ship leading. There's two left next prize. Oh, two left. 160 I think five left he was ship leading. Seven on the turn and all of a sudden Warburton goes from wondering where he's at to feeling very much like he knows exactly where he's at. And that would be in good shape against the larger Ace-X sort of kit, which Colby might be inclined to continue to represent here. Let's see. No. Four-finger flick. Signifying a desire to see the river, which fills up Warburton. I like this Warburton with this hat on, specifically this posture. Looks like a young TJ Cloutier. Warburton looks like there's a 10% chance he's 11 or 12 years old, by the way, just yeah, non-zero. Could also just be, you know, in his 90s and just in great shape. I'm just saying, I, I <laughs> it's just a weird, kind of age ambiguous anyway I digress all love we get a little cheeky in the booth from time to time it's nothing personal <clears throat> what is the little next to what's that He's got something there by his chips. You see that? What are you talking about? He just slid it there next to his chips. He slides oh, it. Oh, right. Like next he, to the red stack back yeah. there? Yeah. A little figurine. Yeah, but what exactly? These are the hard-hitting questions, by the way. We're like journalists almost in here. That's a bit rich. Could be a shell casing from World War II. Just, just listen, the wounds are a little bit fresh for some of our veterans. Uh, just, you know, relax with the World War II. There's still some surviving participants, if I'm not mistaken. Well, none of, not none of whom, shot. by the way, arrived at Normandy. Boy, that was a little bit of a bloodbath. Oh. It's not too soon. We can talk about it. No. Yeah. You don't want to be on the first wave of boats. Take it down, Webster. Ich das denn gerechnet? Von 700 up entries, 15 Prozent sind 99 Spieler passen. Ja. Uh, Bis 106 oder so. Yeah, somehow Look what you've done, Brent. You talked about World War II. I Next thing like I know, there's a little bit of German being spoken yeah. here at the final table. It's this is your this, fault. Yeah. All these ways to kind of get to the guarantee. Yeah. It's the universe, mm. only. It's the Axis powers mm. is actually what it is. Okay. I mean, maybe just, I'm missing you know. something, but. These are more modern I feel like they didn't representatives of for the 15 percent they didn't count in the, the Deutschland which is always the case right mm. so is that a Lilo and stitch situation on Wolfgang stack some sort of Disney movie. I think I've got it right. I don't, you know, you got the kids. I don't. Never really been a big card protector uh, figurine guy at the table. I think I, I spied a glimpse of lower left there on top of the, of yellow the stack. I think a it's a bottle of sand. It's either that or it's a very old nugget from uh, maybe Rezai's wheat farm. Okay. I, it, it looks like it's 
well past its born on date, if that's the case. Could be some of that gold reefer, the Bahamian special. Didn't know you were a connoisseur, Brent, but all right. Jack 8 4, as attention is turned to the poker, albeit briefly. It's going to be tough for us to talk about this pot, guys, unless we're going to see some hole cards, maybe some action. Help us out, you know. I believe the Greek checked after defending the big. Colopy, the opener from up front, following through. Did we see the flop? What's going on out here? I That doesn't matter, Ali. I mean, look, you, it certainly does matter. We've got consequential exchanges here. Day 1A that will be played down to the money, much like all of the other day ones that are to follow. So, you know, like to be able to speculate. It does oh. seem as though there's a large pot being played. By the way, pot illegal in the Bahamas, so I'm just going to go with Bottle of Sand for Warburton. Thank you, Cutlass. 4-8 Jack on ah. the flop, Queen on the turn, and how about this? Colopy with two overs and the heart draw, always feeling good about it. Little did he know that he had been outflopped by the King Jack, which has now been outturned. Courtesy of the Queen of Clubs, 40K plus in the middle. He may have nodded off. What's that? <laughs> oh, me? <laughs> well, no, no. Yeah. I want a five-second shot clock with five-second time banks. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Kasimatis with the check. Halabi can very comfortably barrel at this. Very comfortable, in fact. Redraw yeah. in case of emergency. So comfortable he's sleeping. He's awake. Reach. That's a great fault. Positions, of course, Calopy was under the gun. I mean, uh, you're going to miss time. Listen, that is a great fold. I yeah. I think I might have to see the river and, and find out whether or not a third barrel is in the opposition. Yeah. It's really nice. Well done. Call would be too understandable with the extremely long decision to make on the turn. Huge hand, as we could see, but 9-10 was present. Have you spied a glimpse, by the way, at this kind of... Uh, I want to say wolf-like creature. Wolf gang? Fox-like creature. No, on on the uh, on Colopy's shirt. Is it a badger? I don't think it's a badger. Wolverine? I know we were getting at Wisconsin colors. Not a wolverine either. Maybe we'll get another peek at it here. He's in the big. Action will come back around, but... The diaper into the waste basket. You ever change the diaper? Never. You're going to go your whole life never changing a diaper? Hope so. Even if I do have kids, by the way, hope so. Just, you know. Non zero, I got a few roaming around out there. Timing's not always great. Warburton, King Deuce, left brain activity, Casimatis folded the King Jack on the turn moments ago after defending 
on the flop correctly, mind you. Now playing the a7 offsuit as a flat. There's a look, by the way, at that fox. Looks to me like what Excuse happens me? if you crossbreed a strawberry and a coyote. Ah. Just the seeds. Anyway, Can they mate? Don't think so, but you know, modern science. Jack 10 3, and how about this? The a7 picking up the nut flush draw. A lot more than we can say for King High with no diamond. Burton. Desperation here. Praying this 7K earns him the pot as we know. I don't that think is not the in his future. Of prayer is going to make a difference in this hand, Ali. No, sir. <clears throat> Seizing initiative. His Casimides doesn't want to take the passive line this time around. Check 3x, take it, sir. We welcome you Jeffrey Muncy yeah. to the chat here. Do we? Channel, yeah. Why do we do that? Well, are you not familiar with Muncy at the World Series Four. of Poker? Four. Yeah. Tends all of them, kind of lingers around the tables. Is Kelly Minkins, number one fan for still my people. Okay. Anyway. We are also going to have a color -up. Here for Wolfgang, has a hard time with the name we see on screen, just calls him Wolfgang. You don't know months. Huh? Okay. okay. Cool. Nah, man. Well. Our TV show got canceled. Also, we're going to a new table later? They're going to the next season. This one didn't have enough drama. <laughs> 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 Listen, as self-indulgent as we can be here in the booth and pray for kind of wild, insane collisions, big action, sort of pots. By the way, Muncie, I recognize the face, not the name. You're a car guy. I mean, I'm showing you the Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Wish you hadn't shown me that. Warburton, Queen Jack suited. Making it 6,000 to go. Point that I was going to make, by the way, is the guys were saying we're not exciting enough. That's why once we hit the break, feature table is going to change. It is normal to cycle through feature tables, in part because obviously there are advantages to be gained by others, courtesy of being able to observe our whole, our whole cards for extended periods of time. Yeah. Also, you know, the lights can be a little bit bright. Not everybody's cup of tea out there. Some maybe like them. Others don't. And then lastly, you know, these guys, I encourage them to do what they would otherwise do as we see top pair for Warburton. Better than the ace high of Colopy, which checks as opposed to, you know, at times I've seen some people and some lines and wondered, is this for the cameras, you know? And while we appreciate it, I think play your game as if you weren't on a featured table. Pay no mind to the fact that we're here flies on a wall. I don't want any liability for somebody just doing something in the spirit of entertainment and ending up showered. Do you oftentimes blame yourself when that happens? Almost never. In, in fact, I, I lean closer than ever. Brent. Yeah. I'm not out there flipping the switches. I will tell you this. What's when that? When we return from break. Yeah. Which is coming up in just a couple of moments. We will have the main event defending champion Daniel Weinman Ooh. joining us at the feature table as All well right. as... Game of Gold's very own and WSB main event runner-up, David Williams, joining the I feature. like it. I like it. Zing He. There have been some preflop holdings that he thought I like. 
and didn't end up profiting with them. Pocket tens on this occasion, picking up queen jack off suit. Now all of a sudden, Wolfgang ace five suited small blind, squeezable. Yeah, you're right. As played, he underrepped with the two tens. Could be a problem. Yeah. It felt as though we get a count. This could be the moment, and I think we're going to see five. I mean, it is a lot more. Forty-one thousand. Zing he. Unenviable situation here, Brent. All in. He is going to move all in, however, and that will obviously eviscerate Queen Jack. And so we are racing. Two to one favorite is Zing He, and obviously all million of Wolfgang's fans, subscribers on YouTube, channeling their energy towards spades or an ace. Got to win your flips. Got a spade blocker there. Oh my god, yeah. Didn't even see that. 106 in the middle. Oh, that's a good and board. a 10 in the window as the ace Ouch. did manage to work its nice way to the flop, board. Nice flop. He's still alive. Runner, runner. <laughs> Thank you for rooting for me. <laughs> What's the next trick? The backpack. I gotta be halfway out the door, right? Or a five needed Busquet, to draw alive. Busquet, uh, have made it in, a, in an EPT. That's going to do it. Good game, guys. Deuce Not on the time, turn. We're done with the yep. feature table. And finally, I won a hand. I mean, getting Wolfgang. Thank you, thank you. Has the curtain drawn on him here, Brent? Sorry to see him go, you know, but at least he busted in time for the Bills game tomorrow against the Chiefs. I'm sure that's what he's thinking about. Gotta be. He's a one ahead of Wolfgang, of course, can also re enter, whether it's today or any of the remaining day one flights. These are all good points. As the racks are distributed. And we step away. Yet again, for a quick break, but we will return to Paradise with more coverage of Day 1A in just a few. The maybe skew one into Three thinking that the holding is dustier than it is. 3.2, the open king, eight suited. Smilko's one of these guys that for chips might be looking at this spot and thinking to himself, I'm the shorty, 23-5. You're right. He's okay. going to just call. Yeah. Defend out of the big blind. You Fair. knew the muck wasn't in his future. Never. He's in a bad well, way. Well, 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 right? Two fives, two spades, and a four. Advantage Muller. 7.7 .7 in there. Not done with it, LA. Just a, a non believer right now. Comes along for the ride. No heart on board. A little surprised at this peel.
Buy Smilkovich. I Brent. just think it's more about King 8 can be the best hand. Yeah, but is King 8 going to be given a free path to showdown? Pending texture on turns, maybe. We also are prepared to possibly call once more. And again, for our tournament life, again, given the run out. But look at this. Muller has such a big hand in this spot. In position now. Schmelko checks it back. There it is. He just thinks that the King 8 is good enough to get the showdown. This card is a problem. Note, by the way, Muller's willingness to check back that turn with so much strength. The wheel gutty, the nut flush draw, the ace king high could earn him a payoff in 11.3 on this river or so. induce a barrel out of Smilko as a block trying to get to showdown. Let's see. Well, Schmilko's in the big blind, so it'll be Muller acting first, and he may very well just bet ace high for value as played, hoping to get called by exactly a king or queen type high holding. Yeah, my bad, Smilko in position, not going to be block betting, but who knows, Muller could also play it to induce. I'm not sure that's the more optimal path. I think we induce. He's he's gonna try and hunt for value. Yeah. With Ace high. He just might get it too. Boy, this is so tough as played. Three point seven. Just look at the sizing. Absolutely bang on perfect to maybe get this king high to pay off. Which it does. And Smilko gets shown the ace high. That one never feels good. And one of these three will be claiming a bracelet as well as a whopping $2.7 million. Smilko, King 9, jams it. Brandon makes the call, and he's in front. Oh, shit. Boy, how about this for a moment in Our Frank Brannon's career? This guy's not here. Thanks. Almost half a million. The difference between third and second. <clears throat> Smilkovic has been in spots such as this already on so many occasions in his career. But you know that for Frank, this is something a little bit more special. Comes Jack 10 5. The ace high still in front. King high straight gut shot for Smilko. 10 immediate outs. 28.3 in the middle. The German needs help. And it isn't placed on the turn. One pull. Deuce. Such a big moment for both of these guys here in this GG Millions high roller, and one that is going to favor Frank Brennan, securing a half a million dollar pay jump as Daniel Smilkovich. The prophecy might come true. <laughs> out in third. Yes, we said. Earlier this year. Premium. 2.8. For the chip later. Boy, I'll tell you what. Eight. Muller's already going to be a tough. All in. Glitch in the matrix. As we see that moment play out not once but twice, and on both occasions it's going to be one that leaves and Brandon King King with an upset stomach and a difficult proposition. 65.7 million chip pot and Frank yeah. Brennan's hopes yeah. for a second World Series of Poker bracelet. Actually, King Queen's due to win. I just realized that. Looking grim. Three to one dog. Muller. Stranglehold on this one, Pre. Heart. Woo! Well, how about oh, this? Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Nah, it's over. Oh, baby! Me. No need to explain the propositions. Me. 11 outs for Brandon. Zero chance. All the queens. All the hearts. And there is a heart! 
Just like Let's that. Go! Let's go! Ace King gonna draw dead. Let's go! As the bracelet slips out of reach. And again, Muller somehow manages to dominate Brandon's pre-flop holdings. Minray's open. Defense. King, 10, deuce. Top pair for Muller. Air for Brandon. One point nine. Stepping into it is Frankie. How does Muller proceed? We've seen a check raise already with top pair. This time, going to mix it up and just flick in the call. up to 10.3 and might this ace land Brannon in a bit of trouble it's tempting faced with a second check here to try to rep this upper crust Four point five? Yep. That's just what he does with eight high. Believes he's targeting a ten, maybe a deuce. Boy, I don't want to be staring across the felt at that. This is a disarming pair of eyes on Muller that just seem to be decrypting one's every move. Makes the call. Would imagine it's very difficult now for Brandon to continue. Horrible card. You get called on the turn. You're asking a lot. Well, I don't think he's worried. I don't think he's worried about being up against a deuce, nor do I think Muller is worried in turn about the same. So if we discount that, now the exercise becomes can I credibly rep the ace? 15 million? Oh my! Whoa. Let's find out. He can. Wow. And that is so deflating. And you can see that one took a toll on Frank, not just in terms of losing a 50 million chip pot, but... That was crazy. I was keeping my eyes open. I started, I started tearing just now. We're playing heads up. 25 hand levels. Yeah. And both players have 33 bigs apiece. From this point forward, what would be your estimation chronologically without you know knowing anything else about how long that match would go on? Given this playing style, can I no, use that? No, but that's that? the thing. I can't I'm saying use without that in context. Yes. Yeah, uh, then less than 45 minutes. Wow. Okay. As long as two and a half hours. But now that we know some things about the match. Right. The limping. 32 to 34 Eileen, hours. Somewhere in between. The, yeah, yeah. You know, it's sometime next week, Ali. Ace, A seven. Brandon. Far the better of it here. This one was taken upstairs by Muller, by the way. Yeah, it goes right to that scary yeah. cellar. Storytelling. His victims. I understand what's happening. Well, it's not going to get through for the time being. And remember, we have seen a number of check raises from Brannon. King, King, three. He had ace three. That was one of note, as I recall. Spots such as this. But we 
We've got mouth breathing towels, I believe. Oh, fuck so. It's heavy. I don't know if it's a tell. He's been balanced, you know. Meanwhile, no cause for concern on the turn as the Jack-7. Did check all two and a half million on the flop. Now checks again on the turn. 16 million in the middle. Is Muller going to go hard or is he going to retreat? Oh, he's reaching, Ali. He's hoping to punish a non paired hand and even make a seven rather uncomfortable. Rolling down the street in that hoopty. 15 milli is beefy and infrequent, dare I say. We've seen some overbets, but this one, full pot. And now the guessing game begins. For Brandon, of course, the problem is if we call this 15 million, bring the pot to 46. We now sit with sub one SPR, and we know that Muller oh. could very easily ask for the rest on the end. And Ace X is very much some of what Muller would have opened this button with. So you see his eyes darting around. King on the river. And for Muller, you have to imagine he believes he's up against Ace X or a seven. I believe all the King high type holdings would have folded on the turn. Will he pull the trigger? No. Shuts it down and passes a very beefy 46 mil over to Brannon. Two kings. Could it be an opportunity to get back in? Not limping this one. No, let's play for some more, sir. Four and a half if you do. Suited combos, like to defend. Ten five deuce. Brandon, backdoor spades. Some running straight aspirations, but all of it requires tremendous optimism Optimism, rather, in this 11 million chip pot. There is, of course, potential to want to continue to later streets, and it's indicative of the sizing here out of Muller. 2.5, that opens the door, Ali. Yeah, this is sizing designed to retain exactly this sort of hand, by the way. On most occasions, Dare I say that Brandon has declined these sorts of invitations and eight million. Uh -huh. On this occasion, he is going to play back, and this is ill-fated. The check raise to eight, and will Muller try to allow Brandon to torch off by flatting? Get our answer. As he does just that. Pot grows oh to boy. 27 million, and this is a problem for Brannon, who may think he's just hit gin. When you get called, you think diamond draw? You think 10x? When you certainly you, think the jack is good. When you make the top pair in this spot, it you said it is the gin card outside of turning a, a massive combo draw fourteen million just north of half pot here on this turn and now with 
some draws present, granted as played, one isn't certain how much of the draw part of the range is what Brandon's working with here. Might we see Muller speak up? Not compulsory. Going to use a time bank. This is a rare line being taken. Oh, Muller just plays it as a jam. And Brandon makes the call. Yeah, fuck, bad turn. The expletives rain down. Muller, poised to haul in almost a hundred mil. I thought I banked it. Can you see? Israel, loving it. Anti-sweating the jack or four. Brandon already got lucky once with King Queen against Ace King. Not going to happen this time as Team Muller erupts. Documenting an absolutely pivotal moment that sends him back into the chip lead and not by a thin margin. How close he is to this bracelet. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Brandon's not going to roll over here. Queen 10 suited, armed. Gusto. All in. Gonna rip it. Oh, oh and two gosh. kings. Muller has woken up with the Cowboys once more. <laughs> and Brandon thinking, why do I have to run into it? It's gonna take a real cooler. The bracelet feels like it's inching ever closer to the young Austrian. And now with King's full on the flop, it's going to take running royal or straight flush. Virtually impossible. Brennan already anointing Muller the champ as the board runs out promptly and the rail rejoices. 2.7 million and a first bracelet for Samuel Muller. Welcome back to Atlantis. I'm not talking about King Neptune's underwater kingdom, but rather the resort here on Paradise Island in the Bahamas playing host to the World Series of Poker. Main event is upon us, day 1A, as well as a new feature table, Ali, Brent, and Jeff. Here to bring you through the home stretch, there's a look at the faces, and that one should be the most familiar to all of you. Why? Need I remind you? $12 million winner of the main event in Vegas. Trying his luck here, as is David Williams. Fresh off his game of gold run. At least in terms of the air dates, not necessarily the actual filming which took place in South Korea about a year ago. And here is who they are joined by. Williams, 112,000. There he is, second shortest stack at the table. Weinman up toward the top and high roller, Pedro Garagnani of the Brazilian delegation. Out here doing his thing. 498,000 for Weinman as we pick up the action here on the river. Nine. Second pair Nine. on the flop remains that way here. The whole way down is Weinman flicked in five, which in spite of the spades and four to a flush, or three to a flush rather out there, got called by Rui Souza. 981,000 in career live tournament earnings for the Portuguese pro player, number 14 on that nation's all-time money list. 
Likes to do damage over in Barcelona at the EPT. Deep runs there. Biggest career score coming courtesy of a third in a main event out that way. Does a lot of work online. Ali, by my count and looking at what is posted online, I believe Weinman is the outright chip leader of the main event right here. Nine. I'll tell you what, something to be said for a head of steam. <laughs> Garagnani, not a shabby stack in front of him. Not a shabby hand either as the ace-king activates. Ace-three suited now for Ethan Cook from Sandy, Utah. Yeah. I like this guy. He's got $4,400 in career earnings, does Ethan Cook. It, nice. He's reached two final tables ever. Both were at the win. I mean, this is, we talk about this over and over again, but actual poker dreams coming true, playing in this massive main event feature table here at Paradise. <coughs> Jeffrey Cormier has woken up with ace-king behind the open end, the three bet. You know, Cook employing one of these ideas which have come into favor of late the ace king however nothing recent about the affinity those two cards create in the hearts of their shepherds four bets to seventy-five thousand. absolutely deflating developments behind cook for garagnani however let's see Note, by the way, the deep cut on the undershirt. Is that don't, a wife beater? I, I don't know that I would call it that. He looks like he's ready to go bowling, maybe. All in. Six rays in. Or sailing, as the case may be. Jam comes in, cooked, is cooked. Out of there, and now back over to Cormier. The range is oh so narrow for Garagnani, and specifically Ace-King exactly is what we hope to be up against. It's Aces and the Kings that we worry about, though, Brent. I don't think Queens approach the party in this way. You know, the five-bet frequency is quite narrow. You're exactly right. This is the bottom of it, I believe, for Garagnani. Tough spot for Cormier, the Canadian. Does make the call though, and will be pleased. And it's another ace king, which greets him. Diamond coverage for Cormier, that'll yield a 1% <laughs> edge. I don't know about that. Oh shit. <laughs> no, no blood, no blood. Nope. Chop, chop. All in, I call. Ace King, Ace King. Nice call. So inconsequential turn and River on the heels of that flop, and Garagnani will carve one up with Cormier. Cormier, by the way, Jeffrey, 628,000 in career live tournament earnings for him. Professional poker player from Moncton, Canada. Is that near Montreal, Ali? Don't know, but if it is, I suspect French accents. Says he has deep runs over at the Playground Poker Club. Right. And that is in Montreal, so. It's clean, you hit it. No nope. guess. Oh. Cormier, you know, Cormier. It's a, uh, that's Frenchy, so. Cool. Yeah. I would say proximity to Montreal rates to be a reality. <laughs> Another premium for Cormier. The ladies. Nine raise nine. One pass. 
Opens to 9,000 here as we play 2 and 4K. A seven for Tiago Franco. He'll defend. And this is not the board that he had in mind. Member of the Brazilian delegation, which is rolling deep here, courtesy of several online saddies and obviously a robust affinity for the game that is entrenched in the largest of South American nations. Brazilians can play ball. Back in my day, Ali, they were the biggest punters on the planet. Now, they're all really good. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with the Brazilians, by the way, whether it's in jiu-jitsu or poker. Franco, the head coach <sighs> of the New Edge poker team. This team, team learning methodology in which players support those who are less experienced. <laughs> Love that. See that? No. You know, there can be a lot of arrogant sort of unwelcoming attitudes yeah, toward newer players, but <laughs> they took you know, think stuff. back, all of us. I don't remember by the time we're out of here. You know, there was a first time. All right, out here in the field at the main, and we have spotted one of our favorites. It's Gigi Poker Ambassador Felipe Ramos. Stand up for me for a quick sec, please, my friend. Join me over here. How's Paradise treating you so far? I mean, I love this place. Yeah. You know, swim to the beach early, do some exercise, swim, get some sun. The weather is amazing. Yeah and play some poker. You are, you are just living the dream. I saw you yesterday in the hotel. You've got another big stop planned for next month. I believe we have a series that comes to Brazil. What's, what's the level of passion for poker like there and how has that developed over the last couple years? Man, I feel that uh, if people go to Brazil right now, they'll feel like uh, so much passion, like they were starting in poker, you yeah. know? So everybody that comes down, they really love it. So we're hosting uh, with Gigi the largest series in South America in history. It's like gonna be a blast, first 100K ever. Like a lot of low buys, big guarantees. You can qualify on Gigi Poker nice. pretty much every day. So uh, I think that's a big party for us, uh, spreading poker around the country. We're very new to poker as well. Yeah. But despite of having the best players nowadays, yeah. you know? So we learn quick. And you guys are an absolute blast to watch. Let me send you back to the action so you don't miss a hand, all right? Always a pleasure. Thank you, Felipe. Thank You're you the best. Much. Guys. Like three hours besides like button Thank steals. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Felipe, such a tremendous ambassador to respect. the Brazilians. Hey, Is it okay poker in buy? general. As we come back to more incendiary events here at uh, the good, feature, <laughs> Cormier, the party started with the ace five suited out of the way quite easily in the face of a three bet and a jam. Behind, it was the ace 10 suited for Mr. Barban, Doran Barban. Just a thousand dollars in change in career tournament earnings, a contractor by trade, recreational poker player, but nothing wrong with the three bet from the button. But 83,000 behind, 72 of it needed in total. Barban traveled from Romania, qualifying through an online satellite on GG Poker. $50 buy-in. Love to see it. Essentially how he made his way here. No direct flights from Bucharest, by the way. If he can go, this and see what I do. <laughs> they give you that or you have that your own? No, I have, I had brought it. I'm very sensitive to temperature changes you know, and the lights. I got to tell you, that would be on my mind, by the way, in terms of whether or not I want to call with Ace 10 suited. If I got to connect in a couple Let's cities see. on the way home, if I get showered, well, he is the covering stack, but, you know, less apt to make the call. Rather keep playing. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. fair, Ali. Not to be overlooked, by the way, Dominic Osbach. Yeah, what do you have jam. on him? I got a completely blank <laughs> bio board. Yeah. 
Oh, here we go. Ooh, the coming online guy. Does get made by Barban with the Ace 10 suited. Osbach in great shape. Long We've time, seen baby. dominated aces. Ridden to glory. You see the nerviness on the face of Osbach given that he's covered. Ace 10. Right in his eye, too. That's for sure. got here. I was ready for it. There's no ace. Oh. Queen seven. Deuce. No heart on the board. Calls for a 10. Nine on the turn. <clears throat> In the neighborhood. But it, it is just three outs. One time. Otherwise, Osbach will double and leave Barbon with 36K. Clean. And met with the approval of Mr. Osbach. You would have blew me off. Uh, paper plays? He tried to help me, though. Saw a little cashish on the rail. Yeah, he's got the hundo sitting on the rail. I think that was for the dealer in case they managed to work a 10 on the board. Yeah, congrats. <laughs> Ace King is the hand to have here. No, by the way, the chat expressing some deep concerns for Felipe Ramos as Sorry about he was paid Sorry a visit by the by Reaper. Platt, yeah. You know, just saying. I did want to point out as we jump back into that You're action coming out of the two levels here. You once again buried Jeff. Playing, playing down to 99. Huh? I mean just playing buried. down to 99, people. Oh. No, he's no asking how long we're at the feature table until they get bored and say we want a you new one. You did. Yeah. We, we, it's on me as well. Unless something good forms out there. You but as like the veteran in the field, Ali, perhaps the right most out of here. experience play-by-play -play. ever. Yeah, well, see, here's the thing that you need to know is that under the auspices of accidental, veteran moves such as clipping the wings of, you know, prospective future displacers, such as Jeff Platt, that's a bit of a power play alpha sort of booth behavior. No, I, I kid. Nothing, Meanwhile, nothing funny though about the Garagnani queens versus tens here. Cook, who donated twenty five thousand to the cause a hand to go. Here with the two tens, has himself in a spot where perhaps yet again he's going to be able to escape. D unclear. What is happening? Barbon, thirty six, just what the doctor ordered. Two aces. The jam could certainly. Okay be delivered, there it is. Now let's see how Garagnani seeks to respond. Will he try to shut Cook out or flat and then Doesn't Cook must out. proceed for the extra 11,000 and then play a dry side? A conda, big table. Yeah, it's still Huge. big. Really big. She's every, every hand I feel bad. Small girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get Lurch in the box. <laughs> Wimbayama. <laughs> this is a bit of a tactical spot here, one that I'm sure Garagnani's crunching in terms of whether or not he would oh, like yeah. a table for two, and he decides yes, the jam. I don't know. You see Cook is like, what yeah, is going on sick. out here, man? Am I really going to get it's disinvited? Bring up here. <laughs> no, I was talking to Daniel. <laughs> he is sick. Repping Maverick Gaming. Shout out Eric Person. They thought we were going to put on a show. <laughs> Three out of five hands. Someone all in. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> it involves neither of us. Obviously, the prospects of a better than double here are alluring, but the two tens not quite as alluring in the face of this action. Barbon could look steamy. <sighs> Garagnani could look like an isolationist. But Let's see him, boys. The third place hand does go into the bin, and Ladies, Garagnani will find himself aces. just get the aces right after the aces torched. Game. It's beautiful. 
only good news, of course, is that Barbon is short. Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Ren Lin. <laughs> Homage. It's calls for the Lady Gaga from the Brazilian here. Oh, nice. An 107,000 chip pot that needs to go the Romanian's way for him to be spared an exit. Aces. Ace. Holding. <laughs> Ace of diamonds. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> diamonds. I don't think you want to ace. Sweat. Ten of diamonds? Oh no. No straight outs. King of spades. Nice barbon. Places a firm thumb. Get in. And How much is it? Clean river. Never easy. It's easy. Never, never. easy. Chips to spare does Garniani from Brazil. Nice ten. <clears throat> Made by Tremendous Steph. player, as you pointed out, Ali. 2.8 million but in was, career wasn't earnings. Easy. But <laughs> it's never easy. Perhaps what stands out the I most. I talked to Daniel. Not sure. Daniel. Always it's easy. Too. They just bomb it into you. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was amazing. His favorite band is Pink Floyd. And he it's just saw the lead singer table, right? Roger Waters yes, yes. before yeah, right. coming but to the Bahamas. When you have now, I imagine that means... <laughs> A concert, yes, or perhaps <laughs> they had dinner together. I, I don't know. I, I'm going to lean concert, yeah. Brent. You know. It's for the show. <coughs> oh, yeah. <Sam. laughs> they took out all the deuces through eights up here. By the way, prior to playing poker, guys. I'm the watching the graciously. fourth quarter of the NBA game. And they brought us up here. I have no idea. <laughs> Sends so the double brutal. over to Barbon. I was excited to see that. It was a social worker in Curitiba. Save battery because I didn't want to run out of battery in the middle. I was like, I'll just watch the end of the fourth quarter. Out yeah. in Brazil. And while it's a noble exercise, still Pedro. The tournament or is that over? Finals. Oh, really? Recognize there was Lakers no future in the field and then transition the to the third. Poker. Love that. Keep it real. He's like, I'm about that paper, son. The final. You guys are going to have to find someone else to do God's work. Yeah, Meanwhile, Queen 10 4, right Rainbow. Lakers and Pacers. Both Garniani won six involved in the here to the too. tune of bottom pair after defending the big against his countryman, Franco. And both went 7 0. 3 bet 8. No, 6 0, yeah. 4 0 in the group, and then win win. C bet of 8,000. Third pot, exactly. this. Garniani a little flat. You going to Vegas? No chance. <coughs> it's a sick tournament. It is. I don't know. I'm ready to go home and relax for a bit. Been too hard out here in the Bahamas, huh? Stressed out. <laughs> it's rough. I need to go home and relax. <laughs> I feel you, bro. <laughs> Because it's the Christmas, I think. Working hard out here, huh? Yeah. It's the Christmas, so oh, we want to stay with the family. Yeah, exactly. Second but check from Pedro. Franco, second barrel. And you're starting to get I'm not sure. a Finish glimpse the 21st. at what you had alluded to, Brent. So kind of the busy. blasty nature of some of the Brazilian I delegation. I don't home, so like yeah. was bullied off of this one. Wow. Really tough. I guess I'll just, you know, Felipe Ramos mentioned this. <laughs> the Brazilians have become some of the toughest poker players on the planet, so, especially when it comes to tournament play. That was a great example. Of it. That it was. Well, how about it? Tenth bracelet earlier for Eric Seidel, 1.7 million. And the quote, it's weird being considered an expert. It's something that confuses me every single day. Modest and honest. He has achieved 45 million plus in career tournament earnings, courtesy of his 32nd live win, fourth best cash. Earlier, I suggested that the image of him hoisting a bracelet is one that spans three decades. Chat, by the way, apologies for not being able to identify he or she who supplied us with the thought, but it's actually five decades across which it spans. Danglers on either side in the 2020s. And 
you know, the yeah, 70s, but... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Keep it clean. Happy to win with the tenth bracelet. That you know, that impression was so good that I actually had no idea because I wasn't <laughs> staring at you in that oh, moment that it was you yeah. that was and delivering it. to your it. collection. <gasps> That's a little. I already scary. got hold them. I need something new. You have stud, right? Yeah. Uh. By the way, David Williams was chatting with Dan Wyman as that last pop played out, asking whether or not Wyman would be headed to Vegas, as so many will be. Double dipping between the World Series and then that which is taking place out <laughs> here at the win. So many families going to be missing out on Christmas presents, and yet others will have the greatest... Holiday Christmas celebration of their lives. All right. This is true. Pawn shops do work <laughs> overtime <laughs> on Christmas Eve, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, <laughs> it's not too late if you blow your roll to get out there, maybe fence something. Make sure the kids get at least a, you know, little something. Meanwhile, far from a little something, Ace King, Weinman opening off of that massive stack. Osbach box cars. Go set mining. He's 10 suited for Garagnani. He's going to find trouble. Button flat. A7 knows where to go. Little speculative opportunities at a price for D Dubs. Closing the action. Queen Jack eight, two spade board. How about it for Garagnani? Double gutter and the nut flush draw. Note he is perilous and has the inferior ace high and yet over half the equity. Absolutely smashes this thing. Firm position on the hand after flatting the button. The crew, the crew. Weinman considering. Out of here. You are from Brasilia, no? And from Brasilia. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Romania. Romania. Because I see him today in the gym. Bet and take in it, the sir. Gym for the week. <laughs> As Weinman makes his one and only <laughs> contribution uh, to the pot pre flop. Actually, moved to Vegas, though. So my girlfriend. I like Shout that, you know, sometimes Lisa. we espouse these ace kings. Granted, multi way situation there. How long have you been in Vegas? But Since April. April. You like Steps it? Steps away from it. I Brent. love it. Yeah. No nice. continuation, no peel. Yeah. Had the king of spades in his hand as well. Not that far of a move from Utah, right? So. Nope. By the way, William's He's doing a little bit of investigative journalism okay, with okay. you. Should watch in those. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Ethan Cook, who advises that Sandy, Utah, maybe no longer yeah. where he resides and that he's... can go without her. Yeah, that's why they have the trip here. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled up a stake. Come down to Sin City, the 702. <coughs> <coughs> Welcome to tax-free living. Me again. Are there taxes in Utah? No, same garbage no. I had yeah. last time. I don't want to look. Yeah, there are same taxes exact in Utah. Same last time we were here in this spot. I mean, if not from... The state from the Church of Latter Day Saints, you know, they dip into your pocket. I don't get that many walks, but the tide no, is uh, I'm kind of at the mercy of. It's a bit of a rake. I'm just saying. We play only two levels. I don't think the Church of Latter Day Saints would look fondly yeah. upon a move to Sin City. No, uh, I don't know. I think we'll be yeah, up here I've, or. I've up known here. a few. I think on the final. LDS disciples and you know. Until they get bored of us. Yes. At least, uh, to the, uh, they the actually can be break. quite fond of a little breakaway down over here. You know, Doesn't just something. <laughs> Lips are small. More comfortable. <laughs> oh. 
LDS has one hell of a bankroll, by the way. I mean, I've watched a few documentaries about those guys. How? Yeah, why are they so flush? I don't know. We should get the LDS into a cash game, though. Seriously. We wouldn't say a word. They would never bluff. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> you got to be able to beat those guys. 100% paying their debts. Right. You're never getting stiff. No. And you're never getting bluffed. This feels like a great game. I'm onto something here. By the way, Barbon. Onto the Queen 10 suited, which is potentially going to encounter some issues if Queen Jack gets interested, which it doesn't. <coughs> Nines for Garniani, played as a flat. <laughs> Cormier with a Queen 10. Check the amulet out by the, what is going on? Let, can we get another shot of that? That was like, that was some Don King caliber neckwear. We'll come back to it. Eight, four, three, rainbow over pair for Garagnani. Delightful board texture, Barbon. Interactions with the Eight of Hearts. Did you say Don King? Yeah, famous boxing promoter. Uh, you remember yeah, he used Tyson, to wear those? Yeah, but I, 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 all I can think about is the hair. No, man, he used to rock these, like, insane. Uh, okay. No follow-through from the Romanian. Out of position against Garniani, who asks the question third pot the volume level and just a check fold for Barbon. it's okay <coughs> Weinman just showed it ace king bit of a different spot again. of course but yeah, absolutely. absolutely nevertheless one of the coolest yeah. poker shows i think i've ever seen I, now I, I think he's in two gg Let's which one it. game of gold i haven't seen it yet it's on youtube petro hop on this board. guy's in it right here mr williams yeah, it was a fun experience. I would definitely do it again in a heartbeat. Williams working his side of the street. Try to get in on season two of Game of Gold, GG Poker's original content, which I had the privilege of hosting out in South Korea about a year ago. NDAs were signed. Spoilers were not issued yesterday. Season finale was aired earlier during the broadcast. Now it rides under the umbrella of Poker After Dark, right? Yeah. It's a re- Reinvention. Reinvention of yeah. Poker After Dark, yeah. <laughs> Squid Game-esque undertones. By the way, shout out Squid Nobody Game. Nobody was killed. Real life Squid Game on Netflix. Yeah. I haven't seen the finale yet. My God. Ripped through that. Soaked it up. You love it, huh? <sighs> I'm a sick pup, man. I I would love to get in on some Squid Game. You know Did you I mean? get to play the... Uh, or at least to play Indian the Calamari. Indian poker thing? That's where I lost. Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> they screwed Cook, us up. Queen 10 off. Every other tournament I've ever played has 25k chips. Even this one, right? Never seen a 50k chip in my life. And she bet 300,000, and I took the 25ks and it went call. But I put out, that's 600, because they're 50ks. And then I was like, call, and they're like, no, you got to raise. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and then she moved all in, and it was kind of weird because there had been one deuce gone and no ace is gone. And if you fold an ace, you lose half your stack. So in addition to if I fold the hand and have an ace, I'm also going to lose half of my million and a half I have back. And there was one deuce gone, no ace is gone. thought there was a chance she was doing that, knowing I made a mistake if I have an ace. But there's no way she's not making that move. So I called. I had a F and deuce, and I, I, you know, loose double her up. But no offense to her, but I don't think she's jamming into my ace in that spot right there. Like, she's just not doing it. Because if you fold the ace. Yeah, but like, that? it's unlikely that you have an ace. Well, I either have an ace or a deuce. She's never going to do that if I have a middle card or anything. There's no point. I Call don't think eight. I understand. Yeah, the, three bet and take it with the nines. It's, it's like you're always polarized. Like, I absolutely have a deuce or an ace when she does that there, when she goes all in. And if I'm wrong and I have an ace, I lose half my behind chips too, because there's a penalty in the game. 
So it's, do I have a deuce or do I have an ace? There's four aces left and only three deuces. So mathematically, I have an ace, but does she have it in her to make that move? In that spot, I don't think so, but she also knows I misclick raised and didn't mean to raise. So I'm probably gonna fold most of my hands. I'm probably gonna fold mostly anyway. So if I do have an ace, it's a good spot for her to make that move because I didn't mean to raise in the first place. So her, her card is not low. David, talking about round three Indian poker during but Game of Gold. I just don't think she's making that move. That's where he got eliminated. Misclick situation uh, with the 50k chip denominations giving players some fits. It would be nice if I just verbalized call. I think he's chips. overthinking. I don't have to. I've never done that in my life either. Good news is he's over it. Cut out three stacks. I'm teasing. Yeah, he really I mean, let it go. It was frustrating. You know, seven years later. Oh, it's not seven. You come on, relax. It's legitimate. Four hundred fifty-six thousand dollar free roll. You hate to have a misclick be a part of the process. It is sick. That, that is brutal. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Queen, I queen, think he'll seven. get back on season two. Two diamonds. You it's, know, Steve will. You know, let him run it back. Who knows? Meanwhile, the Brazilians squaring off once more. Advantage Garagnani. This time, he's the aggressor pre, and Franco the defender from the big. Ace Jack has the ace nine in a way. Another 10 into the middle. And the club draw. For Franco, things getting interesting on the two-tone board. Very difficult to bet once more, having been called on this flop. Concerned about a queen, diamonds, a seven. Look at this guy go, reaching once more. Perhaps targeting a seven with vengeance, trying to deny equity from what could be a flush draw. And as we can see, it's of the back door variety. So along comes Franco as another 44 go into the middle. This is where the last exchange came to a halt as Garagnani folded the best hand. Now a king of hearts on the river. Ace, jack, nut, no pair. Third and final check from Franco. Does Pedro think that he needs to bet? Really tough, Ali, right? If it's a seven that we're worried about, we can't beat it. But if it's a missed flush, we do have showdown value. Complicated spot. There's the rip, <coughs> as Pedro telling Franco it's going to require all 82 if you want to get a look at what I got in here. And by the way. No way. Is he thinking about this? His Jack is a winner. This is such a weird hand where Franco feels compelled that ace high could be the best of it. If Garnotti missed a big draw, knowing it's essentially a queen or nothing, I he's probably just, never doing it with a king. I was just thinking the same thing in terms of the line here. And reluctantly, <coughs> Franco does pitch it, but he was beaten. To be fair, the hunch that maybe Garagnani was light was correct. It was just... He's bluffing with the best hand. Exactly. You know, a little bit of a grease stain on the undershirt and a wrench in hand. Garagnani looks like a man that could... Swap out a spark plug or two. Yeah, he's got the mechanic kind of build. Also, sort of fella I might see out there mowing some lawns. Carpenter vibes as well. <coughs> I don't know about the carpenter. I don't. I don't see that. You know, just. 
also a guy that looks like he could beat the living shit out of you if you pissed him off. Just, yeah. Yeah. you know, worthy of note. Level 14, 355, 13 in orbit. Lovable, though. Oh, like, you know, oh, these yeah, Pink Floyd fans? Nonviolent. Very much on the psilocybin. Excuse? Microdose. I just, uh, now, you know, that's a little generous. You know, I don't, I'm not going there. Got a bit of a butchy John Lennon vibe going on as well. <clears throat> butchy Lennon. Interesting. Souza. Snowmen. <laughs> Tis the season. Ten if you do. Williams does. Opportunity to close the action for the men for Alsbach here. No yeah, thank you. Behind, right? Queen was dominated. Like now, those folds can take a little bit of discipline. Okay. I think he'd rather be 70. in the less 79. intrusive range, you know, something like five, six, six, seven. Brent. So he'll leave the boys to do battle heads up. A six six. Little does Susan know it, but he's got the best hand. And, of course, can rep the ace. So here comes the barrel. I think this will make quick work of Queen Jack of Diamonds. And <coughs> David not going to waste any time. Bins it. I love that, by the way. The, the snap fold is so welcome when we follow through with eights on a board such as that. And there are those guys that during a session, you're like, look, I'm going to see about this because I'm supposed to, but I know Sticky McStickerstein over here is just never mocking. He's going to make me see a turn. You know, hate being to the right of those sorts of characters in a game. I thought you were going down the road of David Williams doesn't really deliberate. He's just fast with every I love that yeah, no. about David Williams. Sure. You know, his decision making is just yeah. fit or fold. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot to think about there. <clears throat> Do we get to the bottom of the emblem here? Hey, call me Any a intel? You said it's Larry King? <laughs> now, Larry King, of course. Long time. RIP. CNN. Evening kind of news show host. I was talking about Don King, which, of course, you know who that is, Brent. Hold on. Hall and Oates here coming in with a race. Franco. <laughs> I see it. By the way, you can't be both Hall and Oates. Start with 70? By the way, it's one or the 79. other. 79? Yeah. In the beginning? Okay. Yeah. Sort of just Asback and Franco side by side Hall and Oates for me. I don't know about you, Alan. Okay. Did you? How, what, how did you pronounce that, Brent? Hall and Oates. Right. You really? I mean, yours is a sloppy tongue, Brent. Don't get excited. A six five. Not exactly cause for excitement. For the gut shot straight draw, but perhaps cause to continue. Let's observe Franco. And. <laughs> to play with uh, you C and uh, William and all the uh, all our doing players. pretty good. Good experience yeah. either way. <laughs> I hope you make it. Thank you. I hope you get second. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Eight times. Uh, you Not going to be enough. Glance over, yeah. private eyes. You know, eyeing up Franco. Four on the turn. Diamond draw revealed. Not the one that Rui had in mind. Franco plays it as a check back now, and he'll decide on the river. This is a nice card for him. 
Elaborate, Ali. Why is this a nice card? Well, you know, obviously the ace pairs. It doesn't actually change anything with respect to that part of the texture. Backdoor diamonds do arrive. He does block a diamond with the queen. You know that you were the analyst in this Sort of making my dreams come true whenever that ace Brent. hits home on the river. Yeah, okay. Why, why, why is that, Brent? Uh, removes uh -huh. additional aces right. that you're concerned about. Makes it more unlikely that your opponent has one. By the way, look at this. Bit of a man-eater. Here we go. <laughs> Nine high. Knows it showdown. It's got issues, and as such, 12 delivered into 44. Talking quarter potish. Wow, a rip from Franco. That is strong. Queen that is strong. In the hand, sort of merging. Wow. That, listen, let's not gloss over <coughs> what we just observed. That was for his <coughs> tournament life. And note that the jam on the end, even if we hold some sort of middling ace. All right, out here in the field, let us check in with one Kristen Fox. And Kristen, if you could stand up for a quick sec, join me right here. Hello again. All right, so it feels like every high roller at the World Series in Vegas, you were in the hunt, cashed in the 25K, 50K, 100K. Does that have a way of enhancing your confidence level? Um, that's a good, yeah, it has to. You know, just I think having the experience of playing and going deep and, you know, having to compete in that with that kind of pressure, I think just kind of like makes you feel more comfortable for the next time. Alex went pretty deep in the 50K today, finished in sixth. When he goes deep in an event, does it distract you? When you go deep in an event, does it distract him? Um, I don't think it's a distraction. I actually think it like pumps, we pump nice. each other up. Yeah. So it's like, oh yes, we're having a good trip. And then it kind of like gets us in the zone. You need one final table here for another $25,000 in cash. Were you even, I was going to ask if that parlay promotion influenced your travel plans. Were you aware of that whole thing? Um, I didn't know I was one away. Okay. I actually thought I was two, so that's really great. Yeah. And I think I'm two caches away from 5K or something like that. Looked like three to yeah. me, but it might be two. We'll double check okay. the records. Um, yeah, it definitely influenced the decision to come. I mean, it definitely made the trip, you know, not missable. Bren is on the uh, commentary team along with Ali, and you are still our honorary No Gamble, No Future Yay. team captain. Ooh. So there you go, and I appreciate the time. And this is good luck, right? This is very good luck. Okay, yes. I heard you are. No, yep, that's me. <laughs> Just the good the luck. luck guy. Just awesome. the good luck guy. Thanks, right, Kristen. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just telling you, the word is out, and yet people continue to tempt fate. Thanks, by the way, Jeff. Note I didn't clip him. Didn't throw to him, but didn't clip him. Didn't clip him. Progress. That's right. And also, that making up for the curse, he's <laughs> dishing out the patches for no gamble, no I'm future. Maybe creepy. you offset it. You know, I mean, I know I came up during a different time, but even back then they warned us about, you know, people coming over, giving you gifts, candy, little things like that, trying to lure you into the van. It's uh, vibes. Ace-9-6. Okay. Osbach. Pairing. More than we can say for King High on a spadeless ace high board, which checks over after defending. Okay. Eight. Oh. Right. looked like he yeah. he could be planted out front of an Abercrombie and Fitch. You know what I mean? Yeah, Lure the yeah, ladies right on in. Vibes. <sighs> if this poker thing doesn't work out, my friend, grab an agent. Turntables as well. Has a DJ sort of look to him. I love the flannel get up down there in the Bahamas. Misplaced. You know, I don't know where the flight in came from, and I know it gets cold on the plane, but just, uh, okay. Could be cold in the in the tournament room. It's always of cold in, in poker rooms. The AC works overtime out here in the Bahamas, just for dehumidification purposes, if nothing else. But yeah. But you're with me with this Osbach character. You know, we yeah. don't really have anything on the bio. Right. Uh, you know, just uh, you need to pad the bankroll. Eleven. What are you suggesting he could do? Get in front of the camera, maybe be a male escort. I don't know. Just That's options. That's where I was headed. I was, you know. Weinman. He's got some oh, ideas. Wow. 
The pocket Kings look like they might be polishing off the remains of the Romanian. Barbon wakes up to two jacks, thinks what a wonderful spot. And instead, it'll be devastation for him. Did wake up with aces after being decimated, doubled through queens, but on this occasion, he is the smothered yeah. holding. I know what you mean. <laughs> I know it for this, thank you. 187,000 chip wait, pot. Wait for the turn, it's more fun. Okay. And might it be 187 for the two jacks? That's a board. Or certainly. <laughs> Things get a superstitious kiss of the wrist? Something? Unhelpful thus far. And only a jack. We'll spare. The recreational poker player contractor by day hailing from Romania got in on the $50 Saddy from elimination. GG. A deuce okay, luck, GG. on the end. GG's issued. But the dream here on day 1A will come to an end. Registration still open. Other day ones available. But <coughs> one would guess that given the nature of the entry coming from a $50 Saddy, we are... That's how. Here. That's there how. Might be some saddies right <laughs> now. Oh, okay, not fair. That's Lineman very I'm familiar with two jacks, head. of course. <laughs> His key hand. I'm taking notes. His path to victory in the main event. <laughs> Take notes. Very One important. Of the most insane hands in the history of the World Series of Poker. Now up to 545,000 chips. More than 100 big blinds as we near the end of day one. Absolutely has to be one of the chip leaders, if not the chip leader, as it stands. We have like one, 115, 115, yeah. King-10 making noise here. How are the Brazilians just finding their way into these confrontations repeatedly? It's what they do, they just came here to battle. Extremely aggressive. All in. Jam from Garagnani, tempting the blinds to come along, neither of them with any sort of decision. And I doubt Franco's going to be thinking about it much. As you see him look over at Pedro and say, OK, Chico. Take it. The distribution of hands here has not been very even. Well, something pretty cool just happened in the sure. YouTube chat for me, Brent, which I've been keeping an eye on Only had for the better part of the broadcast. If you see Garagnani's earnings. Guy I went to high school with Mark Souza popping up. No relation, by the way, to one round of Indian. To the Souza or Souza that we now have you play here. Kind of <laughs> at the <laughs> FT. <laughs> Give me a little <laughs> that Mark ace Souza. Is mother though, mm -hmm. that's wild. I've never seen that before. Yeah, Intel, yeah, Dolly, it's mind. gone above me. Like, what? <laughs> I mean, just the inventor guy, of I, the sousaphone? You know, no, not the inventor of the sousaphone, Brent. Shocking that you even know what one of those that's is. Awesome. I didn't realize you were of a certain age. Mark, by the way, you know, impish character back in high school. Fun-loving dude, used to play ball for the squad. Did run into him playing poker on a couple of occasions, I believe, mm. over at the Oaks Card Club in Emeryville, oh. California. Northern California mm. card room, which really played host to some exotic strains of of COVID probably before we knew it was a thing. Uh, not the cleanest joint. 11 to skate, by the way, for Weidman here. He's feeling it. Garniani also wants to dance, but Cormier may turn the lights out here from the big with hooks. There it is. 
31K to Rich for Weinman. Garniani can close the action, so a little bit of a different proposition, but obviously he knows seven high has its issues. Oh, speculations for the extra 20. And this is where we play and kind of assign the big ace to our opponent and hope to find texture that's helpful. How about it? Queen 8 5, open ender, backdoor hearts, one over card to the jacks. Shall we buckle up on that? Uh, 25K into 81. Are we headed for the moon? You know, these are questions once asked by the likes of Buzz Aldrin. Now by you here in this pot where the Brazilian ingredient is always one that can give a dish pop. It's really a fascinating spot. The price is right for the open ender, but we could also just apply a ton of pressure, and here comes the pressure. 75,000. Listen, this, this isn't the kind of line, Brent, that I think the Queen X tends to take. You know, we, we observe more passive approaches, mindful of the presence of, you know, the Kings, the Aces, the Ace Queens maybe, if right. that's not where we're at. And even just inviting additional barrels from hands that are in bad shape. So Mike Cormier feel as though this is a bit naughty. Uh, you know you're, you're playing for all of it. You call here. What are you doing on the turn? Yeah, How yeah. about the river? You're a little bit in no man's land with Jax. And so Garagnani defending against the three bet and managing unimproved to just take it right then and there as he three X's the follow through and makes quick work of the two Jacks. By the way, Cormier looks like a man who who puts up a fight here on the felt, but also perhaps away from it as well. Another one at the table that would just beat the absolute piss out of you, Ali. Yeah, by the way, and Garagnani was the guy that I mentioned that about before, but he, I think, would be well served to avoid dark alleys with Jeffrey Cormier. Notice the upper quad tattoo, left leg of right. Cormier. I mean, that's a guy that would just give you a roundhouse and knock you out cold. There might be other people's teeth lodged in that quad, by the way just throughout the years. You know, sometimes they leave a bullet fragment in a, in a shooting victim, you know, right. like, you know, it's better that be like, hey, Jeffrey, we can remove this bicuspid from your quadricep, but we feel as though leaving it in there might be the sage way to proceed. Uh, merci beaucoup, doctor. Sure, leave it. Yeah. Yeah. No. D-Will all in. I think that means call. Ace five suited. The, universe the hand of five. choice. <laughs> I'm a bad guy to run it against this here. Raising two. <laughs> Never been one to shy away from danger, though. <laughs> By the way, our boy Mark, I say our, my, from back in the day, currently playing double board bomb pot, pot limit Omaha at the Hustler Casino in Southern California while he soaks up the stream. This is Sousa, you're yeah. talking? Yeah. Inventor. Did you say inventor? Sousa phone, no, this is not that Stop. guy. Stop, come on bro, he's just, you know, it's just his last name. That's a game, by the way, you know I was down in Texas at Champions Club. They love PLO, they love the double board bomb pots. Yeah, inject it in your veins. Yes. 
Right into the main line. Yeah. I was playing that out in Cyprus recently before I flew over for this gig. I mean, I couldn't get enough. <laughs> Meanwhile, Garagnani targeting our Souza. These four suited, baby suited wheels, you know, these are ideas. Sometimes fruitful, other times costly. Can't wait to go home and see if you're putting on a clinic or you're just a card rack. I can't wait. It's Check a clinic, out. David. It's What's an absolute clinic. <laughs> this is, you know, quite lovely in terms of the diversity of experience that presents itself here. This particular table is is more on the minefield side of the spectrum, but <coughs> it looks like Garagnani might be getting down. a bill for the mic. I, he is kind of exploring potential damage as Franco delighted, by the way, to see maybe this event going to cost Garagnani a little more than 5K in, in fees. <laughs> Properly. Right. By the way, I, I don't know if you caught the tail end of that explanation. Accountability, perhaps, not Gar Garnani's strong suit. The mic, it's, some, it, it's, the mic's not doing something properly, you know. A, <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe, you know, the clip is failing or something like that. It has a clip. You can put it on your pants like that. Oh, yeah, in the, in the pants, yeah. Mm -hmm. Allowed to tuck it in the pocket. Wait, what? Are we talking? Yeah, tuck it in. <laughs> crying line. game? What are we doing over here? Yeah. Nine seven suited is uh, apparently popular kit. You want to hide the equipment? Yeah. Well, you might want to hide the equipment. Well, speaking of equipment, diamond draw here for Alsbach. The better of the two nine sevens on a king high board. Twenty eight in the middle. Checks it and faces a barrel from David. 9K into 28, just shy of a third pot. <coughs> David obviously would have prepared to have, or preferred rather to have taken that one then and there, but he will be doing no taking. Osbach hits the flush. Sopping wet turn How here. About that check, that very assertive pound the rail check. I read that as strength. Yeah? Holly, yeah. Okay. D. Will picks up on things. He's more of a feel guy. Check back. Could also just be assigned to the dust. Is it? I couldn't tell you. This isn't even programmed for my time. <laughs> Did that just happen? <laughs> I just used it. I know we have a pot in progress, but Garniani, for unknown reasons, for asking Ethan the, Cook uh, what time GTO? it is. Man's wearing a watch and says, I, I have no idea. By the way, it's a digital watch. No, no. I just look at this. Randomize. Look here. Yeah. Small pin. <laughs> I have to call the security. Like, you cannot be even a GTO watch on the table. You don't have to be worried about that. <laughs> it's a next update of GTO <laughs> Wizard. It's a GTO watch. Oh, oh, I like this guy. I know Vincent. Welcome back. Scotty. Okay, talk to me. US from New York, went to Albany. SUNY Finance Marketing, professional AI poker power. player now. A lot of results, 2.1 million Rolex. on the resume. 73 World Series of Poker Might caches. Might be very far away Eight the future. World Series of Poker <laughs> circuit <laughs> ranks. Eight. He's running out of fingers. Yeah, he's a player. Oh, shit. He rolled high. Been, been around the block for a while. Yeah, quietly. Joining the other killers here at this table is, you know, 
In terms of game selection, this is one I walk right on by. Right. If That's it's a cash there. game. Cook taking a stand here, a6 suited. Looks like he might get through. Just the big blind remaining. Mission accomplished. I kind of hope <laughs> Cook <laughs> cashes, but for no other reason than for him to get the watch repair that he so desperately needs. The, the watch? Just <laughs> stone doesn't work, Ethan? But, you know. Pecking away at your phone doing over here. Hanks? Don't worry huh? about it, Ali. You know, maybe yeah. maybe I'm booking a filming session with the Buffalo Bills team right now. Maybe that's exactly what I'm doing. I feel like better than don't. <laughs> Looks like I just lost my bet. Ladies and gentlemen, Brent Hanks is indeed inexplicably. Are then. Producing other broadcasts, by the way. Focus up. We got things on our hands. Oh, I see it. John Oates all in. Franco, baby. 94,000 with the goods. Hard six. Easy fold. Same story, by the way. Awaiting Weinman. I decided. <laughs> I'll keep you around for a while. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Maybe we should play the stand-up game. I'm in. Like here in the booth, we both pick some players, and then not until your player wins a pot do you get to sit down. I'm in. I don't think it's going to last that long, though. We have too many horses. You've been standing the whole time, by the way, so you are... Uh that's not true. A not lot. The you, whole you've really time. been upward. I get. Well, here's the deal. Does your butt fall asleep when you sit for too long? That's not quite it. It's the fact that we're here at the Poker Go offices, satellite studio in Las Vegas on a Saturday. Uh huh which apparently isn't a part of whatever the ventilation package is that we subscribe to Awfully for clammy. the office lease. AC not on on the weekends. Now, granted, we're not in the dead of summer here in Vegas. That, of course, would have led to heat stroke by now. But nevertheless, it's a bit stuffy in here. 80s, 90s in here, you think? I'm going to take the under, but nevertheless, if I sit... I'm more likely to fall asleep, you know, a slow bake. If I'm on my feet, I'm going to keep me around a little bit longer. As we work our way later and later into the evening, three different King X's, all of which have connected with their side cards. Weinman started this. Garagnani with a seldom seen lead. 12 dimes. Cook wants no further part of things despite second pair and that king of hearts. Of course, we know Wyman's not going to go anywhere. Does his hat say the loaf? Is that a Gotta bakery? Be a golf course. He's such an avid golfer. It, it has to be a golf course. Has to be a call as well as we take the turn. Pot up to 62,000. Thank you. 
Another barrel out of Garniani, and this is bucking convention in terms of the lead into what was a three-way affair. Now another barrel. And, you know, if you're Weinman, it just feels like we've got a call. Don't want to open the action back up, but don't want to fold so much hand either. There it is. Another buck ten into the middle. This one growing. Absolutely love watching Garniani and of course Weinman pursue these pots but this Brazilian is unorthodox remarkably aggressive while also mm. creative you nailed it Ali a line you don't see often it was pure value on the turn now the river gets a little murkier but I don't think much has changed with the exception of Jack-10 coming home. Maybe 6-7 that would have had a flush draw. I mean, specifically, Jack-10 and clubs or hearts would have to be the combo in this spot. Carniani will slow down, and let's see. It's I tough for Wyman really I, to value the King-Queen. I like, was thinking the same thing. A lot of those big draws may have led turns now of which have completed with the nine on the river. It's awkward, and these two stacks are just massive. But if the big draws had led turn and then come in in terms of the 10 jack of clubs or hearts, would they not be barreling here at the river as opposed to trying to get cute? You would think that's the case, yes, unless, you know, sick and twisted going for the check raise. Undeterred is Weinman. Look at this, you know, mere mortals are we as check back and just take a peek felt like the safe preferred course of action but we're talking about the reigning world series of poker main event champ this is a guy who isn't shy about extracting value now garignani confused a bit well he's worried i don't know if he expects weinman to value bet a similar hand, right? Yeah. Ace, queen, yes, we're worried about that. Two kings, yeah, we're blocking it. Maybe it's aces, could be a set. I don't know. Don't when you, you think on the king, turn? Queen, it's hard to think your opponent also don't shares we hear, king. Queen. Don't we hear from a set on the turn? You could, you know, but maybe you get tricky and you just call the unorthodox lead that Garniani tossed out. It's very tough. Two flush draws have missed, which he may settle on trying to pick off those bluffs that Weinman may possess. As we can see, it's identical hands. Don't believe Garniani really expected a bet on Rivers. Nor did we. From bluffs, right. That, that's, that's where he knows it's a value hand. That's the problem. And if we have king-queen and we think it's value that we're up against, you sort of shrivel up, as crazy as it sounds, with the king-queen. Well, much like a body left submerged for a bit longer than it should. Pruning is this king queen. Wow. Bins the same hand as the 125K bet from Weinman earns him the whole thing uncontested, and you begin to recognize why it is that that man. I guess we got the answer to that. Who wins card rack versus card rack? Yeah, he's the defending. Which one it was. That was filthy Should by Weinman. Really hand. good value. Oh. Maybe. 
Fold queen or nine? Queen. King queen against ace queen. Boy, how sharp <laughs> are the, you know, I mean, Well, I've been new right away. Said, I think he folded a similar hand. How about the identical hand? No, Williams was very much in the neighborhood He's speculating there. king yeah. queen against ace queen, which, by the way, I think most would expect Wyman's bet to be attached to an ace queen. But the king queen. Generally speaking, I think we anticipated a bit more restraint, a bit more bashful navigations on the end, given that line. Uh, cook all in here. He has the best of it against Weinman. His tournament life. Feels like the spin's going to be given, maybe? It's possible. Just good yeah. enough to make the call. Here we go. And you see, Dan didn't love it. And Cook, conversely, very much loves it, but tense moments. In a 150k chip pot. Team Cook, by the way, out there streaming, according to Ethan. Not making the trip to the Bahamas, but very much making a trip to their devices to take a look at their man here in the main. His ace queen performing well on the King 4 4 board. Stays that way on the turn. Chop opportunities, of course, for Weinman. Should a king. Seven or even the four roll off. Jack is a clean winner. Cook not out of the woods yet. And that Thank you. River there. Allowing Ethan Cook to sous vide the ace jack of Dan Weinman. Uh, he cashes this thing. He might be able to get a watch that works. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, even if he doesn't cash this thing, Brent, I think he's... Probably rolled enough for the repair. I, I right, certainly okay. hope. <laughs> I think he had like 5% equity. We're getting so low that we're in half. How the hell did he win? Right back. <laughs> First one this year. I'll take it. Any complaints? Wineman taketh, Wineman giveth. <laughs> Franco. Ace nine suited. by guess who, the other Brazilian, the King Jack. Go ahead, Brent. I know you want to say it. Let the ducks fly, Cormier. Mallards from the big blind. Huey, Dewey, will we find Louie? No, sir. Jack 5-3. Top pair for Garagnani. Just a bad beat. I don't know if I would call it a bad beat, Brent. You know, just we either flop the set or we don't. Even Cormier, I don't think, would be inclined to describe this spot here as a bad beat, if you will. <laughs> if you're wondering, by the way, what that rustling noise is, Makes it seem like Brent's fiddling with his mic. He's just put on a snorkel mask. Don't ask. Now the snorkel also being attached. As it's very hard to talk with this. <laughs> Attire. Pedro gets no action, understandably, given that particular board as the in-position barrel earns him the pot. And, uh, well, Brent has officially gone underwater 
Just what do you see down there, anything? Brent? Anything? Right. <laughs> oh, the commitment from you, Hanks. Late night. Getting a little loopy in here. Could be hypoxia. By the way, I mean, we getting enough oxygen? Uh, not, well, uh, you know, with that stuff on, that was really tough. Feel a little sick. We should get like a carbon monoxide monitor in here. Are we dying? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Jack 10 suited for Ethan Cook as his hopes of bagging. Certainly bolstered, courtesy of that double there. Ace Queen against Ace Jack. Going to work here against Weinman once more. Dan can well afford to defend with all manner of holdings. Queen five on this occasion. And how about it? Jack six, six. Good looking stuff. Team Cook in the chat, supporting their guy. Mick Fern, I believe, is out here in support. Cook taking that one down. Final frame of the evening, we're being told. An evening in which the intention was to Call the herd down to the money. Unclear whether or not we're going to get there. It's. I don't think so. You know, these guys are going to keep playing late into the night. It's been a slow grind. <clears throat> so as our coverage comes to a close in about 40 minutes, players will continue. Doesn't mean they've made day two. You can wake up in the morning and your favorite player may have been eliminated towards the tail end of the night. The intention, of course, is to reach the money every day one. Check those live updates if you want to follow action into the evening over at WSOP.com or Poker News. I feel like if the guys are dragging on and we need to get to the money, there should be like a team of people with like whips, you know, Indiana Jones style leather kind of just crack it. You know, somebody's tanking, just whoosh. just wake them up, remind them we got to yeah. play down to the money. Yeah. Mm. You know, I like whips. I don't, by the way, Brent. And and now I'll bring the gag to my everyone. Have a great what, day please tomorrow. don't. What is happening? Handcuffs. Gross. What? What is? What's wrong with that? I mean, listen. What happens? You know, in your bedroom. That's that's for you to know, Brent. Not myself and the rest of the world. Wyman with the sixes. Hook tried to take another one with the queen nine, which is unimproved here. Board texture, of course, felt inviting, but once Weinman sticks around with that threatening big stack, it is obviously of concern. He wasn't a small blind, though, as opposed to the big, and so ranges should be Slightly different. <laughs> Cook does shut it down on the turn. One would presume, though who knows whether or not Wyman's going to give him a chance to get himself in trouble here. Five on the river. We've seen the blocker bets from Wyman as soon as we started coverage, flicking the min out in a spot where he could have been vulnerable, a block. 
That being said, if Cook had queens, he may have taken the same line. Looks like Weinman's got a read, though. He thinks that his sixes are just good. 36,000. Hoping to get called by ace high. As we can see, not exactly the case. 36K and queen high does find the muck. Cook might have been speeding a little bit there. Brent, you know, trying to string it together. A little bit of momentum, wind at yeah, your back. I, I mean, it's reasonable, right? You barrel. The second turn barrel would have been interesting. It would have put Weinman's sixes into a very difficult spot, knowing that the river shell could also be incoming. Well, Wyman has put his tax account in a very difficult spot. Before it was 2.1 million in caches. Then all of a sudden it grew to 14.2. Don't need to explain to you when or why. Now that man's working overtime. What's amazing about Wyman, despite winning the main event, he continued with his career, his job. Works with a tech company, poker related, might I add. Yeah, don't give me the main <coughs> Probably you know. shorter days and plays a little bit more golf than he used to, but I would I would hire a film crew to shoot all of the places that I would walk in and submit my resignation. I don't all, think you know, that multiple it would be colorful ways. For a lot, you know, the places you go late at night during the day. What are we talking about, yeah. Franco? Ace, king, little squeeze. Oh, my God. And Moscati can't proceed. I was trying to set mine with a couple of fives. Williams getting a little antsy here at the end of the night. Below 10 bigs. See if he can spin it up with the last half hour or so that we have of coverage of this table. You can re-enter as well. If you're just tuning in, one single re-entry per day, per flight. I mean, at this point in the night, you get showered. You just come back and you do go it to again bed. tomorrow yeah. morning. You're going you to bed. You know. I think. Maybe you rebuy and then just <laughs> blast off, hoping to double through some hapless soul. You know what I mean? Just like a yeah, little, your you own know, personal you spin roll, and go. If you hate money and... It ain't no thing, then sure. Try and spin it up. Go nuts. Never seen like it. Was it Scott Seaver <laughs> that ended up like 33 bullets into a spin and go? It did not cash. Is that did right? he not even cash? I'm, I'm just saying to get it into was. the tournament, it was like 30 some odd. Set the record. <laughs> May never be beat. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm fairly certain he also did not catch. That, that's painful, man. <laughs> Seven, five, three here. Halsbach, the defender with the king 10 suited. No, by the way, you tried to make a meal of the emphatic rail wrap last time when he had the flush, I think it was, as though maybe he was weighted. But same story here with king high. So. Did he smash the rail? I mean, you know, yeah, same Keeping way he did balance. it last time on yeah. this flop. But note the turn. Four-liner has picked up the club draw. Certainly could have bet. Instead, yeah. checks once more. Cook. Oh. Does not fire and does not improve. Range clearly in favor of the big blind. Cook just did not feel compelled to continue on any street. And Ivan in the chat, by the way, lets us know that Late Reg was only open until level nine. So perhaps it is closed for day one. No I idea I what level this is, of course. I, I thought I saw level 14. 40 yeah. minute levels, I mean, you know, it happens fast out there. Oh. Send it down to Jeff Platt standing by with one mm. Alex Livingston.
All right, out in the field as day one comes to a close. Let's check in with Alex Livingston. Alex, stand up for me for a quick sec, please. All right, so we saw plenty of mixed game scores for you at some of the PGT series. How do you stay sharp and no limit? Uh, I probably should be doing more, to be honest. Okay, okay. Um, the element guys have gotten really good. Uh, but, I mean, fields like this, I still feel pretty good, pretty comfortable. The super high roller stuff, those top guys are definitely real tough. It was a few months ago that you posted on social media about a, a downswing that you were enduring, and you were quite honest throughout that. How were you able to bounce back from that? Yeah, I just had a really good WSOP. I got yeah. good momentum coming third in that half-half 5K PLO no limit. That kind of free-rolled the series, and then things got even better. And I find poker can be a momentum game. And then after that, I had a good few months doing uh, other places as well. So, yeah, it's been a good, good little run since then. So you feel like the mental game can improve when you see positive results? Yeah, definitely. I think you can get into a bad mental rhythm and I think you can get into a good mental rhythm and I've been doing a lot of good stuff away from the table too to stay sharp you know staying active all that stuff so yeah things have been good I'll send you back to the action hope the momentum all continues right. Thanks, appreciate, it, appreciate it Alex thank you guys thanks Jeff by the way soothing baritone pipes on plat being deployed here late evening, evening. you know mm -hmm. almost around like around a little around. lullaby yeah. note by the way careful because he can mm. lull you right out of a bag One twenty three. Now you're I mean, and maybe into a different kind of back reaper. I'm just saying. Yeah. Just in case know, this makes you know, a difference. These are the ways he works. I thought you were referring to Livingston's pipes there. He, you know, he's so wonderful much. on the microphone. Have you heard him call some action? I have not. He's, but he's I mean, fantastic. listen, fantastic poker mind. And yeah. not all of those minds can articulate the game in the way that Alex can. Who, by the way, a pesky foe in a mixed Tough game. Tough player. Meanwhile, back to the action here at the feature. 7-7 Jack, the product of Ethan Cook, who's V-Pippin. Opened this one. Picked up Sousa for the ride. Did you notice Platt's neck beard, by the way? Of course I did. Andrew Luck like. A strange Brother Hezekiah sort of cleaner up front on the chin. And then Scruffaluff around the Adams. Just, uh, you know. It's like the inverted mohawk. You remember that? Like people just one right. stripe, right. ball down the middle, and then hair on either side. Just, uh, you know, not one that we see often. As Cook, c bets takes it. I respect a solid neck beard, by the way. I it think is one I am. Uh, can you see this? Look, I mean. I get, no, barely, by the way. Because really coming in nice, isn't it? Just, uh, I think you've. Kind of, you're capped on what you can do, is my guess. I don't think you're going to go full Harry Cooter. You know what I'm saying? I think Jeff oh, no, could pull I, it I, off. I, I go full Harry Cooter. You, you can go ZZ Top, get the whole thing going? Oh, no, no. I <laughs> I see where you're headed. The, the beard, you mean. The f yeah, I, I don't think you can. I don't yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I was referring, of course. Okay. But the ZZ Top, no, I can't grow the, the long beard. Right. You don't have it in you. More of a short bus, short beard kind of guy. Okay. Ace 10 suited. Mm. As the not short Cormier with 200K. Opens to 13. Eyes for Rui Sosa. Sousa, forgive. Just puts it into the muck. Thought maybe oh. pursuits. Yeah. Could have flicked it in. Three bet fold, of course. Was an option, which he did. Solo duckling for 
Oh, how about both Mallards? Regarnani and of course another bad beat, Cormier flops top pair. Able to take that one uneventfully. <laughs> this is I'm hell, telling man. you right now is that there's <laughs> this something. This is fucking brutal. Huh? Not worse than that is. I mean, this is. The opal. That's a weighty pendant that that man's rocking over there. You gotta, you gotta have a thick neck like that to support that throughout the course of a long session. Meanwhile, look at Cormier's stack. Trending in the right direction, 223,000 in front of him. Good for third behind Weinman and Garniani, both of whom have been on the active side here. Ethan Cook also spry. It's David Williams languishing. 47,000 came into this frame, second shortest stack, and hasn't been able to get much going. It's been tough for Williams. He hasn't had a hand. Nothing to work with, totally cart dead. Thank you. And as we speak, okay. he's all in. 47. Ace eight, the hand with which he's decided to give himself a spin, but obviously compliance is going to be required by someone out there. Might that someone be Rui Souza? I get the sense not, given that he folded to smaller Five, sizing with fives in the small. A little different dynamic. Williams just having to shove such a wide range. But you're right, ace nine not quite good enough. Maybe ace ten was towards the bottom where we flick it in. And over on Cook, we'll he cannot call. I'm going to get the other one. Well. <laughs> I don't want to have the bad news. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to take quite a few more than those little blind pickups for David to work his way to a healthier bag. Four out of five. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Four out of five. It's <laughs> the right guy to do it to. The guy fucking dead. <laughs> Hand so much. It's wild. Raisin take it. By the way, earlier took note of the fact that his his hat said the loaf and golf related. No, you know that. Back to forty. The shirt TPC. <laughs> Let the player free run. Yeah, hey. The players championship great, golf actually. related logo gives away. But I could just keep doing that for about two hours. Yeah. I think <clears throat> the loaf. Short for Sugarloaf, a ski resort, according to the chat. I surmised bakery, but that was always a dog just given the camo. You know, I don't know a lot of tactical bakeries. You know, technical, but not tactical. Yeah. N64 Jenna Special Forces, by the way, that, that 
winter camel. You play a little golden eye back in the day on Loved the sticks? Loved golden eye. <laughs> Who were you, odd job? That would feel very apropos. Not necessarily in terms of physical stature, but just disposition. You know, you're exactly right. <laughs> were you really odd job? Yeah. Played a lot of that. Probably too much of that. I actually played 30 some odd hours consecutive of that game at one point during college. Garnani upstairs, King 10, to the point that when I finally stopped to go to class, I found my s myself strafing around corners and hallways <laughs> and seeing crosshairs on people. I, that's when I knew it was time to maybe just take a little break. <laughs> okay, now, uh, hold on. Yeah. Another update. John H. saying, no, no, no. It's not Sugarloaf, the ski resort. No, it's a country club. <laughs> in Atlanta, which is where he's from. Right. Okay, finally, this story checks out. Likely his course. Could be. You know, he plays a lot of golf with Josh Aria. Also, by the way, from golf, the Atlanta area. Listen, golf with Aria can get expensive, but Weinman is a real stick. Scratch. Maybe Come better on. than scratch. Yeah. Scratch? Oh, yeah, easy. Okay, hang on a second, because if if we're in scratch and better territory, are we not potentially able to pivot away from poker and into a little bit of a, you know, a run at a PGA career? No, no, no. The PGA level is... Uh, what do you, what, what you got to shoot on average? Scratch like six under? Golfers are... I know it's par. A dime a dozen. Okay. For I mean, tr don't, I'm not taking anything away from a scratch. I'm but saying, but you, <laughs> if you can get to scratch, find yourself a coach who can work yourself, you know, from that point. Potential. You know, sure. into that six, eight under kind of territory as we see Cormier's clubs smothering, covering Garagnani's king nine. 12,000 biscuits ahead. Oh, clubs as well for Weinman here. One could foresee problematic board textures. 42,000, three-way affair. Clubless kit, ace, queen, eight. Two pair, though, for Cormier. Deep disinterest. Checked around. Garagnani, understandably, doesn't really want to do any betting here as the party starter. Fourth diamond now. That is uh, something that will deliver acid reflux even to the best of gullets when we hold ace eight. Second round of knuckles in front of King Nine. Might Pedro just ask a little question? Yeah, door open. Why not? This could work. A ton of pressure now on Cormier. I know we've got aces up, but he's got Weinman still left to act. Cormier knows he's never drawing dead, so he is retained here, and obviously Garagnani hates to see it. Oh. Ace on the river, and that is exactly what Cormier had in mind. Fills up and is praying to be up against a big diamond. Do you like playing this as a lead at all, or is it just under too much suspicion? You see, that's what he was thinking about. Yeah. 51k. <laughs> you did? King six of diamonds. No good. 
And yeah, I, I don't mind it. Ali. I, I, it's, hold on, real quick. Yeah. D Dub's saying okay. that he flopped the nut flush. I gotta tell you, when I'm firing there, my hands unshown. I don't really love somebody. You know, keep that to yourself. Yeah. Kind of yeah. protect my spot. Yeah. Maybe is is what I got on my mind. You know, Cormier yeah, could no reach over and just push this guy wrap a paw. Like you, you know, way, you know could have got punished. I mean, a number of doppelgangers are available. I, you know. Uh, oh, hang on. There's a submission from the boys in the truck. Is that uh, the dude from the shield? My, what is it, Michael? Michael Chickless? No, this dude got chicks for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, the I see. What Chickless. You mean. Yeah. yeah. Chickless. Last name something. Yeah. Okay. The chat sort of agrees. We touched on it earlier. Is Keaton, who's been something here in chat, says Cormier looks like a character on Grand Theft Auto that you would find in a matching jumpsuit. One hundred percent. Stone Cold nailed it. I'll take that over whatever we just put up on the screen. GTA Six, by the way, coming out soon. I kind of abandoned GTA after uh, Vice City, maybe. Same, but I'm going to get back go into it. My, phone. my oldest has a PlayStation 5. In the world. <laughs> no. Good luck with that. Mine was I'm going to buy it, but I can't let him play. He's eight. That's why I don't go get me a charger. Oh, oh I think it'll be full now. Pardon me? It'll be full you know, when you get to it. <laughs> being overprotective. <laughs> yeah. You can backfire. Stick, maybe you just let him hop on the sticks. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, participation something of a rare house. site for Muscati. Uh, they do that, right? Take the phones. Understandably no, like defended the, the big yeah, tournament, tournament, NBA, whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. It's Stone first year, dust. Yeah. I never, I, I seen it online. Sport. It's pretty cool. Osbach, second pair, nut kicker. So hard's working. It was certain games for the for the the group stages, and then they had a bracket with the top eight, and then okay. tonight was the final bracket match. They did it like the NCA or whatever. The yeah, bracket. it was just four. It was eight teams. So then they played two on Monday, or two games on Monday to get it down to, uh, to lose two, and then two games on Tuesday, and then the Miles semis Bach. on Thursday, and then the finals Barrels today. takes it. By the way, chronology a little bit off in terms of that GTA 6 announcement. This is why I don't work in PR for Rockstar games. Are games are all really good. Apparently yeah. 2025. Hard, which is rare in November this one it's December to see games like I don't that. Know. They're really trying hard. That's what did you just look we're that being up? told. No, no, no. Oh. This is coming from the chat. No, I know, think it's. <coughs> I didn't I get it deep into the announcement. To come out pretty soon. UB Poker. No, it's mid to late, 2026. Mid to late 2026. According to a quick search, yeah. I mean, listen. Why even bother telling anybody about something that's happening mid to late 2026 unless it's the end of the world? I don't need to know about that right now. What do you think? I'm just going to be thinking about GTA 6 for the next two and a half years? <coughs> Maybe it was the trailer that that's what surfaced. Yeah, you're right. I mean, what Who is cares? this? I, I, I might tilt at you telling me about something happening in January. Like, if you try to make Super Bowl plans with me right now, I'm like, bro, talk to me after New Year's. I'm a little upset that the Bills won't be in it. The Super Bowl? Yeah. They're going to be. They're going to win out. Hanks. Hanks. Don't let, you know, don't let your heart mess with your mind. Can't help it. <laughs> it's the way I'm wired on it. Cormier wired with a 7-4 suited, which, by the way, is dominated by Weinman on the button defending. Or flatting, rather. Picking a nice time to do it. Table for two. And the four. Out flopping. Might Weinman be done or on the strength of interactions with this Jack of Spades? Could he take a float with this big Extremely stack? Extremely dry texture. May not believe his opponent has anything. Float ability. Position. Yeah. Oh. Ace 
Pace on the turn. Cormier may very well think that this is his card to bet. in the middle. <coughs> Second barrel. Gets through. I'm still mesmerized by the... Look at this thing, man. This is... This is, uh, is there a diamond bezel? We're looking at 24 karat, the yellow, you know, this is a pure smelt. And then the opal, I, I think, smelt. just based on the iridescence, maybe that's like a virgin abalone or something in there. I, virgin. I'm just, by the way, shit goes <coughs> down, you know, you were shook 900 MGM, something like that. Whip the necklace off, whirl that around a couple times upside the head. Somebody's going down. I'm just telling you, dual purpose, mm. you know. Used to be brass knuckles, but, you know, you get the pat down, people know. That, on the other hand, somewhat veiled. Definitely weaponry. a kickboxer. Mm. The more I look at those limbs down, you know, the leg. I don't the know. Tattoo up there. The kickboxers tend to be long, lean, and often tie. This this here is just a wrecking ball. Like this guy, Cormier. Oh, yeah. Now I'm saying this in part because I want him to like me back. Also, just saying it because, you know, everyone could use a Cormier. Especially a guy with, you know, I got some loose gums. I might get out there, flap around. Oh, I've seen you. You know what I mean? You know. Say some things I shouldn't. Right. People but if I got a Cormier, face, you know, blind, now it's all of a sudden, it's gonna go up on instead of apologizing <laughs> for what I've said, I can be like, I'm sorry, what, dude? Yeah, you didn't like what? I Jeff, you hear this guy? <laughs> I have to get it in there. Jeff, Jeff, you there? <laughs> all of a sudden, if I'm Jeffless, I've got, got a problem. Six, but I'm just three, saying. Eight, deuce, every hand. It's weird. I haven't seen a pair. You know, I'm surprised you don't have security. I, you know, what do you mean, job security? <laughs> just, well, you've got... You, you heard have, me in here? I, you have job... Just in general, you know, you no. you are... <laughs> it's weird. Talk a lot Rolling of around, you know, the vehicles and, and the, the, the travel. Huh? You're, you're certainly celebrity yeah, status, Ali. I don't know about certain. I think you probably crazy. could use a I little protection. Kind of it was. Yeah, I'm not a fan of protection, Brent. I was looking last of any night form. trying to find it out. I just, I'm uh, being honest. In the hip. Prefer not to have any barriers. Yeah, it's a right limb and right hip. Yeah. Aside from the syphilis, though, you really do. <laughs> it's like one in 40 million or something yeah. like that. It's like it's like the lotto. It's crazy. Ace, deuce, deuce. A lot of shark attack. Check, oh, check. So I've been hearing. It's, it's where the most is because I think there's a little water or something. Like so warm or something. They're not all lethal, though. Like to die, it's so yeah, there's not that many deaths. I was here, uh, what was it? Five, six years ago, at the poker, party poker one at the bomb bar. I was at the bomb bar. I had my kids there. And the kids were in, were in, the, in the water. And they fucking cleared everybody out. It was one that come in. The ocean's no joke. Yeah. Man. Uh, ocean's sick. fucking crazy. Pretty sick. Look at Weinman with the pretty delayed seabed here as the opener pre. We have just air, of course. As Osbach, but you know, <coughs> these are very credible lines to be taken with some frequency. <coughs> there will be the big ace in Weinman's kit there as he continues to accumulate. Not sure, Brent, by the way, if you overheard the exchange between D Dub <coughs> and One Cormier. Something about the, the warm water? Yeah. The shark of sharks. I'm just mm. saying, they said he was staying Level over 18. at the. Adjacent yeah. property, Baja March. Kids 12. were in the water and they yeah. cleared it. That's what I said around 2 o'clock. Two, two, what time is it now? Uh, you know, we've alluded to the fact that this is the shark diving capital of the world. Obviously, we've got a sharky feature on our hands, but we're talking about literal finned creatures beneath the surface, which number in the many. That's why I don't go in the ocean, <laughs> Ali. I'm petrified. 
Are you? Not without a spear gun. Now, I got to tell you, if I see a dude roaming around with a spear gun, I'm actually less inclined to get in the sharky water because it's those dudes that spear a fish. Now, all of a sudden, that's like a dinner bell flapping around on the end of your spear. You know, now all of a sudden, it just jaws come sniffing around. Just saying. We are wrapping up towards the end of the night. That White men in action. Defendable. Souza. Green 10 turns in to top pair and a gutter. Not bad. Check. Of course. Check. Wet texture. Quick check back from Weinman with the two overs. Hunting a 10 instead given a 7 to work with. Okay. Peel from the Ace King. Fruitless River. Not really the card you're in love with if you're Souza, as played by Weinman. Check back the flop. Check. Could certainly be a jack. Hearts come home. I think he's going to run one here. He is. He's going to reach, grab, represent, trips, potentially a flush. 30 into 57. And this is what makes Weinman so tough. Reputation precedes him in main events. Reigning champ in Vegas. You're looking across at that big stack. You're contemplating the line. Check back flop. Peel, turn, now activate on the end at a sizing that feels like it wants a call. Of course, just designed to look like a value hand. A perfect river for why meant to bluff. Cool. But he does get caught. So a lovely note on which to end the evening for Rui so uh, Souza, rather, as he will nosh on Weinman Bucks. Weinman still north of half a million, though, heading for the bag. Or at least the next levels. Uh, you know, we're hanging it up, Brent, but I'm not sure that the boys are. Bags would have been at the table, so I suspect that they're going to have further play, but that's going to do it for us here. Keep track of things online at WSOP.com as they continue to progress and then come back and see us again tomorrow and the next day and the next day, the next day, the next day after that, all the way through the 14th. But in the meantime, we're calling it quits. Yeah. We're going to go home, get a few REM cycles in, uh -huh. and then come back and bring you more of this World Series of Poker Paradise main event. Day 1B coming your way tomorrow. In the meantime, on behalf of... The whole crew, me and Prince, say goodnight. Peace. Good night.